Eminem. Lose yourself on XFM 104.9 on Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. I don't know. But not Carl Pilkington. No, Carl, no. He's no. gone back to Manchester, isn't it? <laughs> it's better than London. Yeah. You don't know it. You don't know it. Manchester's better than London. Instead, Claire Sturgis. Claire Sturgis yeah. ran a for Claire, yeah. Yeah, 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 thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. 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 in sort of the camouflage gear, and it? Is that quite trendy? Is that what the kids Did are wearing? You know, <laughs> Someone actually mentioned that Or are you on manoeuvres? Yeah. I am, <laughs> exactly. actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, taking time out yeah. this morning from what I normally do. Sure. I missed the, uh, second half talk like that of Celebrity, um, Boot Camp. I Coolio, don't know what is. is. it? The fella from, um, Millie Vanilli. What, the one that's not dead? Eh? Uh, no, the what? one that killed himself, sure. Steve. Okay. <laughs> um. No, I just want to clarify for people. A lot of people don't realise that one of them is dead. Right. <laughs> I thought it was important to mention it. Actually, yeah, I didn't think. I'll be honest with you, I, I hadn't thought it through. No. It was a piece of interesting Millie Vanilli <laughs> trivia that I had, <laughs> and I wanted to slip it in. But it was I, I really found, trivia, because it was a question. You went, what? Like, the one Rick, who's not what dead. What I'm because I could have found a more tactful way of bringing up the death of one of Millie Vanilli, because I think there's yeah. a lot of people out there now upset, and they'd be clever Actually, people yeah, didn't realize. people who didn't know. That's quite a shock. I didn't sit, I mean, I should have sat people who down. Did, who, who died? Vanilli or Millie? I think it was... I think it was Millie. No, oh, right, okay. Millie. Is it, I don't know, uh, No, but I didn't know. I'm oh, that is... Actually, I'm guessing... What, well, no, I'm not that. confusing Millie Vanilli and Scritty Pilly. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a danger. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're thinking of, uh, the fellow out of Grandpa Palumpo. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing. He was amazing. It's a great shame that he Yeah, he talks to them, Paul. They're not around us. <laughs> anyway, um, cool. We've got some great tunes lined up. We're going to play today, um, the, our favourite singles. It's, well, of it's the a year. favourite tune. Some of which tune, didn't yeah. quite make it as singles, maybe, but tunes of the year, because obviously Christmas very soon and, uh, we'll be away for a short time. And, I think um, ne next week we'll be doing our favourite Christmas songs of all time. Yeah, I'm worried we're not going to fill two hours with that. <laughs> I mean, how many times can you play Shake and Stevens before, <laughs> uh, Fairies Out of New York. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the only again. one, isn't it, really? It, that's the best one. That's the best Christmas that one's good, ever. but obviously there's uh, Jenny Mitchell's The River, that starts with a kind of Christmas you feel. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I don't think if there's anything else. Not great deal. Um, so this is Christmas wrapping. Is that one? Is Favorite that brilliant? Mine. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so this is Christmas, John Lennon. Paul mm. McCartney came out with simply having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So John's was Happy Christmas War is over. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, of course it wasn't, but, uh, hey, but I mean, at least he, wa he wanted no, to be. No, at least he was dreaming of it, he was dreaming of it. Yeah. Uh, That's, I mean, and, bless him. and to show <laughs> how much I don't, he John Lennon's more. dead as well, I don't know if anyone's- Yeah, no, they do that. That's just another bit of rock I like, and roll I like John's, John's protest against war, he stayed in bed for a week. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing <laughs> that, I've been <laughs> protesting <laughs> against war for, like, uh, ages. Yeah, yeah. I'm eating hamburgers yeah, against war. <laughs> absolutely. I went, I just got, um, um, into Burger King on the way here, I went into the, I went into the counter, but it's of course, okay. that's not, I mean, not product placement there. And there's a lo number of other burger joints that people may wish to go to if I'll they choose. Yeah, I'll exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I went into Burger King, cause it's, uh, it's close. It's convenient. Went it's convenient, but then often McDonald's will be convenient. Yeah. Convenient, McDonald's is just <laughs> convenient, <laughs> yeah, depends just, where you are. Just as convenient, depending yeah. where you are. Um, and I said, uh, well, I said, um, can I have, uh, a cheeseburger and small fries? Take away, please. And he recognised me. He went, oh, I've seen you on telly enough, weren't you? He went, uh, Legend Wilson, I went, thanks. He went, he winked and went, I'll put large fries in. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so that's so, the sort but of I love it. It's so it's paying off at last. True genius is being rewarded but by I just the burger to know, joints. Because I mean, there's been a couple of times where I've been with you, and you know, we've gone to a restaurant and someone's given you a free meal or whatever. And it's the way that it's like you don't ask for it; it's no. just kind of offered. But I don't know what they're expecting in return. Nothing. I mean, do Nothing. they think that you'll go away and you'll always think fondly of your no, chat? No, I, I, think works that, in I, think just, I just think they think. Oh, I don't know. They make. I'm like going to give him a little treat. Yeah. I know, I, I don't like it, but then I'm, I'm always grateful and I never... Yeah. But the thing is, I'll, yeah, I'm, I, I'm slightly embarrassed. Did anyone around you hear what had happened? No. Because I imagine the resentment, just the whole room no, turning on didn't. you. No, they didn't. I had to go around telling them. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I went and I said, excuse me, I, did you hear that? He <laughs> went, no, okay. He just gave me the free <laughs> thing because I'm on the telly. And I went, yeah. I don't recognise. I went, you don't recognise me? I'm terrified now that, uh, <laughs> that someone could be listening at Burger King HQ. You know, and I'm assuming this is an unorthodox procedure. Oh, and you know, that little fellow's got fun. We know, he, they know it's Leicester square now because I just mentioned it, so they know which Burger King it is. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know- What was his name? Uh, Ralph Littleton. He had a, he <laughs> yeah. had a name badge. <laughs> yeah. Number 342. Well I just hope Littleton doesn't get in trouble. So, uh, <laughs> what are we gonna play That could first? be a sad Christmas for him. <laughs> He's probably keeping his whole family afloat. <laughs> um, but it's Springsteen. Well, tunes of the year, I mean I know people dismiss, dismiss uh, Springsteen, but uh, as I say, the g gig I went to see earlier in the year, I made Sturgis it in the end. couldn't believe we were gonna play Springsteen. Brilliant. Was... I just think, you know, leave aside what you think is cool and trendy and the fact that he's older really? now or whatever else. Really? Just leave all that behind yeah. and just listen to the tunes because, you know, he remains a great musician. Lonesome been. Day. Lonesome Day. It's the current single and uh, it's the first track on the,
That's brilliant. The boss. Do we care if it's trendy? I don't we're, know. We're like Huey Lewis. It's hip to be square, <laughs> Steve. That's true. We should play some Huey. Oh, we can't. Can no. we? No. Oh, come on, the power of love. No. Oh. It's a curious thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes, makes one man weep. No, it's no man sing. I don't know what's going on there. It's strange. It's strange. Oh. Flipping heck. Yeah. Springsteen there. Yeah, no, obviously he's playing again, uh, next year sometime. I bet even trendy people thought, well, yeah, it's all right. But I mean, yeah, I bet they wanted to rock. I bet they wanted to drive along a freeway. Well, I think you've got to be hard pushed to turn over the channel if you're driving and that's playing. Who wouldn't want to be driving a car while that's playing? You yeah. Know? Down an open freeway. We are sounding, I know there's a little bit of irony in it, but we are sounding like Dr. Fox. <gasps> did you see, <laughs> did you see the final of, um, Fame Academy? No, I don't watch Fame Academy. I don't, I'm Foxy got in there. He was in the audience. Really? No. Yeah, no, not, not enough being on Pop Idol. He's in there. Lots of them. And do you know who was sitting next to him? Next in to Foxy. disguise. I, uh, in disguise. In disguise, he had a little a little beard and a woolly hat on, looked like a badly drawn boy, Mackenzie Crook. Really? And we had to uh, we no. taped it. Yeah, yeah. And I went, it is. And we taped it, and he was there. So he's back from America. Was it he, obviously a fal false beard? No, no. I think he's. Is he befriended Foxy? <laughs> I don't know. Are they hanging out together We're gonna now. We're going to see him tonight. We're going to see him tonight. What was he doing in the states then? What was he doing? He's well, doing the film. Yeah, so right. yeah. In fact, he probably is wearing a beard. He plays. We can't say too much about it. He's playing a pirate, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'd make a good pirate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So far, he's been cast as a pirate and a ghost. <laughs> which seems to make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So, uh, yeah. that's me. I'll be probably pumping in for information about Foxy, cause you know, I'm a big fan of Foxy's, you know. I don't know. <laughs> Both a DJ and a medical man. I, I like that. I like the way that you got pumping and Foxy in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> did you just pumping, say you're gonna see him tonight? Is it Comedy Wars tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, it's, it's the big so do, exciting. yeah, yeah. You're going, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of what, you yeah. what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Very uh, boring, I'm afraid. But um, very traditional tuxedos. Tuxedos. We We've, uh, <laughs> we went shopping together and bought them. It's quite sad. I don't know. I should have said that. Uh, not to a certain <laughs> degree of rock and roll. Cool. It was funny because I went straight in. I went uh, forty-two chest, thirty-six, thirty <laughs> leg. I mean, that's fine, right? Steve. I had to, then I had to stay there looking at Steve trying about nine jackets so the arms weren't too short. Yeah. I, I, I suggested at one point go down to London Zoo and see what the gibbons <laughs> wear because it's uh, every, yeah. every single <laughs> those jack jackets you see them wear when there's an organ grinder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, who's making those? <laughs> ah! I want one of those. He's yeah. six foot nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, have you but got the cummerbunds and things? You've got well, <laughs> well, this is the thing. My, my, my father phoned up. You know, my, I have conversations with my parents, which are always, they'll phone up and it'd be like, all right, how's it going? Yeah. What are you having for tea? <laughs> what are you having for tea? I'll probably be having a lovely, uh, I'll probably have a spaghetti bolognese tonight, Dad. Oh, yeah. What have you had, Dad? Oh, your mother just made a lovely lasagna, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it literally, uh, that's the conversation. It's like, yeah, every, I think you've got every parent. It's just, they're just uh, interested in food. Food that you've eaten, food you're planning to eat, uh, food you've enjoyed in the past, because they just want to know you're eating. That is genius. And then, uh, have you got, uh, you got enough vitamin C? Got enough vitamin C tablets? Because I can always send you some. I can buy them myself, Dad. I'll send you some. It's not a problem. Dad, I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I say, he says, what have you done? You know, and I'm trying to think. I think to myself, it'll be impressive if I bought a tuxedo. I say, uh, <laughs> I bought a tuxedo. Will he, will he like that? Yeah. <coughs> he said, that. uh, he said, you bought a tuxedo, why didn't you rent it? I said, well, it was quite cheap, it went out cheap. I told him the price, he went, no, it's not bad, not bad. Elaine! You just bought a tuxedo! He just bought a tuxedo, Elaine! Yeah? He said, uh, have you, uh, you got a cummerbund? <laughs> I said, band. a cummerbund. I said, do I need a cummerbund? He said, well, you're gonna be dancing? <laughs> Like he knows the Like rules. he knows, like he's some kind of like, I don't know the man's ever worn a suit, let alone a tuxedo. What does he I know about- I love your dad. Gonna be dancing? I just had the idea of him being at some kind of do and righty link, jackets off, cummerbunds <laughs> on, time on. for a dance. You know a cummerbund? Do you wear- you wear it over your braces then? Cause you- cause those things are- because you're not wearing a belt I assume. You no, you wear braces. it under the braces I think. No, no you don't. Do you? I you don't wear know. it over it, don't you? Over the belt, but braces is a different There's thing. There's no belt. Well, no, if you were to no. no, you're right. No, you're right. It is over the braces. Sorry, how many people tune to XFM are worrying <laughs> about the etiquette <laughs> no, no, of no, cover buttons? This is important I don't, because I don't. the comedy wars, which is going on, it's live tonight. Yeah, no, it? yeah. Well, that's, that's but I tell you this, Rick. I tried on the tuxedo I bought yesterday. I got a new shirt as well. I look like James Bond. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I do I look like James wait. Bond. I look, I look exactly like him. It's uncanny. It is uncanny. Really? Because yeah. the bloke in there said you look like a lanky streak of piss, and I looked good. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he did. He did. Because as you were walking out the shop, he called me back in and said, you know that. I know that was the show. That was. No, because when the very last time when you he said you looked like odd job, he said you looked like odd job. No, he said you looked like Blofeld. He said you looked like you were definitely on the team. He said you looked like odd job. He said you looked like odd job. Drinking piss with a stupid gingery blonde hair. He said you looked like a combination of Blofeld and odd job. You looked like odd job. He said he is a lanky twat. He said odd job. 
Ashcroft. Richard Ashcroft on XFM 104.9. That, that, that's in the top five for me, the singles of the year mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. Um, well, yeah, we're talking about, um, what are we talking about? Comedy Awards, your dad's cummerbund. <laughs> My father's cummerbund. I'm sure it is over the braces, I think. Yeah, well, if yeah. anyone knows that, if anyone knows the, uh, the kind of, uh, rules. So, uh, are you actually wearing one? Rules. Are you actually wearing one? A cummerbund? One? Well, I asked no. him, he said no, he said don't bother. No, don't But then bother. I'm thinking, what if I dance? Well, if I do some grooving later, you shouldn't. Why not? Well, I've seen you. Like, don't before. give me that. No, no. Don't give me that. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's not that you're not that a good dancer. in the office. That's your best dancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that you're not a bad dancer. It's that that you. I've seen you hit people in the face with your elbow. Because... There's always going to be casualties. Actually, really. If someone's a good move, I have, it's I've murder on the dance floor. Danced with. I've danced with Steve. Have you? And uh, one of the uh, indie discos at Ulee. There you are. You've never forgotten. And uh, he's good. He's I am. Right. Good, I? Yeah. He is actually. I think the right. only problem is because you I'm so in tall. The bar, but he's because right. I'm so tall, I do tend to tower like two foot above everyone else, and that does make me look slightly <laughs> freakish. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to use that word, but I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. So I do feel slightly self-conscious. Why don't you hold them? Why don't you carry them? When you're dancing with them, so they're. Well, no, but the thing is because I. You could dance with Jeanette Cranky and still not look <laughs> sure. too weird. Sure, but that wouldn't is... be weird, would it? You holding Jeanette Cranky and dancing with her. Would that be weird? I think we've all had that fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what I tend to do is because I'm conscious that everyone is kind of can see me and that I'm sort of, you know, I'm quite visible on the dance floor, what I'll tend to do is maybe dance on any kind of podium that they might have <laughs> in some of the bigger dance sure. clubs or, you know, any kind of stage. I'll just get out there, bust some moves. Yeah. Because then it's like, you know, I may as well put myself on public display. Yeah. Rather than just people think Because then you're going, look, I know what I look like. Yeah, I know how great I look. You know. Yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because it's, you know, that's your opinion if you don't think it. But that's, again, a lot of jealousy. I mean, a lot of what you say is jealousy. He went for the normal shirt. I went for the, uh, the wing collar. I just thought, I might as well. I do like a wing collar, actually. Yeah, What about a proper bow tie? I, I, bought, bought, I, I bought it all, I went a bit berserk. I even bought, um, uh, Union Jack Cufflinks because it's the British Comedy Awards. Mm. Nice. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, well, more money than sense. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you've got, you're earning so much cash now that you don't know what to do with it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you no, I mean, I don't Union know how, what Cufflinks. it is you're spending on, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, how oh, much? I went, oh, I said, not expensive enough. <laughs> exactly. I said, I'm going to give you an extra tenner. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got to get rid of it. Is it true? talking about, um, uh, when his dad, uh, said that, and then you told me something. That is, I find it ma amazing. Oh, you, uh, well, you're the thing is, yeah, it's Christmas, obviously, I've got to go back to, to Bristol. I love seeing my family. Um, well, yeah, I do. Uh, but it means I see my grandparents, who are, you know, brilliant people. I mean, lovely people, but <laughs> mental. I mean, <laughs> utterly mental. And um, they've taken now to, there must be sort of 80 a piece. And it is quite an old age, but they're fairly good health, relatively speaking. And, um, they just spend their time in bed. I mean, that's all they do, is that that's their profession, that's their, they've retired to go to bed. And they spend all their time in bed. I'll tell you what they're like, they're like that old guy, they're like the, all that old family in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember, none like, of them had got up yeah. for like 25 years. Yeah. And they were But you, to, you said that they go to bed and they go to sleep, but then when they wake up, what they do is put an extra pillow, so they're slightly more upright, and that's yeah. them in the day that's in bed. That's, right, their, so that's, that's their active. daytime yeah. Yeah, thing. But they but, get um, and cook and stuff. Well, what, they, well they, didn't, yeah, what they do is, they, see, they've got, um, they've got about six teeth between them. Um, <laughs> I mean, my grandmother wants false, needs false teeth, but refuses to go and have the old ones extracted and the false teeth fitted. So she's, she's working with about three or four teeth. Oh. Um, my grandfather had false teeth given to him during the war. Wooden okay. ones. Well, it was it was plastic teeth on a wooden pallet, right? That sits at the top of the mouth. <laughs> He's still got the wooden pallet, <laughs> but most of the teeth have come off. <laughs> so there's about four teeth left. Four <laughs> false teeth. He's got fal He's got a set of false teeth that make him look like he needs false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty bizarre. <laughs> so, oh. so the problem is that they have to get up. They get up about seven in the morning to put on, say, you know, some beef or lamb, whichever they're going to cook. <laughs> they put it on at six in the morning, seven in the morning, so that by the time they eat it, it's six at night. They can use the phrase, this is what a good meal is for my grandparents, if they can use the phrase, oh, that's lovely, that's lovely, you could suck it away. <laughs> you could suck it away. Who wants that from a roast dinner? You may as well blend it up and serve it as a broth. I don't want that phrase coming from old people without teeth. <laughs> no, indeed. Because <laughs> it, 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 it must away. remind you of your Remboy days. Exactly. It brings it all flooding back. <laughs> oh, you know. God. Flooding's um, the word. <laughs> exactly. Should we play record before we get really discussing about your grandparents <laughs> and yeah, the blowjobs? That was the worst thing we've, we've said ever. the word blowjob far too many times. Today. And with, in the same sentence as you, I can't believe it. Anyway! And it's Christmas. Yeah. Don't forget what Christmas is about. <laughs> Come on, speak.
spare a thought for the underprivileged people. Yeah. Steve, Steve. Is it Ben Queller? Do you want I to know love ben a bit of Ben Queller. Ben Queller. I don't know. Are you a fan? I love him. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a cracking tune. Okay. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think we'll enjoy that. Let's just slam dunk it. It's why don't we just stop and think about what we've done? I tell you, this thing, <laughs> they do spend so much time in, in bed that they actually, I'm sure, war will have to sing. Ben Queller, in That's other fantastic. words. That's fantastic. That ending is, oh, God. It's like Ben folds five bit of mm. old out and that's mm. great. You had him in session, didn't you, Claire? Yeah, Did you fact, meet him or did you, because he's quite no, young, isn't he? He's very young. Um, he came in about six months ago to do something for John Kennedy and, um, and I, also a session for me and I've been repeat, I repeated it this week as the best of the year sessions because mm. it was, he did three songs, stunning stuff. It's just him and the piano, was it, or him and the guitar? It was just, yeah, it was just yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Him with a, a couple of instruments. Mm. Um, stunning. And also he did did, um, he did a Dingwalls gig for XFM listeners, and uh, the reaction from the listeners phoning up trying to get tickets was incredible. Really? It really has touched a nerve. Yeah. Well, like you say, Ricky, I mean, it's really. It's great. Know, well, I've just seen, there's, we were talking, there's a kind of lack of music that sort of seems to be making use of instruments and sort of, and just the sound you can make with a piano and a guitar and drums. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's so invigorating. And you get kind of stuff like, you know, the streets and, and whatever else, or, uh, you know, kind of hip hop and stuff. And it, in that, I love the fact that a lot of, uh, please to see Miss Dynamite on top of the pop Last night, using uh, a live band, really kind of it really made the whole sort of R&B like sound that, really yeah, yeah, exciting. Better than the other one. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's us being muso. That's us being terribly muso. Yeah, I like that's that. Us being muso yeah. For Let's the get year. this. Yeah, it's enough of that. Well, we are playing our favourite records. Well, we it's know, nice to be able to talk sensibly without Carl interrupting with some gibberish. You know? I, I mean, oh, bless him. Carl. Bless him. I don't see no, it's bless gibberish. Him. He's probably yeah. listening on Sky or Sky something. Yeah, eight six four channel eight six four or around the world on xfm.co.uk. Get that in. Is that what you have to do? What do you do today? You just go into the website, do you? Go into the website, yeah, and uh, click on. I the never get list. things like that to work on my computer. Or you can go and check out the webcam, obviously, and um, see me in the camouflage gear. Yeah, you won't see oh, you, you, will you? Won't see me, no, <laughs> um, no. Now, so what do you do? Just go into the website, and what does it say? Play live online. Yeah, and listen, it just, listen. And it's just like listening down the phone line. Yeah, I, I sound like I've come from the 1950s. Yeah, exactly. don't you, I? You've come from the 19th <laughs> century. <laughs> What's <Yeah>. this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very, uh, oh, I was going to say something then, but I can't. Um, <laughs> no. Can we just very quickly, before we move on, no, because I'm, I'm getting very excited about the comedy wars. Now, I know what yeah, you're wearing, so. and um, you've got, got a table with all your mates there. Is Jonathan Ross doing it again? Yeah, he's that, very that's why it's my favourite. And mm. um, I'm I, hate, think... I hate awards. I do I honestly hate them, but, um, yeah, but this is actually an event because it's Jonathan yeah. Ross. It's just... Well, yeah. I, um, I was, because I was talking to someone about it, and I might mention it, uh, before, but so uh, we did an award ceremony. We went to an award ceremony last year, <laughs> where um, it, everything was sponsored by corporate groups, you know, by oh, businesses yeah, yeah. or by you know differently. It was a kind of it was everything was sponsored, and I swear to God, the pudding was sponsored by Electrolux. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'd never eaten a pudding before sponsored by anyone, and they, no. it was you know it was a very odd affair. That I thought that was very strange because it seemed weird. as though corporate uh, people had paid for a table so that they so when we came out, th some guy came on stage and said, "Well, we've got a lovely number, of, a wonderful collection of celebrities." Is here this evening. Oh, on God, yeah. That? And oh. it was a please uh, be upstanding for <laughs> your chairman, Tom O'Connor. Yeah. We were made to give Tom O'Connor a standing, standing ovation. <laughs> we that's, had to stand up so we could give Tom O'Connor, former presenter of Crosswits, yeah. a standing ovation. We're talking about the cream of British uh, TV talent <laughs> giving him a stand up. Not that he doesn't deserve it, I'm sure he's a great entertainer. But so I think uh, Sir Cliff was there, wasn't he? See the back of the stage this week. I don't want to talk about it, it's too embarrassing. Why? Right. Tom O'Connor's on there, Is thanking, it? thanking Mal Young, the BBC, for giving him a part in Doctors. Yeah. I love that. He had to take out a whole, a whole oh, page. So sweet. He obviously spent the fee being paid for the show. <laughs> just, he's just so pleased to be back on TV. He's, what, an advert? He's yeah. A whole page and thanking the been. BBC for having him back on TV. <laughs> Oh, but, stop but it. we're laughing, but it's going to happen to you <laughs> in about a year's time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, oh, I just dear. want to know, bad behaviour, who do you think is going to behave badly this year? Because I don't think we, anyone. Had, you know, well, we've had, we had, we had the, 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 um... Barrymore and Clary. And Clary, the fisting and Barrymore <laughs> yeah. throwing his monitor. That was, was funny. It? The Heron, um... What was she doing? Yeah, there's not any of the kind of, there's not really any sort of, uh, there's not really any kind of wayward people at the moment, is there, in showbiz, mm. in, in terms of entertainment comedy? There's no one who sort of seems but to have I a drink what, or drug problem. I'm, I'm worried about Ricky. Sadly. I'm, I'm worried that, you know, something well, might take hold. The no, devil may no, care. No, I think he's very careful. He's, he's he? a bit careful, yeah. yeah, yeah he's so, <laughs> I mean, too tired. 
Yeah, it's too tired. <laughs> Showers, so cream. You have been kind of coughing and wheezing throughout today. Well, I, I, I had a fight, didn't I? Oh, we should talk about the fight. Yeah, we, we can't, can't give out the result. <clears throat> we can't give the result out on the fight. But no, no, I've, got got a, I've got a cough. I just got a cough again. Got a bit of a cough. I'm scared. I'm allergic to summer. What if I'm allergic? To, I was worried today. That what if you're allergic to wheat? Oh no! Well, that'd be terrible. <laughs> but I was worried. What if I'm allergic to my cat? Get rid oh, of it. Oh no. Well, I, well, it seems that easy, but well, it is that easy. Throw it out the there. window. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how I saw it out that. I'm not. I'm not a trained doctor, but that's how I saw it out that way. I just like to apologise for any. Uh, but they always land on their feet, don't they, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> so they do. And it's not nine lives, so yeah. if it lands oh, on a God. spike, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. Yeah. What happened to me? Oh. Oh. Just, just you you can't laugh because you because of the fight in the ribs. Oh yeah, yeah. You took ribs, quite yeah. A, a bad. I have to say though that uh, oh. I remember we we were talking on the radio about what Ricky should come out to for the big match. For those that don't realise, uh, Ricky at Christmas says a TV show on Ricky. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know why, even to this day, why you agreed to do it. Nor do I. But so uh, you. He's doing a celebrity boxing match, uh, fighting, and he was described at the beginning of the fight, Rick. I don't realise if, if you, I don't know if you know this. He was described as entrepreneur, <laughs> Grant Bovey, <laughs> well, uh, I don't husband know of the attorney. I don't know what that means exactly. Well, he does bits of business, actually. Businessman, sure. yeah. yeah, businessman, yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was I described as? <laughs> yeah, you were described as, as yeah. Uh, I think fat, funny man. Oh, right, you know, right. something like that, or right. a comedian and actor. But yeah. UK, yeah, Ricky came out to uh, Mama said knock you out by LL Cool J. Nice. Yeah. I think I don't know whose suggestion it was. I think it might be mine, but. It was uh, blinding, and I noticed you were really. They don't see, I mean, it was ludicrous, really. You came out in the shorts. You had the. Uh, well, I was acting up. I like, know. Doing you it, really they, were going, they were going. Don't you laugh? Don't you laugh? On my corner, and I, I really. I think I overdid it, didn't I? Well, you. He was kind of prowling around the ring, staring every, <laughs> staring <laughs> Bovi yeah. out, and staring yeah. the crowd out, <laughs> <It's so embarrassing. laughs> and kind of looking really. Oh, yeah. You know, but, but of course, he's got this ludicrous beer belly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it looks I, like it looks I like did, Johnny Vegas is doing what he's meant to do. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and Bovis yeah. looks quite a sort of athletic guy. He's really so he looks like he could actually be a boxer. Um, but did you have? Did you have like the? I'm obviously the filming it for telly. Did you have the production crew saying right, stop? Can, can you just do that? Throw that punch again? No, right? no, it's a real no, fight. They just, so they it really just wasn't let them go. I think people are surprised. I think they're going to see it's a real fight. And I tell you, it's imagine. unpleasant. I mean, it's actually an unpleasant. Okay, thing. well I'll tell you know what Carl said. Because Carl was there, and he said to me, I can't do his accent. He went, Oh no, it won't nice. It won't nice. No, no, it was, it was, although I have to say, I was really kind of riled up by it. I mean, I've never been to a fight before, <laughs> and I just was like, come on, I was like, smash his face! I was really showing, I was just going crazy. Shouting for me, though, were <laughs> No, I was shouting for you, yeah, and then I was just, then I just decided to try and freak everyone, so I was shouting, kiss him, <laughs> snog him, lick him, ask him, ask him out! <laughs> I was shouting that in a vain attempt to throw someone, and oh, um, oh. it was extraordinary. Oh. But I tell you, I think, because I think you'd be better off, like, if they sort of brought back ben wrestling. Wrestling, wrestling from the 70s. Oh, I think like Nick like McManus. Yeah, yes. exactly. Oh, I think that you've got more the physique for wrestling. I think I'm too young for wrestling on <laughs> yeah, British television. They were always about 65. <laughs> I think they're 58, one of them, yeah. Les Keller. Yeah, yeah, but the outfits are fun. Oh, they get, yeah. yeah. Oh, a bit yeah. too tight, weren't they? Yeah, and it was outfits. always that kind of shiny, whatever preceded Lycra. I know, with a, just a little winkle <laughs> showing. <laughs> A little fat, winkle. A little, little, with a little winkle in their tight <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Why were you looking? Oh, I've done you. Oh, Play a record. I've got answers, please. I'm, I'm not. I'm not one of them. You're not looking at my mouth. Yes. So the red hot chili peppers and they're still going strong. Mmm. <laughs> oh, indeed. Yes. That's one of my favourite tunes of the year. You enjoyed that? that? I mean, yes, absolutely. Yeah, These are all yeah. mutual. We, we we love them all. We're not we're not absolutely, really yeah, no, we're, we're not, not annoying each other by putting in not songs the other one doesn't like. Not we're like all. a team today, isn't it? I think that's the Christmas spirit. I don't know what it is. We come together. We sort of unified. Yeah. 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 In the absence of Carl. Yeah. Who often divides us. He often comes between us. Does he? Like, Does yeah. He well, I'll tell you what it's yeah. like. It's like um. It's like a child. Like it's like we're a married couple and he's sort of our autistic child oh, or something, right, you know. And sometimes yeah. it just puts a strain on the marriage, you know. <laughs> and we, you know, we, we, all three of us love each other, you but, know. Because yeah, he does love you guys. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, sometimes I, it's I hard. I hear him know. talking about you in the office sometimes. Know. You know, he looks up to you, aspires to you too. But it's, it's not like it's because yeah. of well, right, because of um, to be honest, the baby Jesus. But we um, <laughs> we realise that there's beauty in everyone and it's all it's all right. Yeah, and, yeah exactly. He's never had that before. No. Well, I um, I have to say, I'm really getting into the Christmas spirit. I did. When I was younger, I didn't really enjoy it. I was quite cynical. I was quite, you You're know, joking. rock and roll. But, uh, but now I'm sort of, yeah, I, I walk in a department store and if there's one of the old, you know, chestnuts are roasting on an open fire, which are that classic tune, or oh, any I of those. I thought you were one of those old boys that stand outside the British <laughs> right, Museum. Right, yeah. Uh, no, 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 right, you mean um, the tune, yeah. You know, that one or, uh, is it, how does it go? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire? <laughs> chestnuts roasting on an open fire. 
you know, yeah. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Uh, but I can't get enough of them. I, I love it. I'm in a department store, you know, it's frosty outside, you know, it's warm in there. Have you ever roasted your chestnuts on an open fire? I have never done that. No, Imagine I have not that. Done that. I have just, not done that. Just backing up to it, like that, with your little chestnuts <laughs> hanging out like a bulldog. What would you be wearing? You'd probably just, I imagine you, you'd have your dressing gown on, you'd just hoiked it up just like, put say, it your arse show. Pop them, pop them down, like, tuck it in like a lovely lady. Yeah. So you look like a lovely lady from the front, but behind, yeah. it looks like a, you know, a real, a, a bulldog dragging a tree. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. uh, and you just pop that, you pop them in the grate. Yeah, yeah. And, and you would, cause you want to be careful of too much roasting, so I imagine you'd want to just kind of, like, eat yourself them. in slowly. Like you toast them. And if it feels too hot, get out of there, get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, if any kids are listening, try that. No! <laughs> what? No! Like, there's a kid thinking, yeah, I'm gonna roast my chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> I don't think there's no, even a child that's I doing that. I don't want that. someone to do it, and then the parents go and Steve Merchants uh, told our children to do yeah. it. We're probably okay. getting out. Oh, we're probably in trouble so now because of that. Where is the kid going to find an open fire like those? I mean, it has to be the sort that they <laughs> right, they use those kind of barrels. <laughs> it can't just be the open fire at home. That doesn't count. That's just stupid. <laughs> if you're going to oh, do it properly. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh we have such a nice time there. We've lowered the tone. I'll tell you what. Uh, what will prick us all up though? Richard Anderson has emailed us. Oh, Anderson. He's, he's loving the show, is he? Well, I don't know if you've uh, heard this, Carl. Uh, Carl, I've called you Carl. <laughs> That's okay. Um, That's okay. I'm Claire, pleased to meet you. It's the, it was is it, isn't the shaved head or the stupid sound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the c sound. Because didn't yeah. I call you Arthur or Jack or something last time? You called me, um. I can't remember. I don't know, but it was quite but, um, embarrassing. Claire, I'll be honest with you, Claire's quite an unmemorable name. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, Dickie Anderson, he's a guy, he's, I'll be honest with you, he's not a big fan of the show. But is he's, he uh, well, we're getting to winning round. He says, uh, dear Ricky, the more disappointing your show becomes, the more I seem to look forward to it. Ah. Now I see your face plastered across London. Is your show some sort of curse put on me by an old gypsy woman I've annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a good point, Dickie, but, um, because, <laughs> but, but Randers, as I call it, <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he's, he, I hey, can't really listen now, I know what he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah. tucked him in, he's backing into the fire as we speak, and he <laughs> wants it, he wants to roast them till they spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh. Thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks for, thanks for it, it, yeah. and Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year. Uh, and as you know, you got a lot to look forward to because our first hour is always the best. <laughs> as <it's laughs> so you're going to be loving it till three, cockers. <laughs> oh dear! What, cockers. What, should, what should we play? Well, this is I, I every so often I get sent um, a CD by uh, a friend of mine, Harry, who uh, just sorts me out with tunes That's that I may have missed. That's a good idea. It is a great idea. Fantastic. And um, <laughs> this is one that I think it came out this year. It's a teenage fan club, and they teamed up with Jad Fair, and I think it's a mixed bag, the album apparently. But this is one of the good tunes on it. <laughs> Um, I'm afraid your CD isn't. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. Oh, it's not me, Steve. Honestly, keep Claire, stopping. It looks like it's you. No, honestly. You're pressing buttons. You're fiddling with buttons. No, right. no, no. Come back again. Look. Right, you can't play that. Look, I didn't no, touch I just, it. I just, I, <laughs> this never happens when Carl's here. It does. <laughs> Don't you right? Yeah. yeah. I tell you what. Players. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'll swap it into another CD machine. Uh, can we play Oasis? Oh, it's one, another machine. one of my favourites. The Oasis back on form. Yeah, I, no, Rick. I, you don't, I don't. I'm not discrediting the tune. I just feel like. Oh, I'm Steve. Like, no, no we, I just, it was uh, a good hour. It was a good hour of radio, and it's just been cheap. You're right. It's just gone two o'clock, and already. Yeah. It's it's well, this is, uh, this doesn't bode well for the comedy awards. This is, is is a good anthem. This is a good Britpop anthem. Uh, yeah. Old uh, old Noel back on form with the old singer songwriting. This is uh, this is little by little an artist. He's yeah. a giant. He's like a giant, isn't it? Yeah. And he's a giant, and he gets starts off little and gets bigger. Little, little by little, you get little bigger. by little, but it's well, bigger by bigger. I called it. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what makes you so uh, genius. Yeah. Um, it. Oasis, little by little, little by little. Uh, do well, you explain we played who you some are? great tunes. I'm Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm Steve Merchant. Yeah. 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 And uh, playing the great tunes. What was it on Sky? Oh, s channel eight six four. Uh, Ricky, people are saying they can't see on the webcam. You just stick a leg up or something, just so they. That, yeah, you know, is that's it? Yeah, was it just on you? Is it? Oh, because most. But they can't see me because I'm in camouflage, oh, yeah, so it's, it's just, not a very interesting picture. I got a wave there. Yeah. Um, does anyone log on online? I don't know who. What, how does the webcam look? I don't. I've not so, ever seen on a webcam. Is it just kind of? Because normally aren't they kind of really sort of um, oh, well, sure, jarring? And, and does it take pictures like a digital camera? It's every fifteen it? seconds it updates. Every, oh, right. Okay. Okay. Get a still picture. Hey, so still, is it right? I see. Okay. Right. 
Oh, it's still pictures, is it? I didn't realize that. Yeah, every 15 seconds, yeah. So they can't actually see, you know, like, if I was to bust some amazing dance moves. No, they they just see. Well, if you did it, if you did it every 15 seconds, like, you move, they could then print them off and do, like, a clicker book. That would work. So they could see, they they could see doing windmills and, you know. (laughs) King Tuts. Yeah, all that, all that, all that. Yeah, this is a kick. Um, Um, I'm running out of steam now, Steve, a bit tired. Are you? So I've got 50 minutes to do, so we better think of something to say. Well, I I genuinely was going to ask you, because obviously Christmas is approaching and I've not even started to think about Christmas gifts. Oh, I don't know how you're getting do. on, Claire. I never do. But, because Claire, you're aware of what Ricky bought his family last year, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know, I am because he told me and I've completely yeah. forgotten. It's extraordinary. It is extraordinary. Um, I mean, uh, how much thought do you do? How much thought was, planning right, went I was, into uh, Right, right, I was pressing time. Many, well, how many parents, how many uh, kids were there? How many right, people like, were there? This is, this is it. This is it. I've got a big family, okay? Um, well, not big, but I mean, they've got lots of kids, so I'm sort of youngest in my siblings yeah. and so they're you know they've got kids ranging from like 30 to to babies and uh there's about 15 of them all would and you buy uh, them all yeah i'll go try and get them oh, try and get them all nice so what is, is it wait <laughs> <laughs> so uh i got a lift down and I thought, oh, what can I get? I thought, oh, I can't just give them the money. I thought, I'll stop oh, you there straight away if I may. What? You notice he's on the way down for Christmas Day. Oh, right, so he's on the- oh, right! He's on the way down. This is no, when he starts- This is when he starts- to, Oh, Boxing yeah. Day. So this is when he starts to think about buying me the gift. Yeah. On you go. So, uh, I was getting a lift and, uh, I'm out of lift down. Um, so, uh, just before we got there, I just ran across the road to the, uh, the 7-Eleven. Got 200 quid worth of scratch cards. Scratch cards. <laughs> scratch cards. Bear in mind, I think you were describing the family then. I noticed, uh, some of them you described as babies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> children. <laughs> yeah. You're giving lovely. the children the gambling, the gambling cards. But that's lovely. They, I gave them ten each, so they could have won thousands of pounds. A lot of them were disappointed when they won nothing, but I said, kids, that's the gamble. <laughs> <laughs> that's the risk you take when you receive a gift from me. <laughs> But the great thing about getting, uh, the great thing about getting- <laughs> Some ho- of them won! Some of them win. Some of them laughing. But the great oh. thing about getting kids hooked on gambling <laughs> as a Christmas gift is it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. And uh, throughout it, your adult life. It gives yeah. and it takes. Exactly, so yeah. I don't hand them to them, I hand them to the parents. Right, they, they, what they, they chose to do them. They could distribute them as they wanted. Sure, sure. Um, so what are you going to do this year, Ricky? But what, how are you going to top that? Yeah. 300 quid worth of scratch cards. It's got a bit of money now, but what? It's the most thought. <laughs> oh, and the office on DVD. Gift I've yeah. ever heard of. I think they might be getting the office on DVD. <laughs> Signed. <laughs> Signed. <laughs> so that's uh, already set it up in value. Oh dear. <laughs> I know, that's pretty bad. So have you seriously considered it this year? Is it, no, is I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping properly. <laughs> Yeah. If you want any help, I am the queen of shopping. Didn't you take a shopping. small roulette wheel down there, wouldn't you? Genuinely, didn't you buy like a roulette wheel? No, I had it. I, I, that's down there from when I got it when I was about ten. Oh right. And so right. I'm, I'm, I'm the banker. I always win. Yeah, of course. But they got to learn a lesson. The <laughs> banker always wins. I bet it's a valuable lesson when they when they lose money to me. I like. You should just go down this year and just say, basically, I went to a casino. <laughs> I put a uh, ten pound chip on for everyone. Exactly, yeah. Here's the winner. You, you lost. You lost. You lost. won. Yours came in. Yours was a donkey. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Steve, what about you then? Because I mean, you don't like shopping. Well, do it's you? not that I don't like shopping. It's that I don't. I've got no ideas. You know, I'm running on empty with my parents. They don't appear, as far as I can make out, they don't appear to have any hobbies. No. They're and like I said, you, I think before my grandparents. You don't like wasting money. I'm not being funny, but you don't like wasting money either, do you? Well, I don't like wasting money. No. Um. But I like. I like to buy something practical for people. I like something that which is going to last. Something that's value for me. I don't like novelty gifts. Yeah. No. I, mean, I, I said, think novelty gifts are wrong. I've mentioned to to you that my grandparents spend all their time in bed. So there's only so many kind of, you know, sort of bed socks you can buy, you know, and, and ointment for, you know, bed blisters and so on before, you know, Could you run you out of ideas. What about some of those novelty teeth? Because <laughs> that, I mean, because that would be, you know, a nice jokey present yeah. and they could probably come in useful for chewing the broccoli. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, do you know what would be nice? One of those... No, I'll tell you when. No, go on. <laughs> those sort of travel pillows. So you know when yeah. you're travelling and and but your head sort of falls anywhere. down. Like, no, no, but, but they uh, travel from vertical no, to <laughs> almost <laughs> horizontal. They're, they're sitting up in their bed. Get one on of those one of them pillows. beds that come up. You're not made of money. What, what am I talking about? about? <laughs> like Thora I mean, Heard's bed. Thora Heard's bed. She's. Uh, does her feet ever touch the ground now? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Though. No, I, it's literally. She's, she, she goes shopping in one of those little trolleys. She goes straight into her. She's up the stair lift. She gets lowered into the bath. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's terrible. Ludicrous. I just lazy. I mean, I tell you that, but I mean, oh, well, there's a whole line. But yeah, but that, if you're earning the kind of money that you know that Herd is on, well, you know, with her with her songs with of her praise and whatever else. Exactly. She was at the Comedy Awards last year, wasn't she? Well, she? I'll give her an award. She's up the stairs like a greyhound. <laughs> she can move then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I've got no ideas, absolutely right. no ideas. Okay. Um, but, so any suggestions are welcome, Claire. What are you gonna get your family? You've already well, got the food. Well, I know, I've, I've, well, I obviously listening? can't tell you because they will be listening. Right. Um, <coughs> but they're all outside at the moment because my family are coming to meet me after the show and we're gonna swap presents then because, uh. Okay. Outside. Are there any office in Leicester DVDs? Square? <laughs> no, office I haven't. Books? Um, no. Because I should, I should point out that the office DVD is currently available. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, I actually did go and buy, I actually went and bought it myself. <laughs> and online. I am enjoying the scripts, by the way. Excellent. That's in, I love the fact that I we're love? authors in the top ten. Yeah, we're in the top ten bestseller <laughs> no, but, list. No, 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 but to be fair, we're in the, we're in, uh, we're at number seven in the paperback non-fiction. Now, I don't understand how that can be non-fiction. Yeah. Because it's the transcript from a made up Yeah, it's not a real show. documentary. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. But we, we, we're, be we're beating these poor people. But, but we're officially best selling authors. <laughs> <laughs> Which is excellent. Which is my very good. Bits, my favourite bits are the emails at the start. They are, they are like Well, I mean, them. a lot of people don't yeah. know what you're talking about, Claire, but of course if they pop down to Waterstones <laughs> or uh, books of Pickle, they can, uh, they can sort themselves out. Oh, them. oh, nice. I like your style. Oh, can we have no. some more music now? Let's yeah. have, uh, what yeah. we're so Streets, maybe? Yeah, I mean, Streets oh, is obviously one of the albums of the year. And this Best is one of the the year. This is uh, Week Becoming Heroes. I think the last single in Dynamite is too. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, Eric Sermon, um, what's the tune called there? It's called React. React. Yeah, he's React. Got from his, yeah. uh, debut, no, not his, his fourth solo album. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm enjoying the tunes. Dude. No, absolutely. I'm enjoying the chat, I'm enjoying the tunes. I'm, enjoy keeping it real. I'm enjoying the penultimate show before Christmas. Last, uh, message from Anders, I suspect, oh, Anders. for the day. Uh, he says, I've just roasted my chestnuts over an open fire. It's a lot more enjoyable than listening to your show. He's, he, I he's I pretty think. snappy, he's Anders. Yeah, you know, he keeps yeah. on coming, you know. It's a shame that, um, you know, that we sort of couldn't sort of maybe meet up with him and try and persuade him that, you know, he should come over to our side rather than, you know. Come over to the side. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, be on our come side. over to yeah. the side. I, I think we've got him though, because I mean, so? yeah, apparently they did this survey in, uh, in, uh, America. People who loved Howard Stern listened to an average of like an hour and a half a week, and people who hated him listened two and a half hours a week. Yeah, exactly. So I think he's probably m more faithful a listener <laughs> yes. than some of the people that quite like us. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He's got to listen. It's a, I, I'm the same with some people. I've got to listen to things that I just think are awful. I, I can't, mm. It, mm. you know, it's compulsive viewing. Mm. So, uh, mm. you know, I don't care if people listen to us because they hate us or like no, us. No, indeed, as long as I they're listening. Actually, I was on the as long as they're spending money on the, the other day. Yeah. yeah, I was on the tube the other day, and obviously there's lots of pictures of you guys. And yeah. uh, there's a young couple, and, uh, and the guy was trying to explain to the girl what what you did. And he said, no, you should, you should check them out. They do quite well, actually. Really? <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> was, why was he well. explaining to her? She just didn't, she didn't know what was know. happening, I or? I, I don't know. I, I sort of, as I walked by them. Are you leaving out the fact that she went, oh, I hate that bloke. No, no, not at all, no, no, because I would say that, because that would be quite a He had some Germans family. laughing at him on the tube, because yeah. he recognised him. I, uh... You don't think of that? Well, I was, because I, obviously Ricky doesn't travel on the tube anymore. He's too rich for that. I never did. I but, always thought it was beneath me. Sure. But, uh, I used I to walk everywhere, didn't Yeah. You? But I'm still forced to, uh, I'm still forced to take the tube. And, uh, I sat on the tube and, uh, it pulled up and outside the window, <laughs> just happened to be on the station, was one of the posters with us. So I was kind of there, not realising it was behind me. And oh. these, these big kind of fat German or maybe Bavarian guys, uh, got well, on. Well, they're and eating sausages. Yes, they were. They're Bavarian. <laughs> yeah. They were. And, uh, and I noticed one of them kind of looked at me and then looked at the poster and then looked at me, just, just happened to see it, and whittered something to his friend in German, you know, I don't want to try and do an impression. I can't quite snatch in the Oh, whoa. I think that, no, 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 <laughs> for you, you're, I know what you're thinking it means, it doesn't mean that. Right, okay. It, it means, What's the rough translation? Uh, uh, elegant boy. Right, okay, yeah. And so anyway, he pointed, he pointed out the poster and, uh, and his That's mate, lanky piss and streak. <laughs> <laughs> that, and his <laughs> mate burst into laughter. <laughs> and, uh, and then we pulled well, they've up. they've got a great sense of humour. The Germans. Well, That's indeed. the thing. You, that, that but we rumbled on to the next. Uh, we rumbled on to the next station, and the poster was in exactly the same place. And this time, they tapped the shoulder off uh, someone else on the train and pointed me out. And that person also an laughed. Italian. I An Italian. Italian was. Yeah, yeah. There was a French. Was there a bloke with a bear head and a little moustache <laughs> exactly, on the other yeah. side? Yeah. Was yeah. the United? You did, did you get on the United Nations Express? <laughs> <laughs> Just to. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was. Fake, you know. a freak. Uh, 
Look at his freaky goggle eye. Right, whereas I, know, I love the fact that before you were at least pretending to be speaking German. Now this is an Italian with an accent. It's just the guy speaking perfectly good English. Same. You've not even disguised the insult there. Oh dear. Oh, oh that'd be what, lovely. Try and you can bring in other cod you languages. You could bring Europe together if they just uh, like, instead of Esperanto, mm. that, that there was just one common language. The language I'll, tell you what us, I'll tell you what would bring the Europe together is you maybe representing. England on the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh. That would be great. With a self pen tune. Should I do that? That would be Excellent. magnificent. It's nice. got to be worth thinking but, about. Just about everyone being the same. Yeah, like just about people being and equal. That, like everyone, not everyone. And, and, but, and also mentioning the Euro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just doing that. I like all different. I, I like all different cheeses. Oh, the, yeah, I lo uh, Je t'aime la musique pop. Yeah. La baby belle. Uh, et le cheddar. I, I mean, I'm not fluent French. I'm le grand fromage. <laughs> yeah. I'll be lovely, won't it? And they'll all be there. Uh, all in a different, different Well, every uniforms. line can be maybe in a different language. Yeah, and I, what would I wear? I'd wear sort of like a kilt. <laughs> you'd wear a kilt. Um, but you'd also have on your head one of those, um, those uh, kind of big, wh what are they called? Those big furry hats that uh, beef eaters or whatever wear. Or yeah, they'd, uh, one of them. Is it yeah. kind of a busby or a something? Busby. A busby, yeah. Wear one of those. Um, and, uh, or maybe a kind of policeman's helmet. That'd a be Bobby's good. helmet with the kilt. Yeah. You'd have the I'd, clogs. I'd, I'd wear the policeman's helmet under the kilt, so they just thought I was really enjoying <laughs> the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good idea. Hey. Excellent. We oh. talk, well, I think we talked for about three minutes without having to mention some kind of genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, that's that we should celebrate yeah. by playing one of my tunes of the year. Really? What one is it? You too, Electrical Storm. Oh, I know you're a big oh, fan. Yeah, I know no, you're a big choice. fan. Well done. Cheers. Electrical Storm, you too. I think that's my favourite of the year. Mm. If I had to pick one, that's great. Mm. Uh, and I do still feel slightly guilty about dissing them throughout the 90s. But, you know. Don't feel guilty if you didn't no, like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the 80s stuff. Fun. I didn't like the 90s stuff. I'm loving what they're doing in I the 90s. I think noughties. you're a bigger man than them, frankly, for being able to admit your past mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I think you're better than Bono. <laughs> despite all his charity work. <laughs> yeah. You're more of a noble yeah, figure. Yeah, stop bothering the Pope. He's busy. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Um, Rick, uh, my mother always used to say to me that you should write and thank your aunties and so on for their gifts. Yeah. And, uh, I feel like we should take a, a moment out just to thank all the people that have emailed or written into us during the year because we don't, basically, we're very lazy men and we never reply. Well, really. I don't never look. You never so look. You you emails. read them and, and I'll go anything for me. I reply you go, very occasionally if I think like it's worth it. You're like my secretary when it comes. You protect mm. me from like people who the insults and so yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there yeah. any insults? Are there? Oh, there's plenty. There's plenty. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Do you have to protect him, really? Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah there's lots of things I don't tell him. Lots of things I keep from him. It's not very nice. Yeah. I thought. I was, right. Well, he's <laughs> not as popular as he thinks he is. Oh, he thinks that when he's like dancing around and making funny faces and squawking and making noises and stuff when we're filming, he thinks that everyone thinks that's enjoyable. Some, Some of what people think I'm quite an annoying little prat, do they? That's not the word they use, but you're near enough really? there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they didn't say Pratt, but uh, you're on the right line. Okay. Um, but yeah. uh, for instance, uh, we had a l an email here from Graham. He says, please stop the chat and let's hear some more great ads, as I'm still not sure what mobile phone I should get the wife for Christmas. Well, uh, maybe this will help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just having fun with oh. the webcam. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I didn't, yeah, we're just playing with the webcam. The webcam's an absolute treat. That is a lovely picture. That's a lovely picture there of Steve on that's it. That's oh. lovely. Right, yeah. um, that, that keep the ladies feeder. happy. That was Feeder. If I know them. Great. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, that's one of my favourite tracks of the year as well. Feeder, you've enjoyed that. Which is what we're doing. Mm. God, mm. it's gone quickly. It's only a quarter of an hour yeah, ago. Yes, indeed, yes. Uh, Carl will be back next week for our kind of Christmas, uh, bonanza. I say that, we've got nothing planned. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no reason why it should be a bonanza. No. Oh, so we'll play some Christmas tunes and, uh, no doubt Carl will have some kind of festive, uh, game for us maybe, or, a, uh, a festive, uh, some well, festive trivia. Well, we're a couple of new games. I mean, he's, he's, he's struggling with Rockbusters, which we've missed this week. Mm. Uh, Educating Ricky, he thinks there's nothing out there. All he could find was a parrot and a dog in a car wash. Yeah, he can't find any uh, more interesting stuff. Still a little bit upset that we told him about intelligent crabs and, uh, um, babies forcing their way out. Yeah, we, uh, we stitched him up last week by telling him some, uh, some, uh, what we claimed were facts. Oh, right, cause I was out shopping, so I missed it. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, then. you know. You well, you know he sort of believes anything something. that's weird yeah, and wonderful and we just yeah. made up this story. So made up, I said uh, two bodybuilders, um, uh, got married and, uh, she had a baby but it, it <laughs> after six, six months or seven months she was in bed asleep and she woke up in terrible agony where the baby, where it had born, a bodybuilder had forced its way out of the vagina and was <laughs> pulling her along by the umbilical cord. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and intelligent crabs and stuff like this and he was yeah. genuinely disappointed. Yeah, that they were so, uh, But he got a new idea, um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is tell him three things. Yeah. One of which is 
made up and ludicrous and two incredible facts and it's called uh that's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> brilliant so he has to go number three is ridiculous <laughs> it's a winner yeah yeah yeah, yeah carl always comes up with the title first you mm. don't have right. to work the game show out from the title have you started work on uh, that's ridiculous yet no i've, 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 I've <laughs> thought of a couple of things it's great it's so much fun to say isn't it ridiculous yeah that's what oh, wow, the ridiculous <laughs> yeah, you're correct <laughs> basically it's like call my bluff isn't it really it's not unlike call my bluff it's not yeah. unlike bluff it's not unlike bluff <laughs> so yeah, yeah you've, uh, so uh um yeah we've had oasis streets we've had youtube we've had some cracking tunes can we get away with playing nelly hot in here yeah. i think it's a cracking tune i really do I, do I just think again you know i'm not interested in what genre you think it fits into or whether you think it's cool or because kids like it you're not supposed to like it let's, let's it's a good tune well, and i think we should try here, and, I'll, I'll we should try and stick it in. but before that rick can i just Go play on. one track we did play Go it on. much earlier in the what? year what? it's from that album uh, son of evil reindeer by uh, a band called the reindeer section and uh, this is a cracking little tune yeah. i just think it's beautiful and um yeah. nice to hear it oh beautiful marry it then oh nice isn't it yeah Very Christmassy. it it's makes beautiful. me want uh, to wish everyone a happy christmas indeed do you know well, I mean? yeah, do it. No. No, okay. <laughs> uh, that's called it's Grand Parade from the album Son of Evil Reindeer by the Reindeer Section. It's a nice tune. It's one of my favourites of the tea, year. By the way, Not Steve. at all, no. It's, that's, that's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Um, Claire, mm. just big highlights of the year for you as a final roundup. Sort of I things have you enjoyed this year? Um, I mean, musically maybe, or maybe stuff you've, uh, you know. Um, I've enjoyed that band, The Music. Okay. Um, and the Rapture, sure. And uh, the Electric Sticks. Remember last time I sat in for Carl, we played uh, Danger, Danger High Voltage. Yeah, the, like one of the first. That times. was the first time I'd heard that you played. And now yeah. we're playing it every really? hour. Yeah, because you're kind, you're, you're sort of a pioneer, aren't you, musically on XFM? You're well, one of the people I, who I keeps it pretty the, raw. The early days of Idle Wild, Ricky. Do you remember the early days of Idle Wild? I, I, I'll take that back as well. Ago. Teasing you about them playing the Pinder and Wakefield stuff. That that latest single I love and yeah. the video's great as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Idle World now. You, you, you no, you great. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's been a good year. I haven't been out to many gigs, obviously, because sure. I do the evening show, yeah. but you know, all yeah. the sessions with, with, which I'm doing the best of next week, quick plug uh -huh. for the show next week, yeah. best of the sessions. So it's Low been good points, year. low points, what are those? Low points. <laughs> Do you know what mine are? What? Poverty and war and everything. Oh, yeah, I always well, hate it. I yeah, always that. hate it. No, you know, you yeah, didn't say yeah, that. Yeah. No, you were, you were going to say. I was going to say. No, you were um, going to say the streets or something. And I yeah. and you didn't care about yeah. all the people <laughs> dying. So don't yeah. try and I'm do it now. I'm thinking specifically. You're nasty. You like that. You like poverty. Oh, you like poverty and salvation. Play a record, That's Claire. interesting. You yourself. That's interesting. What? A Near Christmas time. What? A you you oh, hope kids go lame? You're terrible. That's a terrible thing. Nelly, cheeky little bit of Nelly there. Oh, we stuck at Nelly. Point nine. We don't uh, care. Springsteen and Nelly. You don't get that on XFM, do you? Do no. usually? No, indeed. We don't live by the rules, do <laughs> Absolutely. I was as I was listening to you then talk. You got bored? It, no, no, no. It reminded me of an email that someone sent in saying that they listen online, yeah. but um, because of however slow their computer is or whatever, um, they it kind of stutters all the way through. <laughs> you um, want to point out that but, is the way I no, talk. but they said that it only happens when you talk, <laughs> and uh, I think they correctly identified that it's not the computer at fault. Well, that's why you I wasn't do worried about doing this boxing match, because I've definitely lost my looks, and I already slur. Yes. So there was really no danger of any damage. No, exactly. Yeah, you do sound punch drunk con <laughs> constantly. <laughs> exactly, that's yeah. just part of your charm. Well, listen, that's been a, a lovely two hours for me. Mm. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I, the listeners have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope mm. Sturgis has enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't really care if you <laughs> Don't bite me when I'm talking to Steve. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you you're here to press again. the buttons, Steve. <laughs> yeah, um, but um, we're going to play now a Christmas song for the lovely Christmas ladies. I don't say it's so much Christmassy, but it's one of the tunes I heard well, this year that really uh, stuck out for me. Thing, so. Well, you're a fool. You've embarrassed yourself. Uh, yeah. um, you, just, you just showed up that there's no planning. <laughs> um, yeah. This is, uh, I was giving away on a, a free CD on the cover of a magazine. I just think it's brilliant. It's a Lamb Chop, who are an excellent band always, doing a cover of an ob obscure Rolling Stones tune and called I'll say Backstreet what, a bloody Girl. good meal as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's true enough. <laughs> uh, so we'll leave them with this. It's Backstreet Girl, Lamb Chop, and uh, see you next week for uh, our final Lamb festive show. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. It's something embarrassing, thank you. I don't want you to be her. Dissing all his mum and everyone. Yeah, there's a little bit of cussing in there, which they yeah. bleeped out, thankfully. Carl's in a bad mood already. He's been in about three minutes and he's in a bad mood, getting stressed. If you can't hack it, leave. What's the matter with you? No, I'm just saying. It's been... I was meant to enjoy last Saturday off and I didn't. Why not? Why is that our fault? Because you weren't here. Just because... 
I don't know, but <laughs> Are you not in the Christmas spirit? Why didn't you enjoy last Saturday? What, what did you I do? Went, you I went, went, right, I went all the way back up north again, right, because, uh, it was Suzanne's dad's birthday, right? I was busy last week, didn't have time to get him a present or anything. Didn't have time to get him a present. So I got to Houston Station, bought a card for him, which was a Christmas card, so he wasn't happy because he was saying it's my birthday, and I said, well, I won't be seeing you again. So I've got a joint card, and then we went out- Did you get him a present? Well, no, because we went out on Saturday night for something to eat at this pub that he likes. It's a nice steak and onion mm, rings, mm, right? Lovely. So he should have been happy anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> what you paid for it? No, no. But he should have been happy anyway. Suzanne paid for that because it is her dad, uh-huh. right? Not mine. So I said, "All right, what 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 can I do?" I said to her. So she said, "Just buy a few drinks or something." Anyway, I didn't get around to getting the drinks. Cause I didn't can't believe it. You didn't no, get around to getting the drinks. Right. right. So right. I said, "Right, I'll pay for the cab." Right? Oh, what a lovely Christmas gift that is. Yeah, so £2.50. I paid, no, it in, was like in three, quid there, three quid back. So oh. six quid you spent on him? Well, no, I spent more, you see, that's what he said. He you said, get the oh, Bolton and back, can't he you, said, he said, oh, you've spent on me six quid for my birthday. I said, no, I haven't, because I gave the taxi driver a tip. I'm a little bit worried about his attitude as well. Because <laughs> even, <laughs> I mean, that is a stingy present, but you don't go, you don't well, say. I mean, let's be honest, that's the worst Christmas gift ever, because, I mean, you're pretty bad, like we discussed in the past, but at least you spend a bit of money. Yeah. It's just thoughtless. Yeah. This is nothing. I know. giving him any time. I mean, I would. And I I knew, and I knew my my demographic. They loved it. Oh, my yeah, family. You, yeah, they couldn't believe their luck. <laughs> you know. Well, a tenner. You spent a tenner on him. Well, the cab fare was six quid. But, but, but the thing is, he doesn't. It's not. A, I don't think he's saying that. I think it's the fact that this is like you know frittering away. Well, it's kind life. of he would, this, he would have loved. I'm sure he would have been appreciative of a lovely ten pound gift that you cared about and bought. A book he probably likes fly fishing, doesn't he? By J R Hartley. Mm-hmm. If he'd have bought that, he'd have gone. That's what I was looking for. Well. Or E. What I was looking for, Carl. E. Bloody hell, Carl! <laughs> you little bald twat. <laughs> that's just what I wanted. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So just calm. Think, so what have you got planned for uh, for Christmas? Is this what I mean? Have you are you spent? Is you are you doing the same? Oh, Carl, Susan? excellent! You've paid me milk bill for this week. <laughs> that were re nice. I'm spent this year. So what, have you planned anything for Suzanne, or are you just yeah? Gonna... I'm taking her out Christmas Day for something to eat. Well, right. don't. Does she know that? Is that was that? She's you... working today, so she uh, she you know. So right, okay. So what Christmas gift have you got? I say I'm taking her out. What you haven't got? You haven't got a present. No, because we spent a lot. Don't forget that's half yours, though. You're going to be. Eating. You're not going to just be sitting there watching her <laughs> eat, going, "Oh, I'm hungry, but I spent all." You're going to be eating as well. That's half yours. So you've got. She's got Look nothing to unwrap. It's literally like a cat who's but been hit. Minute. She's got nothing to unwrap. There's nothing. She's going to hand something over to you because I've met the woman. She will. She'll hand something over. You'll open it. You'll love it. I might get something today. <laughs> 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 you shouldn't take me to begrudgingly oh, persuade you to do it. God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. 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 Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and stick in some uh, Christmas songs. We're not playing all Christmas songs, but I brought in a couple. So this is Christmas. John Lennon. Yeah. Uh, the River. Of Joni is. Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Fairy Time, New York. One of the best Christmas songs oh. ever. Oh well, what about a bit of Pretenders? That's a good one. Two thousand miles. Let's hear it. Pretenders. Two thousand miles on XFM one hundred four point nine. This sort of Christmas edition. We're not here next week, are we? No. Car is, aren't you? Well, you are in a way. I was doing the best of, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Is it a best of? Yeah. Brilliant. Have you what, been putting it together? Not yet. Okay. Well, well, I'll, do it, I'll do it today. Tell right. me what bits you want in it, and I'll sort it out. It's not for me to say, is it? Yeah, do the best stuff. Well, maybe people could email in with their, uh, their the highlights of the year for them. I'm trying to think what they were. I mean, mostly. It'd be, mostly, Carl. it'd be mostly Carl, wouldn't it? Mostly Carl, gibberish from Carl. Oh, it'd be, I, I think it'd be an awful lot of educating Ricky from Carl. Mm. Mm. Well, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you've got any thoughts on uh, stuff you'd like to hear <laughs> again. I'm Is there any, uh, anything you'd like to hear of Carl saying something stupid, me and Steve laughing or slapping him? Yeah. That's basically the competition, yeah. isn't well, it? Well, there's a couple of instances where I tried to kiss him, I think, and you encouraged me. Yeah. Those are uh, some highlights for me. Well, I, just, w- uh, I wish I had a video of that. Yeah, so do I. You mentioned educating Ricky. Uh, yeah. We've only got, do you know how we normally have like three installments. Mm. Yeah. We've only got two today. Why? 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 Just, um... Well, you clearly weren't busy Christmas shopping, so what were you, what's the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, like I say every week, it's a bit of a struggle finding stuff that I can teach you. Sport, but at the same time, what we have got, we've started the feature, I teased MTV with it, right? Uh, so I thought I'd best start doing it before they get someone like Zane Lowe presenting it or something. Yeah. So, do we need them? Do we need them? Yeah. Uh, you should explain do we need them for those that, that don't like the show. Well, it's, uh, it's sort of education right. uh, about animals and stuff and if we need them. So, like, uh, David Attenborough once said, uh, you can get rid of people off the earth and it would carry on, there's no problems. But, you know, get rid of a monkey 
and you could have problems on your hands. So <laughs> Is that a direct quote from Attenborough's current autobiography? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. So, so yeah. what I've done today, right? He always starts having this with, uh, right, so then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... Yeah. <laughs> but he, and he always ends things, you got yourself all quite cool, all sorts of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that, that's yeah. done. That's, yeah. that's coming up. Enjoy that, so enjoy that. I've spoke to a woman about, um, jellyfish. Oh yeah, because I know you're not a fan. Not a fan of them, so we'll be speaking to Women or jellyfish? This is a woman. <laughs> I so, right, <laughs> yeah. so we'll be sorting that out before three o'clock. We'll be finding out if we need them. Putting <laughs> <laughs> that one to bed. He's great, and he's great. And then we've got a Christmas edition of Rockbusters, which oh. I found out yesterday. Go on. Channel 4 have ripped it off. Go on. It's on their uh, teletext thing. That's oh, really? outrageous. Yeah, on their teletext page, someone said. <laughs> what are they doing then? Like Rockbusters, they're copying the former. Are you sure they're not copying Blockbusters? No, no, it's, it's, uh, someone said it's a cryptic clue of a band and that, and initials, and you work it out. That is despicable. I mean, right. we should investigate this. So they've, they've, they've fundamentally ripped off the idea of being out, allowed to do a cryptic clue to get a band. Yeah, but they, they sort of clever cryptic clues. <laughs> well, oh, they, so they, 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 they still ripped you off then, have they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just saying. Hey, so. I should just point out, because it's Christmas time, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Whee! Oh, Dickers! Uh, yeah, R.A. is, uh, well, he's, 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 I suppose he's a long-time listener. Yeah. Um, and he emails us most, uh, most weeks. Uh, Ricky. If, as I suspect, I'm your only listener, I wouldn't bother with your show today, as I've got to attend some family Christmas nonsense at Auntie Marion's house. <laughs> okay, That's from great. Dickie Anderson, and, uh, he's, he's good because considering he hates the show and, uh, everything we stand for, he does, he does take the time to email every week. That counts, that counts to advertisers. Yeah. I think we've got a lot like him. Mm. Mm. As we've also had a lovely Christmas card here from Alexandra, right, who's, uh, wishes, look, she loves the show, she loves you, Carl, and she's enclosed some biscuits, biscuits for you to save you a bit of money, because she knows you goes out and get your, your own biscuits, and no, we've got some, a lovely little packet of Fox's Well, why don't you creations. wrap them up and you can give them to your <laughs> girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> And Blitzen from the About a Boy soundtrack by Badly Drawn Boy. Christmas theme Christmas there. Christmas theme there. You spotted the Christmas theme. Yeah. Carl's not really in festive mood, but uh. I can't imagine Christmas is your time of year, is it, Carl? Well, I'm not sure any time of the year is really. I liked it when I was about. I think when I was about seven, I enjoyed it. Mm. Was that the like, one? Was that the year, the big you year get, for you? You get loads of stuff you don't have to worry about anyone else, but once you've, like, got a job. What did you get when you. When, when were you doing your paper round? How old were you then? I was about, uh, 13, 14. Well, that was you then, you were a man, weren't I you? Had to, you? I had to, uh, yeah, I had to buy stuff. Oh. But you still not You're quite a selfish time. man, aren't you? I didn't realise this. No, 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 it's just that Christmas. And that's coming from him, Carl. My dad always said. Oh, he's steady on. Dad said Christmas morning was for, like, you know, for me, so he used to stay in bed. Mm. So he, ne he never- That's fun. brilliant, that's a great thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christmas morning's for you. Run wild, do what you want, just yeah, don't bother me. going to Honolulu for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Dad, it's Christmas, do I have to do anything? No. So my mum used to get up, cos she used to like to see my face light up, you know, when I, when I open the presents. And then, uh... <laughs> to keep the fireworks. And then, uh... <laughs> then we'd have to go to my bedroom from about six o'clock onwards, cos, like, my mum and dad were into having big Christmas parties, and I wasn't, like, old enough to go. Right. So they'd say, right, you know, you've had your fun there, you go up to your bedroom, stay in there. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, I remember one year, right, I got, got a train set, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Right? It's brilliant. Uh, playing with it all day, I thought, I don't mind about the party, I'm happy staying up here, playing with this. Brother comes in. He's had a few, right? He's going, yeah, give us a go on your How train. How old is he? He's, he's a bit older than me, so he, he might have been like, uh, let's see. Well, let, me, let him be 18. About, yeah, probably about 18, 19, and something like that. I was, well, I had a train set, so, I don't know, about... Fourteen. <laughs> something like that, yeah. right? So, uh, so I'm playing on that, loving it and stuff, and then he comes in and goes, oh, give us a go. He turns the transformer up to, like, 14. He went really fast for about five seconds. Broke it, and then he went back downstairs. Wow. So Christmas, I hadn't even got to Sounds Christmas Sounds like day. the, uh, Conservative government with, uh, British Rail. <laughs> satire, <laughs> <laughs> Satire, Rick, I just thought that there's satire. It's there's there's any satirical it's, 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 shows this in or it doesn't, work, it doesn't work in any way, cos there's, 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 the analogy falls down, no. apart from there being a train. Think it through, though, British Rail was trains. <laughs> yeah. And the government broke the trains in many, well, they didn't break them, like, not officially breaking them, but they kind oh, of... Yeah. It's yeah, it does work, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I can't, and, and no one's asked him to be on the Vogue on his view. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Cos it is strange. <laughs> when, yeah. when you've got a satirical mind that that, that's as quick as that. Yeah. Right. And it's broke your little train set. And so what did you do? 
I just like watch telly and have some sausages. <laughs> I bet you were happy with that though, weren't you? Oh, it's a bit annoying though, isn't it, when your main present of the year has been broke. And did, then, it, uh, did it ever get it fixed? No, that was it. That was it. Put away. I'm intrigued why your parents wouldn't let you come and join in the festive fun. Was it's it like really the debauch down there? Was it like eggnog no, everywhere? Well, no, like but I mean, that's fair enough. Six seems a little bit early, but I just think, you know, if you're your kid, you, you know, he had his fun, put him to bed, put him to bed at eight, maybe. <laughs> and he was. So on Christmas Day, I thought that was a day for family. Well, not if there's a party going on. And well, I don't have the party on to Christmas Day. Well, that's point. that's that's another option. Yeah. yeah, your parents are weird, aren't they? A strange breed. Well, I think that was the year, right? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking about buying presents and stuff. I think I did treat my mum to that. I didn't buy my dad anything. I think that was like when I got a bit older, I used to get my dad something because he wasn't that bothered anyway. No. Mm. So uh, got me mum. Uh, there was a cheap shop, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, Thank God for that called Snips. Right? <laughs> so I went in there and I thought, let's see what I can get her. And remember, uh, Victoria Plum? I don't think so. Well, it's like a, a fairy character. Right. Right? I mean, mum's into gnomes <laughs> and stuff, right? So, I thought, right. <laughs> she must be pleased with you, then. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so, Victoria uh, Plum. I was thinking, is that one of the neighbours? Is it? Is it like a brandy no, do you liqueur? Remember Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Yeah, it's like a little fictional sort of character. Right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I saw it. I thought, yeah, she'll love that. Right. So I did my paper round, saved up for two weeks. Right. Oh. Got that sorted. Went to Snips, bought the uh, Victoria Plum. Next day, I'm in I'm in town with her. Right. So I think, ah, oh, I know what I'll do. I said, come come in here a minute. Right. Uh, so we go in and we're looking around and I tested her, right? I went, look at that there, that's all right, innit? And she goes, oh, it's bloody awful. <laughs> oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. I just, I, I, oh, God. So then Christmas Day comes and I said, oh. don't bother opening it. She said, no, no, why? Said, oh, no, bother. why did you still give it to her? So, well, it's too late, I'd already bought it. Oh, Carl. So she opened it and I, I was like, <sighs> And she said, oh, that's nice. I said, why are you saying that? I said, the other day, so it's bloody awful. She said, oh, no, I thought you were pointing at something else. Oh, no. So that's why I don't get anyone anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Play record. Oh, God. Oh. That's good, isn't it? What bad? Gold Rush. Let you down. I'm, I'm just actually quite affected by Carl's Victoria Plum scenario just the fact that like that that eagerness he wants to make sure it's a great present he's saved up his paper round he thinks it's like a gnome but modern i'm worried that you're using it as an excuse now and that's why you're not buying anyone any gifts because you've had your fingers burned once i mean you were six seven years old to be fair no you weren't you were about 13 weren't you if you're doing your paper round yeah well, uh, must have been, there must have been yeah, eleven or twelve then. All right. Yeah, so I'd, I'd saved up. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not using it as a thing. It's just. What that, did you get your mum this year? Um, I've sent them um, some money so they can uh, get a passport. So they can get a passport. <laughs> what, 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 where are they? Are they trapped no, somewhere? <laughs> well, well, they're, they're, I mean, they're in a holding bay yeah. somewhere in Dover. Yeah, yeah they've they've got got a, a truck driver. <laughs> <gonna> sneak <laughs> <them> across. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so they can buy a passport. What do they do? Sell it when they were no, a bit, <laughs> they're a bit down in their luck. <laughs> No, they, they haven't got that much money, right? They've never been abroad, and the mate said they might, uh, take them next year, and they said, oh, we haven't got a passport, you so I thought- You've got to buy a passport, have you? Cause isn't that your God-given right as an Englishman? No, you've got to pay for them, they're thirty quid each, so you better add to, otherwise they're conning me. Right. <laughs> they said you said them sixty quid. You don't born with a passport, yeah, of course you, you said don't. them sixty quid in an envelope, like, have you? Well, check. Right. No. I love that. It, 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 uh, if you're watching telly and uh, France will come on and they go, oh, what do you think of that? She goes, it looks bloody awful. <laughs> yeah, go, oh, don't, open no. don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. So oh. you've not, you've not paid for a holiday for them. You, you, you've, you've, no, you've just sorted out the, well, it's, it's the better prize, isn't it? Because they can't go anywhere <laughs> without it. Well, the passport <laughs> keeps on giving. Yeah. It's so, like ten years, ten years. That, yeah. that is, yeah. So, but no, I never used to, I mean, I can't <laughs> think of other things. I used to get me dad once, once I started getting him stuff, it used, sort of used to be, uh, dressing gown. Yeah. And then, 
But as a s- extra surprise, he used to put like a cigar in the pocket, so he'd think that was it. Yeah. Then he'd put it on and put his hand in the pocket. Right. And, and then oh, he'd just hit you because he thought you'd nicked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, dear. So you bought uh, him a jacket with a cigar? That's quite thoughtful. Yeah. Did you sneak a cigar once when yeah, Christmas? Yeah, well, it was when, that's when they used to have like the big do's, like I say. You know, they were, they were known for it. Like the, f- the whole estate used to know that, you know, we were having a party. Yeah. So, uh, so they'd all come round. So they'd all come round and you know, have food and drink yeah. and that. Oh, and pocket the, yeah, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine how unpleasant that must have awful. been. Awful. Awful. And you yeah. locked in your bedroom with a broken train set. Yeah. And, and looking at Victoria Plum, <laughs> yeah. whatever that was. In the bin. Oh, in the bin, yeah. <laughs> and hear a mum saying, and he got me this. Got it, me this isn't this piece shit? of rubbish. You could hear him just throwing it against the yeah. wall and, and laughing. All, and all the neighbours laughing. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and you'd come down and just be in pieces with loads of spit on it. <laughs> yeah. Just loads, loads of, of garb on it. Eyes. And all the Polaroids of them just like laughing at yeah, it and pointing. stamping on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, it's brought uh, all the flooding back. But no, uh, no, I used to get up in the morning and then, like, they'd still, still sort of all be there asleep on the floor and on the sofa. And, oh, oh, that's awful! Oh, that's terrible! <laughs> Christmas is surely the one day a year which is a family thing. It's for the kids. They're the ones no, that. No, that, that was Boxing Day. Well, I know. Oh, that's all right. It's, not, it's, not <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Back on Christmas the bike. All right. You, 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 yeah. Who's, who's going to pay for this? What, me? Yes, Carl. <laughs> You're doing two rounds today. Yeah, what's your paper round supporting the entire family? <laughs> yeah. no, so, so I used to get up and, like, go downstairs and they'd be asleep, so I'd be mooching about trying to find, like, another present that's still working. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so, I yeah. love the idea that these people from the estate had, like, <laughs> squashed these presents. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so I found a cigar that had been sort of lit up and then put out, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. I went outside and had a go, and that's the last time I smoked. Right. So I've, I tried it, I thought, I don't like that. I love that he does everything once. Yeah. In yeah. his life, it's, like, it's a line of, I've done everything once, I don't need to do it again. Oh, dear. You know, I, I, I said in the past to you, Rick, that my grandparents, so I love them dearly, but it's like, for the last 30 years, they've been waiting to die. I know, It's yeah. like they just sort of, it's like, you know, the novelty wore off of like... <laughs> <just> life <laughs> in the yeah. I got kind of bored of it. Life, yeah, in the 40s, it was brilliant. All sat around the old Joanna's, the Bond style, yeah. singing, they loved that. In the 50s, you know, that was great as well, because that was the post-war years. It was, you know, it was a bit tight in the pocket, but it was all right, everyone pulled together. And then the 60s came along, all the crazy music, the let's, funny hair. Let's stay in bed. They, they, exactly, and they basically stayed in bed. And, uh, it was one Christmas when, um, my, my, my grandmother said to my dad, uh, what's life for Christmas? What, what do you fancy for Christmas? And, uh, this must have been, well, I don't know, 20 years ago? She said, uh, what do you, uh, what do you fancy for Christmas, Ron? And he went, well, you know, I could do with a nice big kind of warm winter overcoat. She said, don't worry about that. Said, don't worry about that, because your father will be dead soon. It's what you can have his. Meaning my granddad. Well, to be honest with you, my father's still waiting. <laughs> Which is good news. Good news for my grandfather. <laughs> Less good news for he's my dad. He's freezing. He's freezing. How, he finds out, how is he today? He's yeah. fine. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I'm freezing. It is fair, it's such a weird a mindset, that. I think it's that, to me, is what sums up people from that older generation, the 40s and 50s. And it seems to me that you've got that kind of mindset. It's like you were born in the 30s. And whenever you talk of your childhood, it's like you had, like, a big I potato th- to take well, to I, school. I, I, and no, a hoop I, and a stick. As the kid. other thing is, I think that it, it, that sort of generation, it, it seems that the man is dependent on the woman. Mm. As a total dependent. Oh, absolutely, if, yeah. if she dies, he's done. Yes. He's yes. done for. It, yeah. it just pine away. If he dies, she's got 30 years of pottering. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and going yeah. to like, you know, uh, the, the youth club and the yeah, church. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's sort of like, that. it's, it, it was, it's sad, of course it's sad for them, but it's so, not the end of their life. No, sure. And it sort of is the other way around. I don't I know, know why that is. Yeah. It's terrible. That's a little melancholy thought for uh, I know, Christmas I've really brought it, you brought it down, you've brought it down, I've brought it, this isn't a nice show at all, this is terrible. Well, I don't know people what just it's killing themselves. Uh, what? Well, I, d- I didn't really want to make it a Christmassy type show because I don't, I don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. What well, he did Christmas once didn't like it. No, he's just Play a record. I'm not, I'm not religious or anything. <laughs> what, are you, what are you? You're not anything. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Fan Club from the XFM Christmas album, and that's Christmas Eve. Their guitar sounds are just brilliant. They're just always so nice. All right, Carl, would you like that? Would you like Teenage Fan Club? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're right. good. Carl, I feel like you've never kind of enjoyed the wonder of Christmas. I don't think, I can't ever get the sense, maybe except when you were very, very young. You know, that kind of bright-eyed, you know, thinking of Santa, you know, kind of um, landing on the roof and coming down the chimney and drinking the, the sherry or whatever. I, so, I like I like the idea of it, right? Sure. The, the sort of, you know, uh, I used to like, I used to get a couple of annuals every year, you know, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally right, yeah. And I was allowed to open one on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, just, yeah, so, <laughs> so they could throw it on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, I think the, uh, it is well, like, quick through to the fruit <laughs> you, right. Yeah, yeah. I used to have light a cigar off the yeah. cooker. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, this one, um, a good friend of ours, Ross Noble, the comedian, brilliant. Uh, he's given me this picture, Carl, which he's got from a magazine. He loves you. He and I have to say, you. I think this. <laughs> I'm just losing it then. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm, obviously, it's not going to mean much to the listener. Oh, this is but it is currently but available. I'm... I think it's in the current edition of Bizarre magazine. So um, you might want to buy that. It's not horrible, though, is it? There's a certain grotesqueness about it. Oh, it's, a, just think it's I, a deformed person, but, isn't it? Well, to a degree, but I think what it's going to do for Carl is give him, I think, just, I think for you and I, Rick, we're yeah. going to see his face. <laughs> light up. Brighten up, uh. lighten up, like opening a, a wonderful Christmas gift. Oh, do you excellent. know what? I think I've seen this. Is this the one with the kid with the big head? I'll be honest with you, Carl, it is. Have you seen it already? No. Let me just show it to you again so you can come yeah, yeah, like I haven't seen it. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't be laughing at that. No, but that is like the kid who I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same. That can't be the so same. So do you recognise him? <laughs> Seriously, that 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 is the same <laughs> thing he had. Oh, I mean, I have to say, oh, it does look sure. like it's been computer generated. It's so old. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Um, but look at the, the chart's face. I look know. Look at his don't what? take another photo of me. I'm, I'm not sure this is right. It's not right, it's not right, but I just, I was hoping that that would give you, Carl, just a little glimpse of, uh, We've had a request wonder. as well on the, the, the best bits that someone wants to uh, hear you talking about your mates with the big heads. <laughs> I can't oh. believe it, because every time we go there, I get, we get some sort of complaint about something. It's about what? To believe it. Well, it, that, for some reason, that always goes from the story with my dad going to Blackpool for <laughs> taking those kids there. And yeah. what kids? And, uh, for, leave it. No, no, what, what? No, I don't, no, this kid, well, we don't know what you're talking I'll about. I'll tell you when we put a song on. No, well, I know what it is, well, but you can't you just say that. Well, is it when, in, is it, in. okay, is it when your dad put a kid in the wheelie bin? Because he was getting at home. Yeah. So well, we're gonna we can't go through it we're again. Gonna, it's uh, too controversial. <laughs> we're gonna. Uh, what's the name? No, well, the thing is, right? You were just saying about what are you about Christmas? <laughs> That's the funny thing, right? Because in our house, there's no one who's religious, right? No. no. My dad got annoyed when I went to church that day. He's like, "What are you doing that for?" Of course. I went to see a gig in Liverpool. Remember the band, the Christians? Yeah. He thought I'd join some club. Yeah. I said, I've been to see the Christians. He was saying to me, man, what, what's he doing going out with them? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, the other thing is, because I'm not christened or anything, my mum used to say to me, don't tell anyone that, because there's witches and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I want it. I want to go back and see his upbringing. I really, yeah. I just want to go back and see him at seven. One day, one day in the life of Carl, just, age seven. Just have three just ghosts it. visit him tonight <laughs> and take him back to his time. But uh, we could go with him. We go with him. Well, we can meet some of the ghosts. Yeah, so the I ghosts like Christmas past. Oh, remember this? That's, ma that's yeah. incredible. Because so, so, we just don't tell so, what, just so you thought, what? So she wasn't Christmas, but she thought maybe someone could take your soul because well, you weren't Christmas. It's like, uh, <laughs> there's, there's cults and that, isn't there? And if find out you're not christened. Right. So I don't think they care. I don't think a lot yeah. of cults care. Well, but what can they do if you're if if you're not christened? I don't, I don't know. What, I just said all right because then through that time there must have been a time when. But hold on, now they know. Yeah, but I'm older now, so I'm all right. She used to yeah. worry about me playing out on the street. Oh, she was that. worried about whether you were naive and stupid and easily led. Well, yeah. yeah. No, 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 <laughs> good point. No, you're right now, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good. Rockbusters. Well, Rockbusters. Well, tell the prizes, Steve. Yeah, tell we have Christmas some, uh, gifts. This is Christmas, Christmas gifts. gifts. I don't know if you'll receive them in time to actually pass them off as gifts. I wonder uh, if I can tell that, um, uh, Ross Noble story that he told us. I don't know. We'll have to Was discuss it? that when the record's playing. Okay. Right. Um, okay, so you heard a track from it just then, this is the XFM Christmas album. I think that's been knocking around here in the office for years, hasn't it, Carl? Um, or is it new this year? It was brought out about two years ago, okay. but Christmas, Christmas songs are Christmas songs are Christmas songs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got bands on there like the Dandy Warhols, the Web Brothers are on there, Drugstore, Ben and Sebastian, Flaming Lips, all sorts. So we've got that to give away. We've also got this um, Smashing Pumpkins compilation, which we seem, again, we, that seems to be knocking around for weeks. Another one of those 50 years of the greatest hit single. I don't know, Culture Club's on there, Queen, obviously. I've just Lennon. seen the cult film. Yeah, uh, the, com the cult film will come back to you shortly. This, I think, is one of the most exciting gifts. If you have a video <laughs> player and you want to get trimmed, then surely Big Brother 3 champion Kate Lawler and her cardio combat video, mm. in which I think she uses kind of, I don't know, military <coughs> boxing training to get you trim and taught and sure. looking as good as her, then you can get that as well. We've also got uh, a exclusive seven-inch single from the White Stripes, a kind of Christmas single. Is that from them? Yeah, yeah. That must be quite rare. That's probably That's the only thing worth. That is worth something. 
And um, the current badly drawn boy album, Have You Fed the Fish, which well, that, I that, think that, is slightly that, mediocre. That, that they've gone up, actually. I think that the, the level of prices there has gone up. Not a bad selection, but here is the big movie. And actually, I have to say, this is not a bad one. It's no, it's just, not. Uh, again, it's not not terrible at all. It, quite. Could, it could be worse. It's uh, James Cann in the original Rollerball, not the disastrous remake that came out no. recently, but uh, the DVD version of Rollerball. So that's there as well. So something fairly interesting. That's gets, worth winning. Yeah, right, come on then. Let's do Rockbuster. Well, will we play a song to get people time to get a pen and paper and that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing it next. Yeah. Uh, Carl Pilkington. The man of the moment with his rockbusters coming your way with all those great prizes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, are we, uh, we're yeah. doing it now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know it's Heat Magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done, I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh, so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with with it whatsoever, but I just thought... <laughs> so you mean yeah. that clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah. But, 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 but it's nothing to, nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. <laughs> right. So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bells. Well, it's the equivalent of that, but in sort of speech. Right? Brilliant. So the first yeah. one, um... There's a load of letters, uh, there, asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and, uh, have a good Christmas. Give it to us again. <laughs> oh, God! Right, so, there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Right, right, but bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these No, that's got nothing to do with it. I don't want to, okay. you know. And the initial letter is F, right? That's F. All right. Right, the second one. Uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, that's S. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably what brought it on. So that's, oh. that's B. Right. Oh. B. B. Oh God. So they're the they're the three. Will I just uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I have uh, no idea. So I can't even. One. I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. All right. There's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one. Ask your mum if you should. After you wrote the present. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. busy because it's Christmas. That's a yeah. B. So they're the three things. It's email only. This one, uh, please remember that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Mm. Uh, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Brilliant. Carl Brilliant. looks happy with them. He yeah, looks really happy with them. Really so. They're oh, cracking. Uh, they're good. Yeah, good. pleased with so. those. All right. right. Is there going to be more rock, rock buses in the new year? We're not sure. Um... I'm, I'm still, you know, thinking about new ideas mm -hmm. that we can do. Okay. Um, are we starting Ricky Ridiculous today? Have you done Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be hard. Look right. forward to Ricky Ridiculous. Well, he's you. worried about, he nearly said asked and he just stopped. Cause he's yeah, worried, well. cause he's the producer. Yeah, well, I've got a set of standards. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you have, mate. <laughs> you have. So that, that's that. We've still got to come, uh... Oh, I'll tell you what, why don't we have, um, a lovely tune, yeah. right? You make the tea, we're opening these biscuits from Alexandra, yeah. we'll be enjoying that, right? Maybe segue so we can have a nice little, you know, rest, I don't want to talk through it, it'd be rude. And then we're coming back, and as part of, like, Pilkington, Parkinson, <laughs> and do we need them? Do we need them? <laughs> yeah. Carl has interviewed an expert on, on jellyfish. jellyfish. Brilliant. So we've got that. Plus, of course, we've got two part, a two part educating Ricky. You've got educating Ricky still to come. With a Christmas theme or not? Um, and we've still got no. things like the Pogues, John Lennon, Joni Mitchell, just uh, uh, David Bowie. Are you, are you suggesting there's going to be some great music and some great fun Great music chat. and some fun chat. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, good. We've got our little biscuits, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, We're loving it, aren't we? Cheers, um, I, th I think I can just sum up the station, can't I, Steve, without just last comment? I think comment. you're probably right. Uh, I just came in, I just sort of went to the toilet there, and, uh, um, uh, it's a disabled toilet that's close to it, so, uh, you know, you go there, I had a wee, I thought, oh, the thing doesn't work, didn't flush, I came back and said, oh, the, the toilet doesn't work, doesn't flush. And, uh, Carl went, no, you just stick your hand down and pull the, that wire up at the, 
<laughs> Think of that. Put your hand in the water. I mean, just when, in the da water. when David Bowie uh, interviewed Zoe, and kind of, yeah, uh, it's torn off last. She goes, "All right, Bowie, just stick your hand down, pop the shit down the uh, down the U bend, and just wipe your hands on your pants." <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks very much. I mean, oh, sums up this station, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Tin pot. Have you ever done this? This is one of my most embarrassing moments. It's kind of, you know, because sometimes you'll see, you'll <laughs> see. What? Hey. Well, I, you'll you'll realise why I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Rick, was I, I almost leapt to the end of the story. <laughs> right. But I realised I had to go back a few steps. Yeah. I right. just said, have you ever cut? <laughs> well, you stop. <laughs> it was going to be coming, but it, but you'll understand in a minute when I finish the story okay. that it's not coming in the traditional sense. Oh, right. Because it also is followed by coming out of. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. Yeah. So, and not your trousers. <laughs> oh, my trousers. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, now, awkward moment, and I should just, you know, if you're Christmas shopping, maybe you're in a big department store, mm. and, um, you see the disabled toilet and you think to yourself, I can nip in there, I can use that, you know, because mm. it's close to hand because I've got to wander miles for the regular toilets. I went in there once, in the toilet, you know, did a, a, a disabled toilet, just snuck in, came out, disabled person. Furious. That was, but it's really awkward because oh. it's like, because it is like it's their sort of private domain. You know, it's like it's like they're part of an exclusive club. They've not got many perks in life, and that's one of them. And here I was, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of exploiting it. But they can't. Well, yeah, I suppose they can be annoyed. But what did you do? Did you affect a limp? I, you know, I normally do. <laughs> I often do. I off, I've, I've affected a limp many times. Oh. Um, uh, like for instance, yeah, if I take the lift in a building when it's only one flight of stairs, right, and they know, and I get up on the first floor, I always affect a limp coming out. <laughs> so that justifies why I haven't come up the stairs. <laughs> like, who is it that I'm scared is going to sort of say <laughs> something? Yeah. But, oh uh, dear, that's that's it's the same thing as if someone asked me for directions. I always pretend I'm foreign. I always go, I don't. Um, Why do you do that? I can't, because I'm just terrified of giving them the wrong directions. And well, then, just now, I don't know. I don't live from I don't because like, I'm sort of, you know, I feel bad. Because what I used to sort of give directions, because I like giving directions, I like helping people out. But then I realised I didn't really know. You, hang, you used to hang around going, you alright? <laughs> yeah, we're fine, yeah. Do you want to know where to go? I tend to have a go even if I don't know. Exactly. But it's, I'm always terrified they'll come back and find you and go, you led us yeah. astray. Yeah. So I, now I just affect the foreign exit. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's a fellow the other day, about two weeks ago, and I was walking in. Little old woman, little old fella, come up to me and said, uh, Where's uh, Wimpole Street? So I said, uh, oh, I do know it. So I think it's over there. And then I'm not very good with street names, but I'm good that if you say, Oh, there's a boot on it. Right. Do you know what I mean? If there's something near it, I'm, it's like the same with directions when I, when I used to drive a lot. Yeah, or historical facts. I didn't, I don't know like old motorway names, you no. know, like, and, uh, and this and then that. Mm. I can never remember that, but my dad used to always say, right, there's a horse in the field, turn right, yeah. and stuff like that. Good stuff, yeah. Um, and it's the same with this fella, he sort of said, you know, <laughs> where's, where's Wimpole Street? And I said, well, what are you after? And he said, I'm after some blood. And You're it was, blood? There's, yeah, there's doctors around there, aren't they? So I was like, oh. So that didn't help me. What do you mean he was after some blood? He said, oh, I need some blood. He must have had was an he illness. Bleeding? No, he just must have had, needed some new blood or something. He had some illness. And I was like, you know, I could, if he. If Why did he go to the pet shop and get some power? No, but. Like he that. didn't have fangs and a cape, did he? <laughs> yeah. No, but do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that didn't help me out. But what if he just said, well, some pile cream, actually? Can you. You go, oh, we, we want boots then? Yeah, I would, he would have been alright. But I didn't know where to start with that. I need some blood. Yeah, That's I just know it's over there. Yeah, just sort of pointed him away. But so he was, he was <laughs> losing consciousness. <laughs> you sent him the wrong way. <laughs> He's dragging himself <laughs> along the pavement. <laughs> Is there blood this way? <laughs> Get oh. to the gap. She's growing ever deeper. Well, oh. we've got to, uh, we've got to do, uh, Pilkington, haven't we? Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, we should explain this, I think. Well, it's, it's, it's Carl's new idea for, yeah. um, a TV show. He wants to do, uh, a TV show called Do We Need Him, where he goes round and, uh, he talks to experts like David Attenborough, uh, David Bellamy, maybe Lenny Henry doing David Bellamy. Right, <laughs> yeah. If he can't yeah. get the real one. Um, and, uh, he just picks on an animal that he doesn't really like, doesn't think you need him, and an expert will tell him, uh, if we do, is this is the first instalment? Let, let me put a song on, right? Now we've got them, and then I can set it up okay. and stuff and tell, you know, because explain it, fully. explain it and that. Let's do a classic, let's do a big stomp in one of the best Christmas songs of all time, shall we? What are you thinking? Fairy Tale in New York. Excellent. Oh, it's always a home. It's featuring Christian McCall on XFM 104.9, the Christmas edition. Indeed. Next week, we've had loads of just suggestions, Carl, for, for your best bits. It's basically all your best bits. Me and Steve are largely irrelevant in the, in the voting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you can compile 
y your best bets next week, and they'll be loving it. We've we had a request for the the uh, little Chinese fellow in his pants, a horse in the house, cutting your hair on the railway, railway station. If I mean, if you haven't heard those stories, <laughs> they, they, what does that mean? <laughs> the little Chinese man in your pants. You've got to be tuning in next week to find out what that is. The only thing <laughs> is, the older uh, horse in the house was in the last best of. Was it? Yeah. Well, that so. that doesn't stop. What's his name? If you're one of those people that want <laughs> to see these clips again, yeah. tune in. Oh, yeah, it'll be right, Christmas. It'll be all right so. on the night, 84. Yeah, yeah. Someone kill me. <laughs> you're one I of think those I'm gonna people. live forever. It's like we said before, who goes to the recording of one of those? There's all <laughs> people in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Aren't there? That would be like, great. Yeah. Tickets for it'll be all right on the night. And they laugh at his jokes, but I mean, I, I don't know I what think the think how many are. takes it, you know, I mean, how I long it takes to record that. The, the, the show's about three hours, so the recording must be about nine. Have you, uh, ever seen Kirsty's home videos on Sky I One? I think so, I think it's, so. Uh, it's, uh, Dog, Gallagher. dogs falling down slides. It's like, yeah, it's like you yeah, frame, but falling it's, over in a wedding. It's got audience laughter. But I'm assuming it can't be a real audience. I'm assuming it must be, like, no, they just, they, they've it's lifted, they've just lifted it from the Flintstones. Yeah. <laughs> the laughs from the Flintstones, Lots yeah. Lots forget that the Flintstones had an audience. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> watch the Flintstones, there's laughter when Fred does something funny. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of people should be shipped in but we were to watch about, a cartoon. I like the idea that some jokes weren't as funny <laughs> as exactly. others. Like the director going, we'll put a laugh on that, and yeah. it's not as funny. I think Dino should, not as funny. Dino should get a round of applause every time he comes in. He, everyone knows him, the kids love him. Well, he's well, well, I'm a bit making it up. Yeah. Barney getting disgruntled because his jokes never get this <laughs> Yeah, he's like wise. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's like yeah. wise. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, Carl, so here we go. It's, oh. a, it's an exciting feature that will, I, I think, will be picked up by Channel 5. Uh, it's going to be Carl Pilkington, Do We Need Him, where Carl goes around checking out animals with uh, top experts asking whether we need them in the world. Yeah. So, um, we sh yeah, this is the first one. We won't do it next week, but I'm already sorting out the contact. We will be looking at octopus because they're a bit weird. Okay. So that's that's what you got to look forward to in two. You know, in, in, you know. Again, the... if you have an animal that you feel is unnecessary in the world, then email us, and I'm yeah. sure Carl will investigate for you. Well, yeah. the other thing as well, whilst we're on to that. I want to sort of have a bit of research with me, so I want to speak to the, like, the bloke or the woman about the octopus, right? Um, I want, like, you want to be response. The facts. Well, sort of response from listeners, so I can say, well, 70% of XFM listeners said we should get rid of them. Sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jon Snow does on Channel 4 when he does all, like, <laughs> politics, politics stuff. Yeah. So, if you agree with me, just send an email saying yes. Well, so, 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 yes, we should get rid of them. Yes, yeah. Or, yes, get rid of them. Because you're, you're, you're always, you're, the house believes always we should get rid of these animals. That's, you're picking animals you want to get rid of. So yes is, get rid of them. No is, don't get rid of well, them. Well, and not no, it's Noah. Because they go on the ark. The ones we keep go on the ark. <laughs> That yeah. element I'd completely forgotten about, and I think that's a wise move because <laughs> I don't think that's working. I don't think you thought through the whole Noah. So that's just complicating the show, I think. So yes, yes, we get rid of them. Noah, they're <laughs> saved on the ark. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right, so lovely. here we go then. Jellyfish. So we, uh, we today we're looking at jellyfish in Pilkington. <laughs> Talking to uh, to Vicky, who works in an aquarium in in Anglesey, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Right, brilliant. Uh, today we want to find out if we really need jellyfish. I've got a bit of a problem with them anyway, because because I've been I've been stung by one, and I've done a little bit of research into them. So I'll tell you what I know about them. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you might learn some stuff from me. Oh, well, you never know. And if I'm talking nonsense, just just tell me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. So first of all, they don't have eyes, do they? No, they don't. Right. No. So I'm right with that. Uh, no lungs. No lungs. They haven't got a heart. No heart. Heartless. And they're made up of like 97 percent water. Yes, they are. So. They're pretty useless, really. Well, they have got a nervous system. Um, they are actually about 650 million years old, so they they've evolved and they've outlived the dinosaurs, and they're even older than the sharks, and they can even outfox us um, because NASA scientists have worked with them to try and work out how they um, operate in weightlessness, and they still don't know how they do that. Took them into space actually to figure out how that they did how they did that. Seems like a bit of a waste of money, but. Yeah. Um, Do you know Paul Maddock? 
I used to go there a lot for my holidays and there used to be a load of them washed up on the beach. Yeah. People on motorbikes used to go over them and stuff. Yeah. Which is but, well, we get the, gel the moon jellyfish, that's the ones with the... They've got pink bits in the middle. Yeah, that's they're, their they're, reproductive bodies. I think, that, I think that was them. I think they're the ones who went over on the bike because you could yeah. see pink bits. What what do they do? If the jellyfish went, would would we have a problem on our hands? Do you think? Okay, uh, you might have a bit of a knock on effect because um, things like turtles eat um, jellyfish. Yeah, but do we need turtles? Uh, well, don't forget that when you take out one, when you take out something from the marine system, mm. something normally feeds on. I mean, they're not just there for the fun of it something either feeds on it or feeds on what they excrete um what you're saying is they exist to sort of feed others and also to eat some stuff that's well yeah they control the population of other fish and species that might otherwise be a problem okay well let's let's kind of wrap this up right um the question that, that i'm asking today is do we need them say if say if um noah yeah had his ark, <laughs> right? You're, you know, you've swam and got on the boat, you're all right, you're safe, he's going to keep you to sort of populate the world as well, right? So it's you and him. Uh-huh. He's not a bad-looking fella, so, so you're happy. Yeah. Um, he says to you, Vicky, uh, do we need him? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know why she even gave you that interview. When you start off with, right, yeah, trying to find out if I need you over, what did you tell her to get her to talk to you? Just, uh, just said I'm doing some research on stuff. Uh, did she think you were a schoolboy or something? No, she just, she just said, oh, all right. She said, you know, how long will it go on? I said, not long, just like five minutes, to have a quick chat. And she was, she was, loved it, didn't she? She sounded happy to take part in that. So the fact I know the fact that you've got an expert and you you suggest that she's going to be having sex with Noah. <laughs> He's a good fellow, so you're happy. She goes, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. Didn't go into <laughs> positions or something. I I, I can't believe. Uh, the problem is really, I didn't get to the bottom what, of what I wanted to say because. Oh no, you did. That's it. That's uh, that's done I've now. That's that's a pretty good academic work. That's proved. You know. No, but the turtle thing, you know, when she said, oh, if you get rid of them, the turtles, you know, won't have anything to eat. But when she said that, I mean, I couldn't say it because it would have took her off and confused her. But well, like, she's a scientist; she's easily confused. Well, say yeah. like when when Suzanne is working, right? <laughs> I'm not a very good cook, so I always get like an Indian in. What? Do you cook your So I right, love an Indian, right? Now, say if for some reason it closed, I'd get a Chinese. <laughs> So why, why don't the turtle just, there's loads of stuff in the sea, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want to get too heavy on her, but, uh, <laughs> That is pretty deep. <laughs> oh, that is genius. But we'll look at, uh, But so the fact that she says, yes, you need, uh, you need jellyfish, yeah. does that mean that you've changed your, I mean, what I'm saying is, does her answer go, does that stand? Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, does it? It does, yeah. Whatever that I, I get the expert to say, I try and get them in a corner. Right, you try and, <laughs> yeah, argue yeah. them into a corner. I argue them into a corner, but that time she wasn't having any of it, so we've got to carry on having them. Yeah. So in, right. in, in the new year, we'll be looking at octopus. Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah, great. Brilliant. Let's play some feeder. <laughs> Christmas. I think there's often... Carl with his Victoria Plum. I want to see a Victoria Plum. I want to know what it is. Is it, is it, does it look like a little gnome? It's, it's, a, it's a woman gnome. A female gnome? Yeah. A little gnome. Well, and, yeah. um, and, uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes, uh, Indians. She collects all that stuff, yeah, and it doesn't matter what she it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the ad gear on. Oh, a native American. Yeah, yeah. She likes anything with them on. Like, you know, it can be a fridge magnet. <laughs> it can be uh, yeah. Just, just anything a lot of Native American wisdom is is around the fridge magnet because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. That's you, you read some of their their, their <laughs> the writings, works, yeah. the great works. Um, now uh, <laughs> it, it reminds me. Talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week. He went, "Oh, did you see that program on telly last night about dwarves and fellas without legs nicking cars?" 
And I went, no. He went, oh, it's amazing, right? Because they haven't got legs and that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. <laughs> no, you see, I didn't see it. Someone else told me about it. Oh! That's what I said to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these, these little fellas, um, who, uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it, only watched half of it. Is he like said, you? Well, I said, I can understand how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? Because you can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone no good, else. is it? What do you mean? What, so he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's, then there's one that's just legs, but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them, though. What are they, what, why are they, why does this make it easier for them to steal Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazard. What? Because <laughs> their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run? And just... But what do you mean the window? I mean, what? So someone's driving along. No, I didn't see it. And this is why the I'm asking open. you. I didn't, I didn't see it. Do they it. leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't go over someone's the seen it and they can email there. in. But that sort of... Miss panicked you anyway, I imagine. <laughs> I bet you were gutted you missed that programme, weren't you? Well, I would have, I'm interested in stuff like that. Because I like <laughs> learning, which gets us on to educating Richard. Oh, excellent. Slick. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a good year of stuff. We have, stuff. well. Yeah, I've uh, learned a lot. Can you remember any of the Of course highlights? I can. There was a deaf girl and she hit her head and she could hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was also, um, some people who ate tomato sort of poisonous on lead. There was also a fella who, a doctor who gave a blood transfusion, um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yeah. Um, cause, uh, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days, when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parrots' blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated me. That was fact. What have you got for us? Well, we've only got two, cause I've taught you about jellyfish today, that yeah. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, the, I give him a little headline so you remember remember them to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. uh, the two headlines you've got, oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. and the second one is, well, you'd think it'd be bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it'd be... No, you'd think it'd be... Yeah. You'd think it'd be bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. Uh, th this can't be, th if this is anything with a, a bug living without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All right, you've done well is fun. Let's, let's just do uh, what a what cat out. So it is that. Is well, well, do that one first. One. Which do one? It. Which one are we no, doing? No, do the bug head one. Right, well, the bug, <laughs> the bug head one. Uh, well, we've, we've talked a, a lot about animals and that, haven't we, without heads? <laughs> no, Surprisingly, we have. <laughs> I think a disproportionate amount on it. <laughs> if you're a new listener, and this is the first time you listen, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, we've done all that. We've done, we've covered, uh, worms, the way if you cut their head off it grows back if you don't cut too, too high above its neck. <laughs> we've covered, <laughs> The chicken. Um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I can't go into it again. Right? Let's not go into it again. Ah! We've had, um, <laughs> the chicken with no head that lived yeah. for eight months. Yeah, yeah. And we've had, and we've cockroaches. had cockroaches. living for a week without an egg. Right, right. okay. Well, it's, it's a bit more on the, on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they've found, right, that if you get a cockroach, yeah. and you cut its head off, yeah. right, yeah. and then you find a cockroach that's still got its head, but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right, it's not over for both of them, right? Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs, right, with no head, yeah. sort of running around, get the one with the head, uh -huh. sit it on top of it, right, get a little tube, <laughs> okay, so that the fluid. So is this is this aunt is going out of the Let room? Finish. Is this like Blue Peter? Let him you can get you can get this for Christmas, right? You get yeah. a little tube, you sit that on top, so the bodily fluids are still running between the two. Right. The head of the one on the top will control the feet of the one on the bottom. Okay. What about that? Good. And, uh, will it continue to live? Um, yeah. Okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was just a, that was just no, a question that the really wasn't expecting. That, yeah. what, what do you think of that? It's good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? 
Did well, you fall off your chair when you read that? <laughs> did you literally <laughs> topple off? Going, did you, did did you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? Yeah. No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with, with them, can they do it with humans? Because yeah. I, I also did a bit of research. Of course on. You did. did you ever? Did you, did you come to the um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, what? that the human was probably more complicated than? Yeah, but. Do you know what I mean? Things things move on, don't they? Do you know Modern I mean? science, Rick. You know, I had I had Binatone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation Two, and the difference in ten years. They is have amazing. found that if if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your head on its cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your confusing. brain. Yeah. So uh, it, yeah. Well, so then then other research. Because uh, I thought, if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for free, right? Go on. Um, <laughs> for free. That they uh, can clone people. Uh huh. The only reason they don't do it, right? Say if like Ricky needed uh, a, a lung, right? They could clone you and make you the same. But the only reason they don't want to do it is because it, it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? So and, and, and it would take and it would take sort of eighteen years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of moral implications. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? You hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, because, lest, lest we forget, Rick, he yeah. ended with, the only reason they don't do it is because it's a bit horrible and that. <laughs> 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 Which scientist said that? Right, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a that quote. Well, I'm just like, well, that's not it. That's not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. That was that was just you know. We've got another one to come. Oh, yeah. I Teach can't wait. The, the headline again. What was the headline? The again? headline. Oh, what a cat toe strophy. Looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, a bit more kind of This is from his um, covers album. This is called Snowbird. <laughs> He's so happy that the XFM listeners understand his stupid clues, and he knows it annoys me. We've well, got some right we'll, answers we'll be giving out the answers just quickly, just in case uh, someone sort of missed one of them. I'll just quickly do them. Yeah, yeah go on. First one, there's a load. Sure of letters. show. <laughs> there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Uh, ask your mum if you should. Oh, and Merry Christmas. And uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket. It was Christmas. And that's why. Counter. And that's B. Okay, we'll give those answers out shortly. Yeah. I just have to show you something, Rick, before we move on. I know we've got another uh, educating Ricky, but uh, someone just sent this in. Yeah. They've been looking on eBay yeah. for Victoria Plum. You're joking. Come here and see the photograph. Oh, God, that's fantastic. Hello. Yeah. Let's have a look. That's it. Oh, God, he's got that for his mum. It's the worst piece of tat I've ever oh, seen. Oh, Carl! You, oh, Carl. Imagine how. Oh, gutted. Oh, imagine how. Look, think of him now, right? Look, there it is. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen! I tell you, it looks like a Diddy man gone wrong. It's it looks like a Diddy man prostitute. <laughs> that is. That's a, is that the one colour? Well, that... well, it was a different colour, it had a yellow at mine. <laughs> no, but look, how do they get. Tell them they okay, get, so, um, it's going to eBay. So you need to uh, to log on to ebay.co.uk. I'm sure you've used it before, it's the uh, online marketplace, ebay.co.uk. And if you type in Victoria Plum, I'm assuming that you can <laughs> yeah, drop his yeah, That's amazing. It's the worst piece of rubbish. Oh, I've just ever think seen. how cute he was as a kid, though, doing that. Just think of him, just going. <laughs> just that was, just seeing that it. and thinking, oh, I like. <laughs> he likes gnomes! <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen! I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what her prize collection of gnomes looks like, but I can't imagine they're much better than that. I mean, gnomes are a fairly oh. grotesque thing. Oh. But certainly your mum's patient discretion is, is- Did you have any- did you have a, those houses on your estate, you'd go in there and it was just loads of those dolls still in their packaging all around the room? And sort of like, one of those homes that all, keeps the, uh, sort of packaging on the three-piece suite. Why don't you buy another one for her for Christmas? Yeah. Just it's three ninety nine. It looks well. That's, that's two pounds forty nine, because that was three ninety nine dollars. Well, oh, buy it, Carl. No, so I've got her. I've sorted out her passport this year. Anyway, I'll get her that next year. Right. <laughs> so listen, right? Okay. So that's <laughs> educating Ricky. Oh, Christ. Um, what a cat toast. Yeah, let's do that then. Right. Victoria Plum. There's this woman, right? <laughs> yeah. This woman, she's reading uh, Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. And um, she she's flicking through. Yeah. And she notices that there's a world record for a cat, right, with uh, 27 uh, toes. Right? <laughs> so she reads it and she thinks, well, that's not right. Because her cat's got 28. <laughs> What do you mean a cat's got 28? A, cat, uh, a cat's got 28 toes. 
so she was like, well, hang on a minute, mine should be in there. So there was oh, like- I missed the very beginning of this. She, she was just- She's living with the Ginsburg reference. Oh, the, the old woman. Yeah, yeah. woman was yeah. looking yeah. to the Ginsburg reference. The woman with the cat with 28 toes was looking right. to her and it said the record for uh, the cat's toes was 27. She thought, hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute, Ross McWhirter. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's got one more than that cat, so yeah. go on. Um, anyway, so she said, uh, you know, the person doing the interview with her said, you know, is it happy? And, uh, she said, yeah, yeah, you know, she, it, it's great, and it, it's, it's really good in the snow. <laughs> right. It gets through a lot of nail varnish. Well, yeah, that's, that's what it said, right? It said it's really good in the snow. So, I just was thinking, uh, I mean, that's it, really. That's, that's not it. That's the end of that story. But Brilliant. What but what I'm thinking is, right, It was she, two cats welded together. No, she, she said, uh, you know, it's happy. So, is the other sort of disabilities where... In a way, it's not all bad. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know, like, that book Steve brought in for me? And yeah. there was a fella there, wasn't he, who had three legs, who was a juggler. <laughs> and I was like, what's the point of that? <laughs> what do you mean, what's the point of that? What's the point well, of what? he's not taking advantage of having three legs, is he, being a juggler? <laughs> yeah, he said he should be a footballer. <laughs> right? So... Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but in a way, he's used it, hasn't he? He's probably not even that good at juggling. But because he's got three legs, people have gone, well, give him a chance. Let's go and see him anyway, see if he's any good. Yeah. Right? So, what I'm thinking is, is there anything else? We've mentioned, uh, the, the midgets today who are good at robbing cars. Uh-huh. Because they can get through the windows like Duke's advisor. So, sorry, sorry, so listen, listen. I, I'm, look, um, I'd just like to say, this is the radio authority listening, we are in no way suggesting that one, uh, midget's forte in life is robbing cars, no, or no, that no, if you're no. a midget sitting at home feeling sorry, so I think you should go out robbing cars. I no. just like to say, this is oh. Carl Pilkington talking. No, the no, views no. of Carl Pilkington are not necessarily <laughs> 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 those of XFM <laughs> or us. Yeah, but it was a TV program, so it's not me, I'm just saying what I've seen on TV. But you didn't see? That somebody told me about. Yeah, just so you could be wrong, just like a lot no. of your spurious facts no. that you just see on the internet. You yeah, know. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, is there anything else? We've seen the fellow with the three legs. So, what you're saying is, is there a disability that is actually an advantage? Yeah. Right, I mean, okay. Steve mentioned about the disabled Lou. They're always really roomy and, like, got multi gym facilities <laughs> in them. <laughs> multi gym facilities! Oh, you know multi gym facilities! <laughs> what do you mean, Carl? There's always bars everywhere and that, isn't there? That's not parallel bars. Yeah, That's they the don't do gymnastics! Out. <laughs> what are they working yeah, out? I'm just, I'm just saying though, do you know what I mean? So in a way, they've, they've got that. So, always, what I'm saying is, when you look on the brighter side, it's like <laughs> Elephant Man would have never got up and gone, oh, look at me hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do you. No, but, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he, he would never have that problem. You're a maniac. Forget it. I thought no. we'd be able to like, get a serious discussion going here. <laughs> well, okay then. So, this is a serious discussion, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's treat it sensitively then. If you really want a serious discussion and talk about whether there are some disabilities that are an advantage, let, let, let's, 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 let's think of some then, shall we? Well, I've, I've said three already. Yeah. You can't say, um, uh, uh if you're deaf, um, uh, Bobby Davro won't annoy you. That doesn't count as an advantage. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean? Carl's looking at you thinking, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right, well, we'll leave it then. I'll come up with a better feature for next year. Oh. We'll, we'll bin that, we'll bin that. <laughs> oh, so, God. Have you got any disabilities? We'll bin that like that was gonna be a feature. <laughs> what, you were hoping that that would be a spin-off feature? Disabilities well, are actually well, it's an another form of do we need them? It's like, But that's know. Carl, think of it, it's like, the, it's like that joke. A bloke that, as his, wakes up in hospital, says, good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The fellow in the next bed wants to buy his slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Mm. It's a joke. That doesn't really happen. People don't go, oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get a quid for him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but the fellow with three feet, what would he do? Well, he'd buy a pair and then just nick one of those because they put out one shoe, don't they? Are those, um, yeah, if you've got one leg, you can nick shoes. Mm. Good point, right, Carl. Now, now I'm getting you thinking. Yeah. Right, so we'll do Rockbusters answers next then. Happy Christmas, war's over and all that. Indeed. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant tune. Great tune. And well, I've, had, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope we haven't offended you by some of Carl's rantings. Just think, just, just think of what he's gone through in his life. That right. Victoria Plum incident. Carl, I've got a little gift for you here before we go. Oh, you're joking. Uh, I haven't got you anything. Well, no, I you haven't got your girlfriend anything. <laughs> 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 It's not, it's, it's not, uh, exciting, but it's worth taking. In fact, you could, why don't you just re-gift that straight away? 
It's all right, cheers for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's only even looked at it. It's champagne, champagne, champagne. champagne. Yeah. champagne. Yeah, that's not the champagne we got free from the BBC, is it? It's not actually, no, Rick, because, um, that is far too good for the likes of Carl. Oh, right. And I wasn't going to you, you wouldn't appreciate it, that's just sparkling wine. Oh, brilliant, oh, I love that. Yeah, he won't, he doesn't know the difference. Um, um, I'm seeing Carl on Christmas Day, because, uh, he's around Christmas Day in London, so I'll, I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. <laughs> all right. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little... Okay, answers, we must give the answers. You would have to go to bed at six, though, so right. we can play. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I Claire, don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice, so that's a foreigner. Oh, I God, that is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that <laughs> might be Christmas, that is absolute star. <laughs> a lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well that annoys advice, me even well. more. Number the two. second one, Ash, you Foreigner. Foreigner. Yeah. foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S. That was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. No, we got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins is the answer to that. <laughs> well, I don't know who's saying that to their mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mum. Smashing Thanks pumpkins. very much. <laughs> nice bollocks. <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad bought for me for Christmas. Yeah. Ah. And the last one. Um, <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victorians? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Right, we've got to wrap uh, it up, we've got to wrap it up. Come on then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B, that was banana drama. They were like, having an argument. What do you mean banana drama? drama? <laughs> what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> well, you say that, but you accuse her, you accuse Carla of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers, uh, of London. And she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on, so. Banana so drama. Can, so, can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what I do you mean, do. what do you mean, can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're gonna play Jamie 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 It's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. <laughs> Carl Pilsen in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talks about the acclaimed educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't mm. normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history. Anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, so give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, chicken, you believe it. <laughs> chicken, you believe it. Well, well I'm going to go for the positive news. The positive news? Yeah. news. Right, well, this one, it's. Uh, I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right? Because it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti. But, um,. No, I think you did. Right, I this... know what it is. I know what this okay, is. Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus. I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right, a uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really packed out show, people are loving it. Um, <laughs> Steve, you'll ask the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> Right. Yes. Take good money to see it. So everyone, everyone's clapping and he's getting carried away. Because um, <laughs> he can't believe that. He can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was it was getting out of hand. <laughs> 
but he was jumping and he was coming down the road going hi oh, yeah, and he's going really high in the air right so he's he's doing this crowd are clapping there's a hippo right just sat next to the trampoline getting ready to come on and do his act oh right i thought he was in the audience <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because it's Why like, is he sitting in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss, five minutes, Mr. Moss. So anyway, right, so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed is because this, because the midget's he's going to his time. follow well, this. Yeah, gonna, this is really thing, annoying. Yeah. They're going to be, yeah. oh, yeah. no. So <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story, and I just know he embellishes it, or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yes. getting annoyed. The crowd are going mad, the midget's loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi, hi, hi. He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline, goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. Hypotenuse. Sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Ooh, yeah. Hippo's there. Swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? but at no point was this hippo waiting to go on going, come on, the midget flew off at hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> This well, is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippopotamus, I was thinking actually the way it happened. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, it is it that 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's it's a recipe for disaster. It's Everyone textbook. knows that midget trampoline hippopotamus. <laughs> are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you, you know when he told me it. He said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention the hippopotamus. <laughs> and he said, and the midget went on like, and soon he fell off. And the hippo at him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. No, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't train them. <laughs> what do you, what do you, aren't they like very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claim. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 no, you know, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, sorry. No, it's definitely fact. Yeah, okay, right, truth. okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, 4.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, with me Stephen Merger. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. We, we, me and Carl went out, right? Um, and, uh, with, um, me and Jane, Carl and Johnny and Gigi, wasn't it? Jesus, is it important to win? Story? No. Okay. But we're walking down the street. Carl was there though, and he can back me up on this. Um, we had a curry. We we're walking back, and uh, this little funny homeless fellow, didn't he? Mm. he uh, oh, I got to tell it before before I go, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 uh, he came up to me, right, and he recognised it, um, and he came up to me and he went, he went, oh, he said, I've just nicked five of your DVDs from HMV, <laughs> and he shook my hand. He was so happy with it, and I went, right. Excellent. He went, all I do is I just swing the bag over the top, like that, when, <laughs> when I'm going out. And he had a bag full of DVDs, didn't he? And he was, he was so pleased to tell me that he'd stolen. <laughs> that great. He said, that he said, they're going like hot cakes. <laughs> yeah, he said, they're going like, of course they are! Yeah, you're missing them. <laughs> I know. We get paid for them, though, don't we? So we, not the stolen ones. Don't we? No. What do you mean? Did you sign them for him? <laughs> I'm telling you, were you, idiot? <laughs> what, so, um, he just nicked five... Yeah. Well, yeah. you say he was homeless, was he? Well, I, I, I don't know, maybe. No. Surely, how would he have seen the show? He'd what? just walk past Curry's one, one, one Dixon's. morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the telly, I was, yeah. a trailer for it, for one, interesting. I don't know if he was homeless, I, did, I didn't go into his home sure. life. He shook his hand, though, and... But he's, he made Carl look smart, do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, uh... Yeah. How does he sell them? Where does he sell them? Does he go up to people and go, do you want an office DVD? They're not nicked. <laughs> yeah. Four quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are these stolen? No. No, 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 no. They've still got the tags on them. Well, yeah. it's like those people who, um, 
you know, those cab drivers that you often meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car yeah. and just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, I'll, I'll, I'll pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once, I said to him, uh, the guy just pulled up, I said, uh, he said, I was in like uh, East London, I'm going back to uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off, he went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no. I, th I thought you'd know the way. You were a cabbie on. He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't. I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're going to go out just on the, you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't have yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, well, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. In fact, five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you knew the way to Camden? I don't really know the way. I thought, <laughs> oh, it was loot. And the, let uh, me out. You know, Four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's, I, I can't, I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think, it's three in the morning, I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Wow. Well. Yeah, uh because -huh. your dad was a cabbie, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was the prefer. He wasn't like a chancellor. Though, what cabbie. was like what was he What was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a in a weedy bin? That was uh, that was part of the cab company thing. Cause they had to do like a charity event once a year, and he did it one year. Never asked him again. Tell us the story again. I'd, I know no, I'd rather not. Cause Why? Because we, we got a few sort of uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because. It's because he put a kid in a bin, and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a, tell it like a, you know, don't, yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time, but people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, isn't it? And mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. My dad was saying that in hospital, though. Do you know I was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that, and he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Do you know what I mean? Enough. So, what are you meant to do? <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So, even But being laughed at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person, so if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> So it's, it's <laughs> Jesus. Give me an example of that. Give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, give me an example of like so. It's, uh, it, you know, I can't, well, I can't because again, that's what I'm saying. I can't tell you the story because yeah. there might be someone out there who this person might even be listening and think I forgot about that and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. S so, I'd, I'd prefer to leave it, but I think people know- Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing, though? You see, I can't explain- He can! Don't be silly! I prefer to- to leave it, honestly. What, what, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? He was annoying me dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this mm -hmm. before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. He pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna pass. So we'll, we'll leave that. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> FM 104.9. Uh, Ricky and I are on holiday. Obviously, it's Christmas time, but Carl is here in the studio. He's pressing buttons. All right, Carl. All right. <laughs> what do you make of the first genetically modified baby? Oh. Are you worried about do you, this? Do you know what, what did they do? What? Uh, Let me see what it says here. It well, says, isn't it uh, just choosing, uh, ju choosing the, you know. Eye colour. Well, this or, is the, or this is the this is the concern, isn't it? That in the future you'll be able to decide uh, whether it's a boy or a girl, what how intelligent it is, what it looks like, is it handsome, is it ugly? Obviously, no one will choose an ugly baby, and so on and so on and so on. And so, it means that you know what, where will it lead? Where will it end, Carl? Are you concerned? I've thought about this a lot. Cause what will us three look like we're in the future we're if listening. they're being you know genetically modified beautiful people? What will be we be like? How will we be considered in That's society? True, yeah. Well, we've talked about this before, haven't we? About uh, the cloning thing. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah. But, um, I don't think it matters because at the end of the day, right, you might look like some other kid, but it's the way you've brought, that you brought up that will change your features and the way you are, you know, your personality. If you lie, you get a long nose, don't you? Well, no, but listen, right, because I remember when, when we, you know, I was growing up on this estate. This is gonna be good. Go on. No, no, it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go on. So, so we don't need to worry sort of thing. Sure. Right? Okay. So, I'm growing up on this estate. And there was a, there was this woman about four houses down, right, who's a bit rough, <laughs> right? Didn't fancy her. Oh, God, no. 
Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. She like being a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What does she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. They look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which, even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make it look like nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did he get a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have gone. Is using horse to it? No, <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of <laughs> Yeah? I'm, um, oh, that's great. I Big, know. Big Jake, <laughs> I'm looking He's for it. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so, let me get this up. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> 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 Where did he get a um, horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where did you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But we'll keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin rustling. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? Until... Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door! I can't stop! I can't stop it! <laughs> open the patio door as well! It looks like we got us a runaway! <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I think he had a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I'd... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's so... always to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room it's next not door. Buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh, oh so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the horse was in the lounge. <laughs> Reading a paper. Just, just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I, when I was doing it, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in, in plastic cups. What? This like, is genius! Went, <laughs> it just keeps coming! What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> right, wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record, let's play a record and come back to this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just unravel and unravel. It's yeah, yeah. Let's it play a track, deeper Carl. and deeper, it's yeah, like an on, onion, Carl. isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. When I, I just, come from the West Country, I've never just, heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and a, 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 a rediffusion telly and this horse yeah. going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really... I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pots. <laughs> what do you mean? Velvet oh. Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Lou Reed, the Velvet Underground, and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So, we were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and, uh, we got onto, uh, um, We got onto genetically, uh, genetically modified babies, but and then somehow Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got onto, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was... Because you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, look, I don't know where that's relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, you, but, but what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand. What did what she look like? Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Alright? Okay, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be Pauline Quirk. Does she have any tats? Oh, I've never got that close to it. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from, I don't know where, there was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they, they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they didn't have caught? it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse No, what happened was, I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity. And they said, you can do anything to, to raise money. And they came out with all these ideas, and I thought, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget, well I don't know. I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good charity, money making yeah. over so, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some, because uh, she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings of them? And uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And uh, got some soil out of the garden. Planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? 
Yes, there's loads. Did they- did you just cut- you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they survive. <sighs> but I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough. So, as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> they was- they, they was feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> so I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where- no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay or in like a house with a you know, heating. three piece suite and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> 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 no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking through London. Coming off 64, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And do you know, like homeless people always have dogs. And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it. And I said, they've got, that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat, I mean? but other than that. <laughs> no, it does eat, though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse was, was doing alright for yeah. itself. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. Well, not many horses have got their own house. Exactly. For a start, yeah. Well, anyway, that's, that's, that's what, what by the by. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, this family, it was a bit- what were we talking about? It was about cloning- Genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff, yeah. Right. Now, what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right, Steve, you could have a baby, mm -hmm. right? And Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? It could happen, Rick. <laughs> so- Come on, work with him. So you take it to your doctors, and I don't know what they do, they, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah. And, uh, get a little baby, and there it is, it looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate, you both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right? Yeah. Now, you look at Steve, Stephen, this is, you look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well, you give it good food and that, a good day. all the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right? So, then it changes its looks, it goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? Right? This, this, um, this, this, this family had a horse in the, in, you know, in their, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my man went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying, like, abusing it, but it used to run around, it used to play out till, like, ten at night. Yeah. Uh, it used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit... <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> Chase cars! Right. What sort of kid chases cars? <laughs> oh, God! No. Was it called Rover? The weird Did it catch sticks? Liam it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that, like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. <laughs> it's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and chasing cars and that, and it became an ugly kid. It's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can, uh, clone, you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. how you brought up. Brilliant. Wow. Whoa. What a life. Wow. That was a hell of a point. Oh, God. <laughs> but am I right? Uh, you're always right, Carl. Excellent. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves, moves on this, uh, this week. Are you going to get the Oh, by the way. Uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, food on and table. Did they? Were they happy with it? Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. <laughs> really quite normal. What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean... You're you know, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I... Uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They were and nice. you're moving now, yeah. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike round there. <laughs> and he said... <laughs> Said and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said Suzanne's hired the oldest removable man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> 
And the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, and I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone. He sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, I think that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <coughs> right, he, we, well, it, it seems he to be cheap. He wanted some Werther Originals. Yeah, right, yeah. listen, <laughs> he seems to be cheap because it's £50 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> How long is it going to take him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so genius! When, when's the move on, then? When's the move on? Oh, he's coming right. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, it actually happens on Wednesday. Oh, God. Anyway. I woke up this morning, yeah? Feeling fine. It's not a blues song. And, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it, it, I've made my yeah, mind up. I went, Carl, what is it? He went, oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went, well, what, what was it? I just got this text. He went, ah, oh. oh, I was just wondering, I was lost thinking last night. He said, supposing you had to have your hands removed. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> And the doctor said, well, you can either have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there. <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary-eyed, and I went, the stumps? He went, yeah. <laughs> I went, all right? He went, yeah. <laughs> and then and what that, was his follow-up text to that? And then I got the text, it was obviously before it, and it went, and it was like quite serious. What? What would you do if Susan your hands? Would you have stumps or the feet? Right now, the way uh, when I said he's made his mind up, and I went the stumps, he went, yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do? Because he's. It, but why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's away, right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start <laughs> thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll tell you devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night. I, um, I had some beans on toast, right? She was, <laughs> she was away. It's good already. She right. was away, she had some beans on toast, she I went yeah. wild. Yeah. Right? Now, I was stood up, I live on like a, on a high street, right? So I'm, I'm washing up, I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is, I can, I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on, I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it. And it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> and then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book. And she's always reading a book every night. And it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on. He looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on. I thought, did you witness a murder while you were doing it? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body, the way you can just sort of, you know, I want to pick that up and you do. Yes. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah. You've got five little digits, but it's, it's <laughs> just the right amount to do what, you, <laughs> yeah. to do what you've got to do, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm washing, I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl, stop. It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this about the evolution of the mammalian front uh, limb? Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount. It? <laughs> but it is. It one, is. One of course extra it is. would get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it a little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, buy, or buying gloves. <laughs> yes. yeah. A slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and he's saying, yeah, everything's alright, your art's good and everything, but... <laughs> your art's good? What, your Larry's, or...? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier. He's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had uh, Waller. But yeah. you're, you're alright, but... <laughs> Your hands uh, need to come off. Right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad. Like, I get a second opinion initially. Oh, <laughs> God! But a bit of good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> but, Steve! I, I, that'd be tricky. Right. <laughs> and then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. 
Because <laughs> you had to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. You could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd be, was, like, you'd be really yeah. fast. Well, well, that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance. And then I thought, but the only thing is, I probably couldn't pull the brakes. <laughs> Uh-huh. Because of little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you're running in half time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Sure. Did you, did you how long did this take? Well, how long does it take to wash up? Right. Because <laughs> I imagine you just being there for, like, all night. Probably 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for, like, ten minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I go in this yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing. It's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants. <laughs> the old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever goes... Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> 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 Every time you look down there, she's just clicking through it. She's just reading this book. The pages never turn. <laughs> she never seems to finish it. Oh, she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going? are dead around I, her. I, I'm going into next door again. That little yeah. round headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me. The bouncer goes, don't worry, love. I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's true. always getting ready. That's true. They're they, see, they see you staring at and washing up going, I could have feet. Here and they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. Oh, Carl, dear. can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Imagine if that little d was he a Chinese fellow? Did you say? Yeah. Imagine if he was listening now. I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but do we have this doctor? This doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got, you could either leave them as stumps, or I've got every little pair of feet. Why, uh, I mean, I t told Jane this, and Jane went, D is that the only choice? Is he, could say, could I have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any, have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have, can I have, what would you rather have then? Human feet, or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said. No, it wasn't an option last night, but don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but I'm just saying, at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head, you can go anywhere. You're not trapped. Yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say we'll sort us out some other hands. Fair <laughs> point, the fair record. Well, Hello. Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Pilkington. Right, you're ready then. So, uh, just in case, uh, you haven't heard it before, I'll give you some initials of a band or an artist. We're not doing rock buses now, are we? Yeah, I thought, well, we've oh, just... Oh, we, we could keep that going, then we got... Well, I, I love educating Ricky, that's my favourite thing now. Well, what, what do you want to do, Steve? I oh, mean, I it's let's just, let's do the clues. It's just like you've sort of bigged up the prizes. And, and so, this be... is only by email. Give the email address out now for people to write it down now, Carl. Right, it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Only entries on email. Yeah. You're going to get three clues. You've got to get them all right. And you win all the You stuff. win all those prizes we just said. Okay, Carl, go on then. Right, and just a quick example. Uh, the f one of the first ones we did, it was like AK, and the clue was Exploding Pet. Yeah. And it was uh, Atomic, atomic kitten, kitten, right? Yeah. So you understand how it works now. These right. are your clues. The first one, um... <laughs> That army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> that army has got some well nice trenches. Excellent. Yeah. And the initials there are D W. Do you okay. write some of the questions for fifteen to one? <laughs> Go on. So that army has got, got some a well similar nice phrasing trenches. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second one. Um, what are the initials there, Colonel? That person. D D W. D W. Yeah. Right. Uh, the second one. The top of them curtains are all wrecked. All the materials all worn. <laughs> He acts it out, though. We've got to get him on telly. We have got to get him on telly, because his little face and his, so that's, his gestures. And that's the second one, the initials being HV, okay? The top oh. of those curtains are wrecked. All the materials are all worn out. Right, HV. <laughs> and the final one, um, here's the final clue. Um, I was in Texas the other week, right? I tripped and landed on my knees in a puddle. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's the, what's the initials? WH for that one. So I was in Texas, I tripped up, landed on my knees in a puddle. So that's WH. Incredible. <laughs> I've got it! Is it right. great? It's fantastic! It's <laughs> Okay, tell me during the record, tell me during the record. you're playing for uh, these uh, compilation albums. We've got the Fat Boy Slim DVD, Linda Green oh. on VHS. And of course, uh, Executive Decision starring Kurt Russell as well. <laughs> Then 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, we're not actually here, um, it's the best of. Okay, what's the next one? What's the ne educating well, Ricky? I don't know, uh, see, like I say, I was lo looking around and this stuff that is interesting, right? I was looking on the web. But there's no point. Well, it's just that I found one about, uh... What's the point? About a lad who, uh, eight years old, yeah. but he's still breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if you can get anything out of that. <laughs> Is that what his mum said? <laughs> 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 so, what do you mean I don't know if I can get anything out of that? You don't need to. No, it's, it's just that, you know... Where do you read that? That was on the internet. Right. Oh, well, yeah. Um, You're always unspeci unspecific when you mention it. It's just it was on the internet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to think what I put in. I think I put in why to see if I'd confuse the computer. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! Go! You are. No, I did, I did, no I, honestly. I did a search, put in why, and I ca he came <laughs> up with funny things that, like, why is this person doing that? Why is that? And it had a picture of this eight year old lad, sort of, you know, <laughs> on his mum's nipple. And um, it was saying, you know, oh, is, is is this healthy? <laughs> mm. Mm. You sure that wasn't asking you that question? <laughs> uh, what are you? What, I put in why? Just to confuse <laughs> the computer. <laughs> like, go, what do you mean? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, yeah, uh, last week uh, I was walking, um, uh, home with him and I went, uh, I got, he was saying something stupid and I went, I've got a competition for next week, let's do a phone in and it's called Carl Pilkington, genius or fool, yeah. right? And he went, no, no, I went, why not? He went, well, uh, it'd be confusing because they say there's no difference between genius and being a fool. <laughs> Do that, don't no, that's, no, 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 but it, it's rubbish when people say there's a fine line between madness and genius and, oh. you know, it's a ridiculous soundbite. Uh, they don't say there's a fine line between a genius and an idiot. Well, the people who do are idiots. <laughs> yeah. So what, what would you do there, though, just to sort of wrap that little thing up? What would you do? That lad loves his mum's... His mum's milk. What are you ta what are you asking me to come up with? <laughs> no, I'm a just... A title for the, the story... No, 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 it's just, it's just what would you do? Right. What do you I mean, what would I do? Well, it's causing a bit of a problem in the area, right? <laughs> what area? In, in America, I think it was. Oh, America, a problem, are they? George Bush is worried about this kid well, who's no, breastfeeding right. at eight. Imagine it like this, right? Right. But, mm -hmm. so, Carl, what are you asking me about this spurious story you saw on the internet? I saw on the internet, there's yeah. an eight-year-old lad, he likes his mum's milk, yeah. and he's saying, is this right? Should it No, it's not. Away? But what, 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 what <laughs> do you want Ricky to do about it? It's not his responsibility, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, but the little town that he lives in, they're all yeah. causing an uproar, right? <laughs> Going, this isn't right, you know, no. I can't let my kid play out in case he's in the garden with his mum getting a bit hungry, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> What should they do? Because his mum's saying, well, he likes it. Yeah. And he, you know, what, so what do you do? I don't know the laws. No, but I'm not asking you to sort out the laws. I'm just saying, if you lived in that neighbourhood, what yeah. would you say? If you went up to him and said, look, everyone's getting a bit fed up with this, look. I said, what, 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 what would I do? What do you mean, what would I do? <laughs> what, what are you asking me? <laughs> Right, it doesn't matter. No, 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 what are you asking me? What are you asking me and Steve and well, the I'm public? I'm just saying, say if you live next door to this woman. Yeah. Right? The kid's hungry, eight years old, he's out playing on his bike and he goes, Mum, I'm getting a bit peckish, and he goes, all right, son. She whops one out. <laughs> um, and he starts having his, having his milk, right? You live, you live next door, you're putting your washing out and you see this going on. <laughs> so you're getting a bit sick of it because it's gone on for months. <laughs> Eight so, years, I see. Why is it your business? Just why are you? Why are you such a nosy neighbour that you're concerned? What would you do, Carl? Let's turn it back on yeah. What would you do? What's your solution? What would you do? Well, I thought I'd say, right, why are you doing this? And she'd say, um, because he likes it. <laughs> and I go, all right then, put it in a bowl first. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, and you think that would sort that out? No, because I, I was thinking about the whole thing, right? And you do that when you're a baby, and everything's all right, innit? Yeah. yeah. No one bats an eyelid at sure. a little baby having, having a bit of milk from its mum's right. breast, right? Yeah. You'd almost say it was natural. But you grow out of it. It's like, you don't see. It got me thinking about things you don't see. And you don't see. <laughs> Did you put this into a computer? Show me things you don't see. What else no. don't you see? Well, you don't see, like, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> you never. <laughs> oh, so what? Oh, God. <laughs> You know, the, you know the terrible thing about all this, Steve, is he's right. You don't see old no, man No, no, that's a but, terrible but, thing. So what they have got, right, they've made old man toffees, haven't they? They've come up with all <laughs> is, is that a song? Oh, oh, God, you don't see it <laughs> So they've got their worthers, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Look at him! You Forget think he's giving a lecture at Oxford? It's, it's not going anywhere. No, go on, sorry. Go on. I'm what? just saying. Right. You grow out of things. Yeah. And the old man, I'm sure when he was a kid, he'd have a twit. <laughs> yeah. And now he doesn't look right, so he's having. <laughs> it doesn't look right! No. Right. I don't think were those originals were specially designed for old people. I think they were sweets that just happened to have been made for years. Mm. That's why old people eat them. Yeah. They didn't go, hang on, there's a market here. I've mm. noticed old people aren't eating Twixes. Quick, let's make some yeah. old man sweets. But the, the, the little yeah. advert, he gives it to his grandson as well, doesn't he? He goes, I'll have a Werther's original. No, I so, think it, it cuts though before he throws it back in his face and gets, <laughs> get, get me a Twix. <laughs> Did you see the stylish? You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. You've got a real problem with Rick Wallow, haven't you? I just- and he's, I, he's probably he turns said, my stomach. I know, but don't- Because he's arrogant that. as well, exactly, though. Exactly, that's the problem. Don't, don't explain to people that- No, he know, is a bit it's arrogant. His, it's his, it's his whole thing that you, it's the whole package, so yeah. to speak, that you don't Well, like. there's another thing in this quote, because, uh, it's he's not just the fact that he eats too much. He, uh, he's, he tried, apparently, to lose some weight, and, uh, it says- He said, the first month I lost 11 pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on 9 pounds. I had a slip up. Yeah. I can't say when, why, or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't it's believe like, it just sneaked that, up on that me. That body's never done a summer no. in its life. No. It just uh, sneaked, sneaked up on me. me. Yeah. I, 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 it that. was the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same yeah. old cakes as before. It was exactly the same sleep, sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC bucket again. Oh, it was a family oh sized KFC bucket oh for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a 20 something, well, to be honest, you've got 20 years to live. Yeah. That's not. When I was 20, the thought of dying at 40 was fine. Yeah. I didn't want to live to 40. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're 40? Yeah. Just laying around doing nothing. <laughs> eating cheese. Eating cheese. And then you got there <laughs> and you discovered... <laughs> no, but someone sent me this. Um, Sophia sent me something. She says, I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I had to send you this. And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing. It's, it's the brand name is Gervais. Oh, God, from, that is... Have you been... They've named a cheese after I think, you. It, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic. It's all over Europe, and so it that would be a dream come true, wouldn't it? If they named a cheese after no, you. No, I think it's. I think it's uh, probably you know ancestors, and so I've cheeses in my blood. Sure, quite it literally. literally is. Yeah, yeah. It, another heavy Friday it, night, was it? It, 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 it comes out of pores like those play doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jay, I bring the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man, isn't right. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, you're, yeah, I, but I, you're I not big. I mean, one of the other contestants on that on the uh, Fat Club Celebrity oh, Fat Club is uh, another one is Jono, Jono Coleman. Oh, we love Jono. Now, Jono, he's, he, I don't know, you know Jono, he's oh. that guy who does, um, he should be on TV and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, isn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's, he's so true, and he's a really nice bloke, Jono. It's but funny because he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is, he's wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. Oh, I love Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I love you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met John a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, <laughs> not wishing to say not uh, to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. Um, and that's showing off. But like, people would have seen dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in, like, tuxedos oh, or yeah. suits and ties. Not Jono. <laughs> Jono was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and shorts. And a length Bermuda shirt. shorts with just these little... But I saw him again Time another time things. and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event and I've seen him since in the street and he's all- I don't think- 
I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that, whether he's just, his no, legs I, are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable and, uh, you know, why do, I mean, to be quite honest, well, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So, uh, if you can go, I'd love to turn up those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course. Flip flops. You know, but do you think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half as a tuxedo with the tie and, and then the shorts, and the shorts underneath and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potty plant. Or a potty plant. Or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, and you're in trousers, aren't you? Yeah, 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 of course I am. Yeah, yeah. 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 In yeah, you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I'm wearing trousers. Why would I? wear in trousers. And then he just thought, oh, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know. The next zone is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a mm. garland around his, and he's yeah. going gonna to come in limboing. But you you did ask if you could go to the BAFTAs in a dressing game, didn't you? <laughs> just so, for ease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, on. right, is this, talking about diets and stuff, right? Go on. They've come up with a drug that, um, they, they tested it out on a mouse, right? They said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight, weight is a big issue in the world and, you know, a lot of people are depressed and that, probably like Rick Waller. Well, right? I'm depressed looking at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could, you could sort out Rick by, you know, Jono is an old man, he's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about no, what, hang on a minute. what I mean is he does his own shopping, right? So, I bet it's Sorry. hard. Sorry, what do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right, he's got loads of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yes. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn that you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. Uh, uh, so just, sorry, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and think, well, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now and well, again? Yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So uh, the thing a is, let him finish his point. So the thing is, right, now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's sort that Does out. he live a short, sharp shot. I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so he you, does. you don't actually know if this is <laughs> true or not. No, but, but anyway, right? So this this drug they've come up with. <laughs> they've tested uh, this on mice, haven't they? <laughs> <tested> on, <laughs> no, I'm just I'm worried that they haven't tested it on mice. Thank God for that. Yeah, it's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a load of cake. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby, and he said, "Right, stop a minute." And then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. <gasps> and it, its weight went down, but the only bad si side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems, that seems to be fine then. <laughs> Let's give it to Jono. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any problem. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, it's Rick should get some of that. Yeah, it's truth, Doc, look at these. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, John, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. Mm. Sorry? <laughs> that happened to the mice. Mm. But what, what do, you do you mean? That's the option. <laughs> but, what do you mean, that's the option? So, so, I love the fact that your choice is either be like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, Steve's <laughs> chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, sorry, I thought we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, mate. Let's have a go at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, really. Yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I've got some issues, even body issues. I you know. know. But they, I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque, you know. Yeah, yeah sorry yeah, about that. I'm just a little bit weird. Weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, she plays nice down and well, sort I'm just a little bit offended. All right, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Bilmerton, not here. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails. So here's the clips that you wanted. So let's take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's, what's the story? Right, so I did some research. Right. <laughs> let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain can still... Or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds, till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago, um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that uh, this isn't good. It wasn't been out under that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was, and they said, right, <laughs> that was terrible. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut your head off, um, you know, oh. you gotta, you gotta show people that like, you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, in the 1970s? 
thought, <laughs> when you say a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of... Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, so. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So... <laughs> <It's> very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. or you're always near to go red off. <laughs> this was literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is young, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough, and he's, but he's resigned to it. It's the day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not going to have my head uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> he said, uh, I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without the head on it, <laughs> right? <laughs> So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Who were? So. The jailers? Whoever he was. <laughs> These jailers with one eye. Yeah. 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 Get that time. So, so he said, no. Like, Wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So um let's so he do didn't a test. draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said let let's 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 test this out, you know, he okay. said do us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um what I want you to do is you're gonna cut my head off, let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if you know, because there's no point asking how far you can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line, because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure, yeah. Who said this? He did all they did. I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You guys say, go on. So, uh... <laughs> they got Norris McWhorter, though. <laughs> <laughs> the Giddies people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, see you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! Night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that God knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is in yeah. or when but he, he knows was. exactly what or was said. said what, but he knows the interview. <laughs> all right, then, see you in the morning. Mm, bye, little kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'll Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs work. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper tomorrow? Yeah. No, I'm alright. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got, I've got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, alright, go on. And they cut his head off. And the body walked 32 steps without a head. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the, it walked along the white line, did yeah, it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? Uh, how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take 32 steps. Mm -hmm. The body could... Well, don't... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Is the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots? Yeah. And, uh... You know, you could have got 32 steps. Right, so you don't believe that. I'm doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that. For something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to, uh, human <laughs> is, is, the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if, like, they're a totally different, like, species. <laughs> I am. I am making that. I mean, call me old fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Though? I don't want to embarrass yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the the cockroach is is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives. It lives by its head because a lot of it's on. Uh, 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 there's some of them are phototropic, chemotropic. Some of them just literally have uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing.
losing that, and the body's still going, no, I remember, I think I remember what I was gonna do here. Yeah, so I'm gonna carefully walk, walk 32 steps along this white line. I imagine you just go looking down going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left, <laughs> yeah. left, you <laughs> left, oh, he's not, ooh. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if if, if anyone listening has uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a horrendous car accident, where they got up, maybe they they went for a walk, uh, they you know they 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 had a little chat. Oh dear, on. Carl, get in touch. You know, oh, get, Carl, you you, you you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are why can cockroaches do that? Why are you ever made them get when? Let's play a record. Do, do you know what, what, I, what I told him this fact? I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live for nine days without its head. Mm. He texted back, what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of They're that? They're not doing experiments, these cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> <laughs> And he went, oh, I'm top all that, you're thirsty. <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. <laughs> XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Jemais, with me Stephen Merch. Hello. Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Bilkington. <laughs> Carl's all flustered, because there isn't a, a record set up, but he's getting all tizzy. He's been more worried about his competitions than sorting out putting records on, ready. Uh, what? I'm off to start Steve's song for love. Well, I'll tell you what, you, uh, why don't you carry on with your, uh, educating Ricky section, I'll have a look on the, uh, on the screen. We'll keep it going, Steve. Yeah, you it. Go on. Go on then, right, okay. We've All had, right. uh, we've had a, a few emails. Uh, anyone got it right, Carl? Anyone um, got it right? Yeah, educating Ricky, that's the final one. We've got to get that out of the way. We've got to get Rockbusters as well, though. We can do that at the end. We can whip Go on, then. We've only got five minutes left. Come on, just do educating Ricky. Right. God. The, uh, the last one that we haven't done right. is, um, he's a bit of a nuisance. Go on, then. Um, again, not, not really, not really that interesting. Thanks. Um... No, like, again, I t spoke to you in the week, and he had much better things, like when I tell you about Brian Blessed climbing Everest, and for some reason it made him, uh, it, uh played havoc with his belly, and what? it followed through and he had to clean up. He shat himself? Yeah, using, um, using ice and stuff. Why, why are you telling me that Brian Blessed, what, what, in what way is telling me that Brian Blessed shit himself once in any way educational? Because I was saying how he, he, he was climbing Everest, right? Right. Give it to him. He's an actor and that, but he, he gave that a go. Yeah. Right. He played. What's the know, point of that? You'd say, wouldn't you? You'd say, God, he's, he's, you know. He's oh, good. so he's all right. Oh, me, me doing a boxing match for no reason is rubbish, but him climbing Everest and shitting himself, yeah, he did. Is, that. is commendable. Right, and he's only going to like go and do it again. He's going to climb it again. Yeah, but he might not shit himself this time. What's the point in going? Nothing's changed up there. <laughs> yeah, it could probably, yeah, it could, Well, it has. They've probably, uh, have uh, probably cleared yeah. it up by now. Like, right. but, but, uh, <laughs> it's it sleep on it. I can't believe really I'm just telling you this one, cause- Come on! To just do it, or do it now! See how we're doing. Look, no, no, never mind that. Look, just tell me what that means! Uh, oh, he's a nuisance. Oh, this is so annoying, Carl. I'm gonna go mental. Right, talk! Right, right listen, I'm just putting right. this in here, right? Right, nuisance. is a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. the old fella who used to hang people... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be able to tell somebody's weight just by looking at them. Right? Um, that's a bit of a bonus fact. <laughs> 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 we'll be the judge of that. The, 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 thing, the thing that I wanted to tell you yeah. is, um... Money for old ropes, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't, I can't even be bothered. <laughs> yes, you're gonna tell me now. Come on, Carl. No, I mean it. Basically, money for old rope yeah. came from the so, right. What was all that about? He can tell someone's weight. <laughs> what was that for? Fact. And Brian Blessed <laughs> shitting himself. What are you? What? No, tell you. <laughs> no, tell me that now. You nearly made me swear. Then just I'm getting really annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed now. Tell me this fact, Carl, or I'm gonna go mental. <laughs> Come on, Carl. I'm trying to know. Not that people years ago when people used to be hung, right? Right. If you didn't like the person who's been hung, you'd go, God, I really don't like him. And so, and so you never forget the time. Because even if they're being hung, we take that as rape. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so they never forget afterwards to get the hangman to get the rope and to cut it up into little pieces and he'd sell them. He'd sell a little piece of the rope to people. And See, that, to the, Carl, that's the most interesting thing, if it's true, that you've come up with. Right. Okay. And so what's, what's, you, so they, they sell the rope? They sell the rope, and it's money for old rope. Money for old rope. Meaning, like, you know, God, 
it's easy to make money that, that all they have to do is cut it up and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cynical. <laughs> I'm not so convinced right, though. We're, we're really tired, we haven't even got time for the last talk, we've got an ad break and we've got to give out- Okay, give answers. the answers then, this is right. ridiculous. So, Come Steve, on. do you want to pick a winner? Uh, I've got oh. a winner when you give us the answers. Okay, so the first clue was, uh, that army has got some well nice trenches. Yeah. That was DW. Who's that? Dandy Warhols. <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> that right. is good, yeah. Uh, the second okay. one. The top of them curtains are wrecked, all yeah. the material is worn. Yeah. HV, that's yeah. uh, Holly Valance. Oh, he got a phone call for a woman saying that I haven't heard it, and she went, she was, he was talking to her off air, and she went, uh, what is it? Uh, someone says, oh, them curtains went, all right. She went, you know the thing on the top of those um, curtains is a palmet, not a Valance, and he went, cut her off. Yeah, but. <laughs> My aunt is always making balances on everything. I'll tell you about that next week. Right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Right. Is this the one that farted for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, we'll talk about that. Uh, I was in Texas, I tripped up, I landed on my knees in a puddle, WH. Yeah. Uh, wet knee Houston. Right? Wet knee Houston. Yeah. So, You're a maniac. So, who's a winner? We've got Pete Catherine and Laura in Newcastle upon Tyne. They're listening uh, online, I assume. And, uh, they're going to There's great places. Remember, they've got loads of stuff. They've got uh, the DVD here, they've got Linda Green, they've got Stone Roses, they've got another compilation, and Executive Decision. What did you read about Brian Blessed? Is it actually true, or have you a lie with no, someone it, it was an interview with him, innit? And what did he say? Oh, Come on, what did he say? He said I, I climbed Everest and uh, I played off it with me belly. Uh, Let's talk about it next week. We've really run out now. Oh, you're a fool. <laughs> Alright, here we are then. Uh -huh. Oh, Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas, on XFM 104.9, about five past one, Saturday. Here we are again then. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I can't believe our luck. <laughs> oh, alright, Carl. All right. Yeah, so what are we doing today then? Producer. <laughs> right. <we'll see. laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I always laugh instinctively when I hear Carl's name and that word. Yeah. Seriously. Right, well, why is that? Because it is, I, I had to come up with some new features again for this new year. Okay. I'm excited. What have you come up with? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. We, we are the backbone of this show, Carl. Yeah. We're gonna, we're tell, we're tell you, we've come up with some pretty, what's yours first? Right. Go on. Right, well, Rockbusters. That's old, that's not a new feature. Yeah, but we'll keep it. Right. Another, so another you're bit. just keeping an old feature. Okay, okay. Now it's an old favourite. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going, phew, I was worried that you'd lose Rockbusters. Rick, I'll just come up with a new idea. Why don't we just play some records that we like? There's a new idea for the 2003. Yeah. Oh, oh you know what we can't, Steve? Because the library's out of order. Oh yeah, the record library, we can't get in there. We're we, not allowed to get in there. We had to scrounge something from Capital Gold. So anyway. Right. Go on. So we've got Rockbusters. What are they doing with the library? Are they put getting some records in that we want to play? <laughs> Is that their new idea? I know, let's get some records in yeah, that we want to play. Yeah, they're sitting out the, uh, the Gina G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four non blondes, goodbye. <laughs> Give that to Foxy. Go on, so sorry Carl. We'll do, um, <laughs> we started Do We Need Em in 2002. Do We Need Em? Do We Need Em, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll got, continue that. Got a new one, haven't you? Explain that later. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and then the new stuff comes in. Ooh. Right, um, as always, I like to sort of get words and tweak them and stuff. Sure, yeah. So, I was thinking of either doing something <laughs> with, um, there's a lot of weird rituals, <coughs> isn't there? A lot right? of weird rituals? Yeah, there's weird stuff going on around the world. Okay. There is, yeah. Um, and I was gonna tweak that to Rick Chules. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Again, start with the title, the pun first, then working out what it is. And well, then I found some weird stuff. And, oh, right, so it's, it's specifically... Just stuff what? that goes on, like, um... Rituals. There was, uh... Most of the weird stuff I've heard about happened to you in Manchester. Yeah. In your early years. Well, in India, apparently it's good to have uh, a flat head. <laughs> so the, uh... <laughs> Again, just <laughs> flirting, just bordering on the racist, <laughs> yeah. but never really gets there, always... Well, no, cos there's no, there's no intent. There's no hate, there's no hate, it it's just clumsy, it's, it's, yeah, it's just stupidity. Yeah. Exactly. Go on, what Sorry, do you so mean? What do you what mean? Do you mean? It's good to have a flat What head. do you mean it's good to have a flat in India? We'll, we'll talk about it later. Brilliant. That's, that's rituals. <laughs> so... Uh, you've, 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 hooked hooked you've hooked a few people, you've hooked a few in. Go on. Alright, so I'll have that later. So, it's essentially like educating Ricky, only specifically about rituals. Is that... Is that strictly speaking what it is? Okay. I suppose so, but then again, yeah. you could say radio is all the same because it's people talking. 
<laughs> okay, Carl, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant no, comeback. Yeah, so, brilliant comeback. Not all talking nonsense, though. Well. So that's where we're different. Go on. Um, also, right, I like teaching you stuff. Yeah. And you've yeah. done well. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is, rather than just touching on a topic, T sort of giving you a few bits of information on one See, topic. See, this is what I like to do because the last thing you taught me, I remember, was there was a blind girl, she hit her head and she could see and that's all I got. Yeah. So if you could go into that a little bit more, that would have been educating me. Well, today we're featuring, uh, stuff on World War One and Two. Blind right? Oh, So that's, on. that's, uh, that little title for all this little thing is, uh, <laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> Play a record. So Rick, can I have just sort of a joke? Go on. What's the similarity between Lord of the Rings and this show? They're both rubbish. <laughs> Watch that man, David Bowie off Aladdin Sane, my favourite David Bowie album. What's yours, Carl? Yeah, that one. That one's good. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, right, we've got, um, Rockbusters coming up. Do you want to say what we've got to give away there, Steve? Not really, Rick. Is it really bad? Well... What's the film? What's the featured film? The featured film's not bad, I have to say, actually. You, you've excelled yourself there. Again, it's just one of those things where I think, what kind of XFM listener would want this particular goodie bag? I know before Christmas, Carl, you explained that the reason Look we were Carl's giving away- Look at Carl's face, he's disgusted, cos he- he just said, I do a lot of work to get, to get these prizes, and I went, no you didn't, I saw you, he went over to a drawer and went, I'll give that one, that one, and that one. That's what work you put in. You nicked- you nicked some- there's about twelve Jerry Halliwell videos, one of which we're giving away. It's oh, really, like- you've given it away? Oh no! Yeah, if you'd like uh, Jerry Halliwell's uh, Body Yoga DVD, DVD, uh, then, you know, that's one of the treats you can win. Um, but it does it like, if you notice, if you remember before Christmas, he said that, um, he was giving away a kind of bumper pack of, uh, gifts that you might want to wrap up and oh, give to various people. Oh, one for uncle, one, one for uncle, yeah. one for auntie. But obviously Christmas has passed, so I don't know really what your well, excuse is this you time. E you eat a lot over Christmas, don't you? Get a bit fat. Fair point. Yeah. So, um, uh, we, yeah, Jerry Body Yoga is one of them. Um, the <coughs> recent, on DVD, the recent series of, of Weeders Ain't Pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that I mean, Could you give me that reaction again? Well, no, I just- No, uh, just give me that reaction again. No. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and actually, I have to say, this- this isn't bad at all. This is the, uh, very best of the Stone Roses CD Well, you can't knock that. You can't knock that. Yeah. Can't knock that. Fact, I'll tell you what, we should- we should play Elephant Stone at some point. Yeah, today, play again, we'll have that. Go on. Um, Madness. I think this is actually tunes from them and not from the musical, although it is, uh, tied into he the musical. He went to see that musical. Really? Yeah, on New Year's, uh, you know it's like, on New Year's Day, there's nothing to do. Sure. So, so you go and see some people doing madness songs? No, I took Suzanne out for a walk, right? Yeah. Went round, um, Covent Garden. Right. Past the place where it was on. The stage door was open, you snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said madness are alright. And, because when you think about it, madness songs are quite sort of musical anyway, aren't they? So you can't- They're quite do musical. Do you know what I mean? They sort he of- means they're oh, like a musical, right, they're yeah. like a musical. Knees up Mother Brown. I thought yeah. it was alright, enjoyed it. Blur, Blur, the, Blur the musical would be good, wouldn't it? Blur the musical would be excellent. Yeah, so, little Cockney um, So you, what, you bought tickets there and then and just went in? Yeah. They're not selling, are they? Um, <laughs> it's fa it fairly quiet, cos no. we only paid the, the lower price and we got upgraded for free. Nice. So- You I enjoyed it, did you? Yeah, I'd loved it. And um, so, would anyone yeah. like to come on stage with us? <laughs> yeah. The little bald fella. <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> and what home are you from? Where are you- where are you- what are you doing tomorrow? Well, I'm going- well, I'm going, no, you're coming here tomorrow. <laughs> Come here tomorrow. <laughs> is it not- is he not doing well? That's a disappointment. I don't- I don't know. I mean, it was New Year's Day, so maybe that's why it was quiet. Okay, well, well if, uh, if anyone hasn't quiet. seen this or didn't receive it for As Christmas- Bono said, all is quiet on New Year's Day, Carl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also we've got the giveaway, Minority Report by, uh- I like that, Steven I enjoyed Spielberg that. With, uh, Tom Cruise, um, which is on VHS. It's a good Rick Roaring sort of film, It's that. not bad. That's probably the best thing we're giving away, but, uh, as I say, we can always leave somewhere if you don't I'm want- I'm arresting you for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Yeah. Brilliant. That's the sort of uh, excitement and drama you'll be getting, isn't it? It's not brand little new. Taste of it. I did. I got that for Paul Anderson. He right. said there's something to watch over Christmas. So watched you've actually it. watched this already? Yeah. All right. I've oh. rewound it. That's probably added to it, though, has. isn't it? It's touched by the great man himself, yeah. Carl Pilkington. And it's all right, I'd say. It's worth worth a watch. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give us a quick film review? Just give it a wipe down. There maybe some tripe on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, bit unrealistic. Sure. <laughs> bit unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. Genius. <laughs> a man yeah. who can fight, who finds people who can see into the future. Whereas our house, that really <laughs> happened. Yeah. <laughs> God. Anyway, anyway prizes are uh, giving away. What, what's the competition? It's Rockbusters. We're doing Rockbusters. We're still doing Rockbusters. Oh, well, look forward to that. We'll do that in like 15 minutes. I need a bit of Coldplay first. I'm yeah. doing, honestly. Really? Cold 
Coldplay, the scientist. I think they wrote that about Carl. Yes. Uh, yes. on XFM 104.9. Right. Uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Can I just ask Carl how he got on uh, over Christmas? Because oh. the last time I spoke to him, you hadn't bought a present for your girlfriend. Yeah. I, I have to say, I was on ten Turks all Christmas. Well, you changed it. Uh, after that show, I felt bad even though I shouldn't have done, because... <laughs> because I, you hadn't bought your girlfriend a Christmas present? Yeah, but present. I said to you, I booked a table at a hotel in Covent Garden, had Christmas dinner there, which was nice, right? Mm. It's good food and everything. Um... Mm. Didn't feel like enough to me. Well, then I went out and treated to some stuff, and then- No, no, no. The- a couple of days before Christmas, he went, uh, I took to Suzanne to that hotel we're gonna go to for Christmas dinner, we had tea and cakes. And I went, oh, you treated her? He went, no, she paid for it, but I was just showing her what it was gonna be like. <laughs> that was her extra treat. She paid for it. I love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was a bit- it was like 150 quid for a meal for two, which is pretty dear. So I'm not gonna buy her cakes as well. <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Alright, love, have everything you want. You pay for your own pudding, I'm not mental. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, so yeah. You, but, so you, you did- you treated her to some other yeah, stuff? some bits and bobs. What, well, so you, she bought- she chose them and you paid for them? What, the presents? Yeah. No, or no. you chose them and she paid for them, but, you know, it's, it's the <laughs> no, the cans. I, I, I got them on the way home that Saturday. Well done. And, and what did you buy? Well, just some bits. It might be personal, Steve. Well, I don't care. Just some bits. Yeah, but bits and bits. Leave out the personal bits. What what bits? Uh, just little things. And then yesterday, right? A monkey wrench and a new washer for the shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some recordable CDs <laughs> <laughs> that you need for your job. Oh so, dear. So uh, now, now, when you gave those prisons to her, did her fi face light up? Right. I, I don't want to tell you what they were, right? But she wasn't that impressed. <laughs> You're going to tell us what they are. Tell us what they are. You even know what they are. She told you on Christmas Day. Hold on, wait a minute. But right. it doesn't matter what they are. It does matter what they are. It doesn't. It doesn't. It matter. does, Carl. It's you, mate. It no, could. It, it doesn't matters. matter. Oh God! We just remembered. Yeah. Right, but don't. There's I've no got, need. I've got to tell him, Carl. I've, I, I really, I really want your permission because I don't want to be a. You know, I know it's not. But we know it's not that embarrassing. It's really quite sweet. Yeah, but in a way, right? <laughs> the way I look at it is right. Christmas, even when I was a little kid, right, is not- Please let me tell him, Carl. Well, let me just tell you first, now. Oh. Let me tell you why I didn't go all out on the whole <laughs> present front. <laughs> right. Justify yourself. Right. Oh, first God. of all, I've covered it up since then anyway, right, with that present, because I bought her some shoes yesterday, and she did say I'll give you the money for them, but when I get home I said it's alright. <laughs> I said you can have them. <laughs> right. So, so, not only, not only did I buy her some food on Christmas Day, <laughs> I've got my shoes. She's probably had a table. Are they treated like yeah. a horse? <laughs> yeah. It's not like, yeah, there you go, there's your shoes, there's your food, right. Bed yeah. down, yeah. see you later. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is so she's done- fed and clothed Yeah, did you, did you comb her hair? She's done well this year, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> the thing she's is- She's done well this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a single parent, <laughs> you've got a council estate with a smack problem, <laughs> and you still managed to buy them <laughs> some right. Lego. When Can I was I... a kid, oh, it God. wasn't about what you got. I remember one year when I was about eight, right? <laughs> oh, that, this is gonna make me cry, isn't it, this? It's no, good. it's not. I'm just saying the way it is, right? I woke up at about four in the morning, and I was like, oh, what have I got? And I couldn't sleep, I was that on edge. Mm. It's the excitement of Christmas, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, what's wrapped up, I need to know. Sure. Yeah. And it's the fact that people are saying, no, you won't know until tomorrow. Yes. Sure. That annoys you and winds you up. Okay. So I got up at four in the morning, yeah. opened my presents, and then went, right, I know now, I went back to bed, had a great sleep. Yes. Right, so it's nothing to do with the excitement of what you get, it's the excitement of not knowing what you've got. And then what happened when you got up to go down with the so what you're, Hang on, so oh. what you're saying to me is that you could wrap up a brick because the thrill of Christmas is in hoping and it's being excited about what it is, not the actual gift itself. Yeah. Is that, is, is that what you did? That's the brick. <laughs> did, you, did you get a brick? No, let me tell you now what he got. He got her a present, right, and she said, she came, I said, uh, yeah, he got me. It was, it was an industrial sized packet of condoms. It was a joke gift. No, it, no, wasn't, it wasn't a, a joke, joke gift. It wasn't even a joke. I mm. went home that Saturday after the year, past boots, <laughs> thought, might have something in here. They were on like some value. Right, you, you passed the well, makeup. used. <laughs> You right, passed anyway. the makeup, you passed all the other- yeah. Passed the makeup, passed the lovely vanity cases, yeah, yeah the foot spas, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, how much are these, love, for hundred? <laughs> yeah. Four ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah. Do I get them reduced if I buy in bulk? <laughs> 
So how many did you buy? What was it? I don't know, probably about hundred. Right, okay. And is she allowed to use those with anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wrap them? Could she yeah, just go yeah, out and have a walk? Yeah, well, you don't need to wrap them, they're already wrapped, aren't they? Oh. And then what did she say so when she opened them? No, wait, wait, I'll, 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 what did she say? Right, play a record and we'll come back to this. Put your words to my father, that's genius. <laughs> Made famous, of course, by Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. That's all along the Watchtower, as originally done by Mr. Bob Dylan. On XFM 104.9. So, Carl, just just take us through the moment where you gave this gift. Firstly, Firstly so were you, 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 were, you were into boots, right? You thought, all right, 100 condoms. Brilliant. Mm. Okay. Did you wrap it up? I don't know if it was 100. Probably 80. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. You so, gotta go mad, do you? <laughs> <laughs> wrap them up. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just resting easy knowing that he's not trying to breed. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, uh, I got her them. I got her, uh, Grease on DVD, cause okay. she's always watching that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, just think of, uh, when her mum said, what did Carl get you? Some condoms and grease. <laughs> yeah, I was just so glad he said on DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. and, um, she was surprised anyway, right? Because yeah, I bet she was. No, when when she got <laughs> she she was she was thinking like jewellery. No, <laughs> that, right. that that showed her. <laughs> that surprised you, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, so hang on, wait a minute. You thought it was a holiday, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, look at your face. You don't know me at all. <laughs> Um, so hang on, so did you give these on Christmas Day? Right, what <laughs> happened is, she got in from work that Saturday, <coughs> right? And I said, look under the tree. Knackered, oh, right? at least it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm gonna get away. Uh, yeah, I, go said, I said, look, you got some stuff under the tree, right? <laughs> so, uh, she, did she give her a sugar right? lamp? Right, she was really chuffed with that. But she said, she was a bit, a bit puzzled because I didn't know we had any wrapping paper, right? So I ended up using wallpaper. <laughs> You didn't take it off the wall though. You had no, some. No, it was some left over, right? So she said, "Why have you used wallpaper?" I said, "Well, I didn't have any paper, and you were getting in in a bit, and I wanted you to have a surprise." <laughs> so she said, "Can I have a feel of them?" <laughs> I said, <"No."> the presents. <laughs> she thought, "Right, I've got the right thing." Yeah. Right. And uh, then Christmas Day, um, I said, "No, don't get carried away. It's nothing really good." You know, we said we weren't going to buy each other much. Uh, so there you go, open them. Yeah, go on. And uh, can I just ask, had you received your present from her yet? Yeah. So what have you received? Um, what did they have? Had some shoes. Nice. Right. Um, getaway game for PlayStation. Nice. Just I'm right. just tightening up just the value of this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just also think about how much fun and pleasure you get from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. of course, condoms I can see the, <laughs> well, you know. see the appeal. Well, no. Okay, um, yeah, that's yeah. it. I think but I can- also add to that bit 150 quid for a meal. <laughs> If you're gonna start totting up, 150 quid for a meal, <laughs> I bought her some shoes, 72 quid. Yeah, that was after the event though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so you'd received these, dare I say it, thoughtful and nice gifts. You handed over the box of, uh, condoms. They were wrapped up, she well, unwrapped them. Yeah. Go on, take us through it. Walk well, us through it. Well, it's not, it's not something you play with on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh. But, right. But when she opened what them, what did she what say? Did what did she say? She's, well, I wrapped them twice as well, so she thought it was something really good. Extra like, protection. Oh. Right. And, uh, so she thought it was something really good. And then- and So then, the disappointment would be double. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on, yeah. Then she just opened it and went, oh yeah, so what's on the telly? And that's cool, ungrateful. What, what an ungrateful woman that is. Well, fancy she got not, stuff. Fancy not wanting- I told her- A, a told box her, of economy condoms from Boots. I said to her about the thing about, you know, it's all about the surprise and that, innit? Yeah. You explained and, that to her? Yeah. What, after she'd unwrapped it? Yeah. Thoughtful. And she was, she was alright about it. Yeah. She understood. Rick, you know I suggested to him that he buy his girlfriend a gift. I'm worried I've done more damage to the relationship by suggesting that than if he had just forgotten. Next time you've got to go shopping for yourself, Steve. I think I might do. You've better to go shopping for yourself. It's, I'm it? glad it's all over though. It's it's mental. Yeah. I, it annoys me. The whole thing <laughs> annoys me. And she knows that as well. Yeah. <laughs> she should know. What is she, is she still insists on having Christmas once a year. Well. Well. I'm, 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 you know. No, but, uh, well, anyway, what did you get? I can't think what you, what you bring to the relationship, <laughs> Carl. I don't know what it is she's getting from you in this relationship. Uh, it's like uh, she's I doing all the know. work. Uh, <laughs> 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 Eighty times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Carl. 
<laughs> I love it. You're brilliant. I know what she's getting. He's the. He's the. He's the. Uh, what though? He's not thoughtful. No, he no. But he's, he's thoughtful. He's the best he can do with the brain he's got. Do you know what I mean? Right. He's doing his best. Mm. He's mm. absolutely doing his best. There's no. <laughs> he's working at the limits of his powers. Do you know what I mean? Though he's done as well as he can with what he was given. Sure. Yeah, I, and that's that's admirable. Yeah, it's like I think he's done better than you'd, you'd expect. I bet his teachers didn't even think he'd get this far. Do you know what I mean? What find a girl? No, well, yeah, a job, a girl. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clothe himself. He's, <laughs> done, he's done really well. What do you think, Carl? You think you've done well? I, I think I've done all right compared to some of the mates. What are they doing now? Probably not that much. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The, the, Mrs. Matthews said I wouldn't be an eye flyer. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I have a holiday every year. <laughs> uh, got somewhere to live. And that. Yeah. yeah. Got a new flat, haven't you? Yeah, so... So where are they then, the condoms? Are they- did she show them to her family and friends? No, Take no, them into work? Look what Carl got I'm surprised got she told Ricky, actually. I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Cause I didn't go shouting at <laughs> Well, she was so excited, <laughs> Carl, clearly. She's <laughs> just so pleased and proud. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, play records, we come back to it. No, that's it now. A new day, another morning after. Leaning back on my chair in a greasy spoon. Oh. Hello, TV. <laughs> no! Oh, no, that's it, that's Streets, it. Don't Mug Yourself, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, a regular Santa Claus. <laughs> I'll, leave <laughs> I'll leave it Oh, dear. So, Rockbusters? Rockbusters, uh, first one of the year. Um, Do you want to explain it? In case we've yeah, got some new listeners. Some new listeners. Like might it. have, might have, like you never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you, like, a cryptic clue and some initials. And it sort of makes up a band, so an easy one that we did at the start was, uh, an exploding pet, A.K. Atomic Kitten. Yeah. Right, that's how it works. So there's three of them, um, it's email only, you email in ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk, and, uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one, uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right. That's D. Yeah, so just give us a- give us that down. So £42 for a torch, that, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Thinking up his growth. Oh, okay, God. That's, that's D. Uh, the second one, um, he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again? He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah, and uh, the third and final one, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> do you right. think- say it again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now, I'd just better warn people, um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Um, do you want to give us a, them again very quickly? Alright, uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Alright, that's <laughs> D. Uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Can't think of anything. I can't a. think. That's A. a. And, uh, do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? W.P. Right, so, uh, Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Some great prizes to be won. Yeah. <sighs> Richard Ashcroft, Science of Silence. Steve, if there was a record of the week, that would be a record of the week. You're a big fan, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's make it record of the week. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's record of the week. Richard Ashcroft. Excellent. Science of silence. Brilliant. No one gives us anything anyway. Are these pluggers, they come in, we get things like homemade bands that they've pressed it in their garage. Yeah. You can hear their mum in the background going, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. Mum! <laughs> we're recording this for XFM! <laughs> yeah. 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl, what have you got for us? I was just thinking, the irony is, we're the only people on this station, I think, who play their own records, aren't we? I know. Oh, there's loads of people who do. Rubbish. John Kennedy plays what he wants. Yeah, he's on in yeah, the he's like, he's on three o'clock in the morning, no one's up. Zoe, on drive, she plays some yeah. stuff. Yeah. What do you mean, what does she play? Fat Boy Slim, probably. Here's another remix. You know. I won't say who is by. Christian plays some of his own. 
Does he? Yeah, so... Yeah, they're probably novelty songs, aren't they, by you? Right, <laughs> listen, right, um, yeah, New Year and all that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Rock really? Busters, rock Busters is on the way, we're getting some good stuff coming in. I have so. to say, I'm, I'm amazed. Every answer I've had so far has been correct. I listen to the clues, I've got no idea. And I know you, Carl, I spend time with you. Have I you know seen how you the work. XFM listeners? <laughs> well, of course they're the same as Carl. Sure. Of course they've got the same mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Uh, so what did you do for New Year, incidentally? Well, I met- I cocked it up a bit. Right. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> oh, You're joking. Go. You're joking, mate. Go on. I went and, uh, booked the <laughs> You table. got the wrong day. No, right. <laughs> Book, booked a table at a restaurant that was shut. <laughs> right? What? I booked a, a table at a restaurant, and the one that I called, it wasn't the one. The call had been diverted. So <laughs> Suzanne said, call them up and see what they're serving, right? Cause you, I forgot to do that when I booked the table, right? <laughs> That's so, great anyway. So got, because the thing is, right, it's a restaurant in Covent Garden, but they've got one in Victoria. But when they answered and they said, no, 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 Victoria, I thought that was the person who was answering the phone. Do you know how some people say the name? Right. Right? So then when I called them up and said, what you You thought, you thought he sounded a bit funny. Right? <laughs> so, uh... I'm confused, Carl, but probably not more. Well, no, <laughs> no brother knew would have been okay, on the, it was on the a day. branch of a, um... All right, all right, 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 Okay, anyway, so you've I got- I wouldn't mention it before New Year, but it's not- So no, did you go all the way to it? the restaurant to find out that it was closed? No, no, no. What happened is I called- Was that the name of the restaurant again? <laughs> <laughs> right. The restaurant's <laughs> called Christopher's. They've got one in Common Garden, they've got one in Victoria. He right. phoned up, he went to book, it's a lovely restaurant, I've been there often, I recommend it to him. He phones up, he says, can I have a table for new, uh, new, he said, no problem, sir. Right? And then, uh, so then I said, oh, you better call up to see if they'd, to see if they've got any haddock on the, <laughs> uh, menu. And he went, hello, and they went, hello, uh, Christopher's. Victoria went, Victoria? They went, yeah, he went, oh, no. That's it, innit? So then, I just said, no, forget it. I'm not going all the way over there. Right. So I cancelled it, right? So, <coughs> and I called up Suzanne and said, look, I made an error. Uh, the place we were going to is shut. Was she so, surprised again, or? So I'm not going, <laughs> so she said, oh. Try some other places, and I did. They were all booked up, yeah. right? I was fed up anyway. I ate New Year. It's always like this, isn't it? So, <laughs> so uh, I said, look, you know the common factor in all these stories. <laughs> you hate Christmas. You hate Christmas. It's you. New Year. It is you. Right. Yeah. So. I said I'll sort something out. Yeah. So I went to Tesco. Leave it with me. Went to Tesco's, boots went were to shut. Tesco. <laughs> got, a, got a lovely plate of condoms. Did you just stay in and play with the, her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Blowing them up. Yeah, just I've done, look, looks, I've done some balloons. <laughs> well, it, it was. I think we did stay in. And I watched uh, that thing that, you know, 100 Greatest Moments, which was annoying me. Did you see, um, there was a nudist on it. You know how I feel about them. Mm, yeah. Right? Um, did you man, see him? Man with two knobs. There was a man with two knobs on it. And, uh, a nudist who, uh, just, like, wanders about the house. But it said, it said, uh, and when he visits people, uh, they I was thinking, who go, lets him visit? I go, exactly, yeah. But, yeah. but he must go there with trousers on and go, hello, love to see you. Can I just pop all these off? <laughs> well, not really, no. And I'll tell you what, what annoyed me the most, they had a white sofa. Uh, if you were a nudist, you'd get, you'd get a darker one. <laughs> right? So anyway, right, so we ended up watching that. That annoyed me. And then, um, I was tired by about 11 and I said, oh, let's go to bed. And she said, you can't. And that annoys me, the fact that because it's New Year, you've got to stay up. And it's like, well, why? Can't we just, they should bring it forward. So in case you want to- To quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. <laughs> well, you say, yeah, well, you stay up and it's like my eyes were dead heavy and I was like, oh, I want to go to sleep. So just stay up and then it's midnight and you go up in New Year, then you go to bed. Yeah. Well, not everyone, Carl. Yeah, Some people have a little party. Right. Um, so... So it's over with anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, so uh, are you 86 years old? <laughs> 86 <laughs> minutes. Do you ever enjoy- okay, you never seem to have any fun, Carl. This is what disappoints this is what worries me. I feel like you're gonna die- You're here, T. You're, you're, you're here, Carl. With us two. We've got three, as I was just saying to Steve, three of the greatest comedy minds ever in one room, and Steve pointed out since the goodies. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean it should you... be party central. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, right, so this is when I spent time thinking of new ideas. Right. So that's when I came up with, uh, what did I come up with? Rituals. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is about, uh, it's good to have a flathead in India. Hello, just for yeah. us, Just for yeah. It's good to have a flathead in India. Is that it? 
Um, well, what they do is they put wood around your head and sort of clamp it, and the flatter head you've got, apparently the more attractive in some part of India, can't remember. So that's like a, that's a ritual. So I don't know where to start with this. No. Well, leave it. Leave it. Um, we've, we've, we'll be doing that while we've done it. That's, that's so that was the first week. one, wasn't that's it? That's this week! <laughs> right? We've uh, also ah. got, um, we've also got Do, do We Need Them, which yeah. we carried on from last year, okay, which is finding out, thing. you know, what animals we need in the world, which ones we can get rid of. I'm talking to experts and that, finding yeah. that out. We're doing Rockbusters, that's on the way, we're getting emails in. And, uh, what do you think of that then? What do you think of that then, of course? We've, we've I love this that he treats this show like it's a checklist for what he's got to pack for holiday. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, he just goes, sun cream, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's I all know. like, it's done. Look, look <laughs> at his face. No, but I try and come up with stuff that people will remember and go, that's interesting, I'll tell my mates that in the pub. Another one I'm, I'm thinking of doing, do you know the film <laughs> Around the World in 80 Days? Ooh. Around the World in 80 Gervais. And no, what I do, I give you like little, uh, things like little bits of information about countries, so that if you go, you go like, oh, I don't want to go there. This is terrible thing to say, and I apologise. I, I, I can't think of the PC word for it, but I think car is slightly retarded. Yes, I was just going to think. I was just thinking the same. Yeah, yeah. Is there something we can do about that? Is just play a record. Just keep the. Could we get ourselves registered as a charity? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Valley Drawn Boy, Born Again. On XFM, 104.9. I was just sorry, I was just looking to see if that's a new single. It looks like it probably yeah, is, yeah, if that's of interest to you. It's a new one. Yeah. There we are. So, well, first of our um, regular features with Carl, we've got Rockbusters, that's rolling. Mm -hmm. There's uh, people coming in, they're, they're getting them right. I don't. I don't understand well, myself. Well, as ever, Rick, you'll be, uh, you'll be amazed and confounded. So I don't know the answer and I haven't looked at the answers. I, I just like that moment. It's like when you go down Christmas and you're excited about a present and it's like some condoms. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I love that, that. <laughs> yeah, that moment. Yeah. Um, I, right. just, I don't know how he's gonna top that next year. I don't know how he's gonna top that. All I can think of is some <laughs> corn plasters. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, it's alright, love. The batteries are included. Got you a pumice stone. <laughs> right, now, do we need them? Do we need them? It's something we started a few weeks ago, uh, we're always talking about animals and insects and that, and um, it's like, you know, if you took an animal out of the world, would, would we have problems, right? <laughs> would it make any difference? Yeah, would it make any difference? We did jellyfish what? last time, didn't we? Yeah. We sorted that out. The woman said we've got to keep them. We do uh, need them, because turtles eat them. Yeah. Um, so, I've moved on. Octopus. Do we need the octopus? Yeah. Let's find out. Working through um, a load of animals, right? That uh, and finding out whether we need them or not, right? Right. Because like jellyfish, to me, I'm a bit puzzled by them. I don't really know why we need jellyfish. And I spoke to some turtles expert. eat them. What? Turtles eat them. Yeah, I know, but do we need turtles? Do you know what I mean? It, it goes on and on, doesn't it? We need humans. Well, you know, I mean, that, I might get to that bit, but yeah. I need to sort out the animals first. I've got right. a lot on. So the thing is, I've, I've left the jellyfish. We know we need them. Right. right. So, octopus. Yeah. Right, I know they're pretty brainy. Incredibly brainy. Um, a story that I heard, I don't know if it's true, but uh, there was some science lab somewhere, right? Yeah. Where they had some octopus in it, and they had some crabs. Yeah. And at night, the octopus was like getting a bit bored on its own in the dark and that, and they, they sort of come alive in the dark, don't they? Yeah. They like the dark. Yeah. And the octopus had, like, had its eye on the crabs, and at night, when it's dark, it was getting out of its little cage, crawling along the floor, getting in the crab's cage, getting them out and eating them. I don't doubt it. We put jam jars with the lids on, with crabs in, and they'll open the jam jar and... You're joking? Yeah. You and I sometimes struggle with them. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't do it... R well, well, you don't do it really, really tight, but... Oh, right, so they're not that clever, then? Well, they would, if they were strong enough, they'd open it, but they're just not that strong. Oh, that's mad. Right, I also know that, uh, if they get hungry, they, they eat their own legs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, they're deaf. Well, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, they don't live very long. Um, they can squash themselves into small jugs. Oh, yeah, they can go in a demijohn through the narrow neck and that. Why, why do they need to do that? 
because they're the sort of crevices and holes that they're hunting for crabs and things through. So, would they be better if they were smaller? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I really don't know. It's... Yeah. But octopus then, if if Noah said to you, you know, we're, we're, we're having a clear out. Yeah. We've got too many animals to look after and that in the sea, taking up too much room. Right. Do we need them? I think there's other less useful things in the sea than octopus. Limpets, they could go. Limpets? Yeah, they just sit on a rock and do nothing for 50 years. But they're not getting in the way, then. How big are they? Well, not very big. Yeah, you see, I, I might come round to them, but I, I, I never think, oh, you know, I'm sick of seeing these limpets. Whereas octopus, you know, crawling about, opening jam jars and that. You'd never see them, though. They're pretty, really rare. Well... If we get two or three caught a year, it's a, you know, it's quite amazing. Do we need them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to keep them, then. I remember that, that Carl can confuse a scientist. Yeah. Yeah, because all systems of logic break down. I know, I, even the scientist was going, oh, get rid of limpets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That now, who brilliant. was that guy? Uh, I think his name was Chris. And where was he from? In a place called Megavissi, where I went one year. Megavissi. And is he, uh, yeah, he's a scientist, is he? Uh, I think he's got a fish shop or something like that. He's got a fish shop? No, he doesn't. Well, like an aquarium type place. Oh, right. So... A <laughs> fish shop. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't mention <laughs> It wouldn't be if I asked him that he, uh, uh, a, a yeah. winkle store. <laughs> He's got a winkle store, Paul Arthur. Yeah, that's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But what's, uh, what have you learned from that then? Well, the, uh, we don't know whether they're deaf or not, because the scientist, the bloke in the chip but shop couldn't are. confirm it. <laughs> um, they eat their own legs. Yeah, Look at that. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Isn't it? They that's eat weird. their own legs? They eat their own legs if they get hungry. Right. Um, and they grow back, don't they? Yeah, I think so, yeah. If, if you if you eat one, they don't grow back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you can put them in, in little jars and that. Uh, if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, um, <laughs> no, but, you know, like, you know, people have a go about being cruel to animals and that. But what he was saying there is, right, what they've watched an octopus do, they've, they've got hold of a crab, right? <laughs> So that'll be being stressed out because it's out of the water. <laughs> yeah. They've then stressed it out even more by putting it in a jar. <laughs> right. Which you didn't like. Uh. Which you didn't like. And then an octopus is crawling about on the jar. Yeah. And the crab knows that the octopus wants to eat it. Yeah. Right? So then it's having more frets. Yeah. Because of that. And then they let the octopus eat it. Yeah. I think that's, that's pretty... Do we need crabs? Uh. See them next week, yeah. Well, I want to sort out snails first. Right. <laughs> right. What's your pitch with snails? What do you know about snails? Um, I know that, um, bats eat them. <coughs> um, they can sleep for 13 years. Right. Oh, you need to eat Can you believe that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, snails can sleep for 13 years. And I went, right. He went, oh, thing is though, if it was a scientist, and he was, you know, he was, he was looking at it, and he put it in a quiet place. It might well doze off. <laughs> he said it wouldn't be the same if it lived on the streets. <laughs> and then we went on to a whole thing about homeless. He wants to do a game show with celebrities being homeless for a week. What do you think? Actually, I've got to say that's not bad at it's all. It's not bad, is it? No. Do you, do you know how like Lenny Henry went to the jungle? Yep. Right, and you've got, uh, you've got what, what, who else did it? Um, John, uh, John, John, John Lennon made slippers out of a bra. <laughs> Right? So I'm thinking, like, get a celebrity and say to him, no, just because, I'll tell you why, right? I'll tell yeah. you why all this came about. When I was walking back from that Christmas meal that I bought my girlfriend for 150 quid. Right. <laughs> Lest we forget. Right? Um, I was walking down Mortimer Street and there was an homeless fella there and it was like, oh, you know, it's really, really bad. But the weird thing is, it was, it was about, I don't know, probably about eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. No, about, about nine. Right. And he was asleep. And I just thought, do homeless people ever think, do you know, I think I'll, I'll have an early one tonight. <laughs> right? That's that's what got me thinking. It's a bit weird, the whole lifestyle of it, the yes. fact that he had an early one. So, like, the fact, what, what, if it's a bit weird that he's sleeping not in a home, but on the street? No, it's just that if it's I- interesting. If I was homeless, I'd probably stay up quite late, because it's not nice. 
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Just being homeless is not a good thing, is it? No. People forget how bad it is. Yeah. Right? But surely sleeping gets you out of reality. They sleep because they're tired, they can't sleep very well, so they need all the sleep they can get. Yeah, but sleeping's nice if you've got a nice big bed. What, you think that they can go, I'll stay up, I'll go to bed at two, I'll go straight to sleep and I'll pop up at eight <laughs> when the alarm clock goes off? Well, that's just what I was thinking. Right? <laughs> so, I was thinking how bad it is and it's, you know, especially this time of the year, you know. Yeah, uh, it's terrible. It's the, uh, it's it's the really worst nice. thing. And to sort of give it some publicity and get a bit of help behind it, get celebrities, yeah. someone like I've... Phil Mitchell, <laughs> maybe, yeah. off, off his standards, yeah. who's a big fella, he can look after himself, put him in a shop doorway, right. have some cameras set far away in a building or something, Yeah. they can film him, right. and it's up to him how he raises money for food to eat. He could sign autographs. <laughs> well, they wouldn't know him though, would they? Because the, you, you never look Who at a homeless get, person. Get, uh, what's her name? Gail you Porter. Yep. Gabby Roslin. Right, yeah. Narinda from Big Brother. Yeah. Uh, who else would do it? Um... I got a game show Les idea Dennis, called... Les Dennis, I reckon. I got it. a game show idea called On The Game. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what happens here? You get Narinda from Big Brother. <laughs> Sugarcane by Sonic Youth on XFM 104.9. Richard Ray, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Go on, Carl. What, what's what's next? Are you gonna do your um, war feature? War. What is it called? War. Do you think of that then? You do that now. I just it annoys me a bit, right? Because we said before Christmas that we'd come back with new stuff. Yeah. Um, gave you a title to work on. That ridiculous. Right. You came in today. I so said you sorted it out. You say no. Steve, you're having a go at me for getting, wanting to get music out of the library for you. Yeah. You haven't got any new ideas. Sure. But you're dissing mine. I'm not dissing yours. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm a massive fan of them. Good vibe off you. <laughs> oh, I think that's very harsh. I, I just asked you when were we gonna have war, do you think of that? I'm a big oh, fan, I'm excited. Well, it's not that good, to be honest, with you. <laughs> well, I disagree, it sounds brilliant. Right, well, it's, it's a bit of a tweak of educating Ricky. Uh. Right. Just some information on, on wars. Yeah. Um, okay. World War Two. World War Two. All right. Um, the world champion chess player. Um, he helped uh, someone out. Um, <coughs> in the war. <laughs> it's the detail I like. <laughs> no, he you know, it's, ne it's nearly a history program, isn't it? <laughs> he I was watching those repeats of the World at War. Yeah. That were on in the mornings. You know, incredibly. Did detailed, you like? They've got nothing on cards. Did you write a lot of that David Sharma series? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was able to use his skills that he has to play chess because apparently chess is all about probabilities of like where, you know, where a piece will be put. Right. And uh, they got him in and they said, can you help us out? He said, yeah. And uh, he said, right, where, sh where should we like- fly? Hitler has just moved his queen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, that's yeah. A, that's a fact. He sent in a bishop that ran diagonally <laughs> yeah, exactly. through the troops, <laughs> knocking him over. Sorry, wait a minute, Carl. So they got a chess Sorry, that's, that's it? Well, yeah. It's just like, oh, what do you think of that? Again, that's not a story. But it angers me that he says that I'm down on the ideas when that- I mean, that's beginning to shape up as quite interesting. I thought you were going to tell me which battle or which event World was you- World War II. There's not a battle. But which bit of your World War Two? Like the, the middle bit. It's <laughs> six years worth. Yeah, well, probably about a bit in. Guessing. Thought, let's... Guessing. Well, all right, yeah, there is a bit of guesswork, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but that could have been an interesting thing if you told me it had an impact well, on the normal landings. Well, when you look at these things, do you go, uh, bloke wants help chess, oh, he's that, and run away from the computer? No, or I run out it. of the bookshop. I read the first line where I get enough information. I just think. What do you mean you read the first line where you get enough information? Imagine if you were someone's defence lawyer, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and he was like, he's on death row. <laughs> yeah. and went, oh, I don't think he did it. <laughs> yeah, I read the first line. I didn't read the file. He was in a hotel in Texas, right? Go on. It's enough. Oh, some other it's stuff. Enough. It's enough. enough. It's, it's enough. enough. It's enough. It's enough. Yeah, I, no, I just thought they always took ages on deciding where to go. It's just like. You know, but there's a better. I way. don't know what you're saying now. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. Well, takes, I actually, when, don't know when what you're talking about. People play chess. They take ages to make the move. <laughs> so I'm just thinking, there's probably a quicker way. <laughs> of what? Than finding where a boat is. Than getting a chess player in. I don't know. I don't know what you mean now. Right, Are you talking about battleships now? They should have got an extra battleships player in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? But Carl, right, what, forget that one. Or someone. No, really no, good. no, no. I'm not being funny. But what is that? What are you telling me there? Someone who's really good at risk. 
you should have brought Lemmy. <laughs> yeah. Cluedo. Right, yeah. Another fact. Oh, oh, no. That's enough then, is it? Well, they use expert Cluedo players, um, but the police use oh, expert they, they do use, yeah, 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 yeah. If ever there's a murder in a country house. Do you think they use that old Chinese fella? Um, on the front of, um, uh, Mastermind. The mastermind, yeah. 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 Yeah, for logic problems. The, <laughs> the Enigma code was broken by top Mastermind <laughs> players. <laughs> yeah. Right, second And a guy who's had a couple of rounds of Yahtzee and done very well. <laughs> yeah. Second fact about the war. They, um, for engineering, they use a lot of Jenga players. Absolutely. Whenever they want will the building collapse? Uh, I don't know, let's pull this, let's see. If yes, they wanted to identify, uh, <laughs> what, what are you doing? If they wanted to identify spies, yeah. bring me the champion of guess who. <laughs> Was it one with glasses? No, it might sit down. Has he got a beard? Is it Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl, sorry, right. go on. An another war fact. Go You're on. saying it's rubbish, but look, you, you love that. Yeah. Right. yeah. Second You're one. Absolutely right. Um, the first bomb that was dropped on Berlin. Yeah. It didn't kill a person, but it killed an elephant. <laughs> I think that's true. That is true. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, and the last one. Is that all you know about that? See, that's interesting, isn't it? But well, that's the enough. But, but no, it's not, it's though. Not cause I, no, because, I mean, listen, most people want to go, oh, what was the elephant doing there? Did oh, it land in a zoo? Was it a pet? Oh. Was it a lost elephant? Did they aim at the elephant? How did it kill it? Did was it, it, it hit it on his favourite elephant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, was it hit his favourite elephant? Did it then have one ball? Yeah. I mean, these are the things, you know, why didn't he catch it with his mm. trunk? Did it have an effect on German morale? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. elephant is kaput! <laughs> Um, oh, Jumbo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight anymore! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cheering breaks, painkiller on XFM. Carl's getting a little bit stressed, aren't you? No, I, I just, I just. You know, got to keep focus, got to keep the show good and that. Yeah. You know, and in the yeah, new year yeah. the idea was come up with some good snappy stuff. Yeah. And today I just think it's, it's been a mess with you, to be honest. I mean, this is the sort of thing I'd prefer to do after the show as, as the producer. Yeah. But... You know, I, you know what, I think it's a discipline problem. <laughs> is, it, is, sure it I, is, it, is it because I just put sellotape on your head? Well, that, that's a bit to do with it. But just, you know, let's, let's just focus but on- But I didn't put it when there was any hair on your eyebrows, I put it across your forehead. Right. What do you think of that then? Yeah. We've got one more bit left. Brilliant. One more fact. Um, the French, right, when they were at war, um- <laughs> <laughs> David Sharma, I just imagine him just introducing it, amazing. Which, which war was this? It was still the World War, uh, one or two. Go on. Two. It's fifty-fifty. Go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> right. right. World War Two. Uh, what the French did. Uh, the, everyone needs a code. <laughs> everyone needs a code. <laughs> yep. A code. When you when you're in the army. This is a Disney song. Right. <laughs> um, and you know to sort of give the go ahead if you want to go into battle and stuff. Okay. Right. So. Everyone needs a code. But the weird thing is. Right. The weird thing is. Do you know what? Do you know what theirs was? Go on. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. It's so what was the, the French code? For what? To sort of say, right, yeah, go on. <laughs> but they had more than one. <laughs> on, on this day. But I don't know what day it is. <laughs> on All this right. day. Um, what, it's, it's like saying, what am I thinking of? <laughs> what was the battle? What was the... Okay, right. so alright. What... Look at him, look at him, look, he's genuinely confused that I've asked this question. Right. It was no, it was, no, no. If you ask me a question, ask me the question quickly. Um, what was the what was the code for battle during what battle? World War Two. No, that's not a battle. That's a war. Yeah, it was in a war. Yeah. <laughs> it, I, it was, I don't know what to do. He right. confuses people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. What was it, Carl? What was the yeah? Code? What, what, what are the you French thinking code? of? Right. John's got a moustache. <laughs> What are uh, you talking my about? Lungs are that, burst. that was was a code that the French used. You know, like I mean, I, I just think it's a bit daft, right? Uh, because you could come up with that by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two French blokes talking in the trenches, and they see they see a major walk past, and they go, "Oh, look, John's got a moustache," and they all go and go, "No, I was just talking." <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the way I I don't think that's a good code. I'm, I'm not. I don't know, believe it is the code. No, it is seriously. And what? Uh, and would it, would it have been, would it have been said in French? Yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, we're yeah. Guessing. We're guessing. We're guessing. Yeah. 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 No, but... What? You see, I can't even be, be bothered. <laughs> what? what are you saying, Carl? Because it's not a very good code. Do you know, like, we've talked in the past about, you know, things you don't <laughs> see and I said, an old man eating a Twix. <laughs> yeah. If they use that, that wouldn't- that's safe. Cause no one is ever gonna see a man having an old, you know, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, use that as a code. Don't use a saying, <laughs> John's got a moustache that could crop up. <laughs> it's like the wars kicked off. Why did- how, how did that happen? Well, I said John had a moustache. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two French folks would never be saying, John's got a moustache. Why would, would they? they? Because what? back then they were fashionable. <laughs> He nearly makes sense, doesn't he? I assume it would have been Jean. Yeah. No, probably John. And I, I, how would this how would this code have been? I mean, who would have announced know, this? I just to read everyone? it. I read it like that, Steve. That's what was on the internet. This is a code <laughs> that was used. John's got. Well, don't a be angry with me. I know, but you're always asking questions. It's <laughs> because I'm interested in history. <laughs> yeah. No, it's genu you're genuinely interesting, bloke, Carl. We'd like to know. I'd like to film you secretly. You know, like they do, like Nature Watch, when they put it in a uh, like a, you know, <laughs> I mean, a badges sort of thing, right? Like, yeah. And they just they just watch it. I'd like to see what you do, pot around with. <laughs> I wish I could download the music in your head, because it'd be <laughs> and you see something weird, you go <laughs> and then you read that and you go <laughs> and you write it down, and that's what comes out. John's got a moustache. They could like imagine the French, right, for their battle cry, for their battle code. No, it's going ahead. They're going over the top. Is you never see an old bloke eating a Twix? <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, but the, all these things are things that I think in my head. Right? <laughs> Keep them in there. <laughs> you know, like before, before when I was talking about going out on you know Christmas Day, yeah. having a meal on the way back, seeing a homeless person. Yeah. And then I think, God, that wouldn't be good. I don't know TV show. Right? <laughs> you can think of things like that. When I saw the homeless fella, then I got talking to Suzanne about when I had to sleep in my car. What do you mean? Go on. Let's play a record and come back oh, to any sleeping in the car. God, I can't wait. Play a song for the I was watching last night uh, <sighs> on cable TV, 1987's amazing Sign of the Times Prince in Concert film. It was dynamite. I thought to myself, how brilliant he is. It reminded me of the gig I went to see last year. He played this tune. It's from the album Parade. Okay, I don't want to discuss whether or not Prince is acceptable on XFM or whether he's a genius. He is a genius. That's the end. That's the end of the discussion. Play the tune. He's dynamite. It's a song for the ladies. I, was, I remember, um... I was gonna tell you, um, I was on the way here. You know, um, do you remember John? He's got a moustache now. I can't believe it. But lads, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not on! It's, it was- <laughs> The yeah, battle's not on! <laughs> Look at your face, Carl. The, the elephant did die. Yeah, no, I'm, I believe that. that. Sometimes it snows in April from the lovely Prince. Brilliant. Uh, from the album Parade. Uh, he doesn't always have to get up and have a rock about. He can just sit there at the piano. You can't argue with that. Pack After the, the break, Steve, a brand new feature I've just done. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You see, you say Ricky Gervais doesn't put any work into the show. He's just done that. I'm going to tell song. Carl some amazing facts from the world of science, nature, politics. Four are real. One is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Stevens from the Catch Bullet 4 album, Sitting. A little interesting fact for the nerds. We got it down to two songs to uh, do this intro music to The Office. It was that one and Handbags and Glad Rags. We went for Handbags and Glad Rags. Interesting, isn't it? It is a fascinating fact, except yeah. of course we want, I still feel we should use that one, except we couldn't because uh, Cat Stevens' people wouldn't let us. Or it was too expensive or something. I don't know. We, we recorded the well, Stuart one. I, I, too I, still, I still prefer that one. Yeah. Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> Decision. Anyway, Decisions. that's ridiculous. Right. Five facts. Right. One is totally made up. All right. Just do three. Three. And oh well. There's, okay. Right. Um. Um. Oh, let's see. What should I do then? Uh, there this are more moves. Carefully planned. There are more moves possible in a game of chess than there are particles in the universe. Um. You can't get any colder than liquid nitrogen. I think it's minus. Two seven three. You can't. It's, you can't and it's impossible to get colder than that. Um, the honey badger has got skin so loose that if you grabbed it by the neck, it could 
I'll come away from its skin, turn round and bite you out of its anus. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Right, Rockbusters then, uh, ripping it up. Um, it needs some work, that game, but I see it's got a lot of mileage. Um, uh, right, here uh, we go then. The first one, uh, £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D, yeah. that was Daylight. Wait, I thought Daylight, and I thought uh, it doesn't work. One. It doesn't work. I actually thought Daylight doesn't work. Second one. There's uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Daylight, it doesn't work, it's Daylight. Second one was. No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but. If we're gonna continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit, right? <laughs> People have got it, we've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in, but they lo they're loving it. They've right? all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> go on. It'll fit some chocolate to your feet, that was A, that was Aerosmith. Right? Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith. But a smith is just yeah. a workman. It doesn't uh, necessarily- no, you can have anything, you can have a locksmith. You... A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right, do you think- you... Aero Cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero Cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson Pickett. <laughs> you got one? I'll give you that. <laughs> oh. I have to say that I don't know if these guys have won in the past, but they were the first people to email in. They, I mean, normally I just give it to anyone, but these guys, literally, you'd give them the clues, Carl. I'm amazed. Everyone seemed to get Aerosmith. How? Everyone got D-Light, everyone got Wilson Pickett. I, I'm absolutely stunned. I, I just, I, you know, they deserve it. They deserve the junk. <laughs> Prizes, right? <laughs> so we'll give it to Jonathan and Louise, who, as I say, may have won in the past, but as I say, they were very, very quick. You've got oh. to be them if you want to win. Yeah. Uh, and they're from Wrexham. Brilliant. So good luck to them. So that's I hope that, they then. enjoy uh, Jerry's yoga diet. Back next week, then. Yeah. See you later. See ya. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.